What a retard, dude. Fuck him. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it would be like that show, SNL. That's yeah. that's really the goal <clears throat> with any podcast is to eventually become an SNL writer, which uh, they offered me this year, but I turned it down. They yeah, offered they, me both um, to mm-hmm. be the star of the show. I was going to mm-hmm. be Weekend Update, but I said I'm. that's gay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me. I... Uh, I'm a real journalist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. <laughs> we do break news on Cumtown yeah. a lot. For uh, example, Kim Kardashian was just robbed again. Again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She That's got us. robbed at gunpoint. Yeah, yeah. They tied her up. N words in Paris. <laughs> weird that, that came full circle. <laughs> you write a song like that. What do you think's going to happen? <laughs> Jesus. And that song came out. Oh, that song came know. out. And that song is like it should have just been titled "I Dare You to Say It." <laughs> white guy. Oh yeah, it's in the chorus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't. A lot of white guys said it for sure. Yeah, I know, but you can't put it in the title of the song. True. It's their fault. Racism exists. Yeah, Trinidad James is pretty bad. That one was very tempting. Oh yeah. N word, N word, N word, God damn, yeah. Three times in a row. <laughs> what did they watch. play that as on the radio? How did that even get any radio play? That's know. the best part of the song. I like the YG song. My N word, my N word. <laughs> my hitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hitter, my hitter. I love yeah. that they were trying to make hitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my on, motherfucking no one hitter. ever says that. They, they did that too with uh with 3 Six Mafia. I uh, Gotta Stay High. Mm-hmm. No one was used to say... I gotta get stay fly. <laughs> fly was dead. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. like, all right, it just kind of rhymes. They so brought it back it because of that. What an incredible song, though. It is a great song. Yeah. Three Six Mafia. Yeah, I just listened uh, again to the edited version of the late day and night uh, kid cutie, mm. and I forgot that the edit was the lonely loner. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I laughed about it for like That's twenty minutes. That's the radio edit. Lonely, yeah, you can't say stoner. Apparently, I don't ever. I don't. I've never heard loner on the radio. Um, yeah, uh, that got a lot of radio play. Yeah, yeah, it did. It was a huge hit. Yeah. Yeah. But it was the lonely loner. Wasn't young? Wait, were you watching it on Pax Television? I was listening to it on uh, on Kid Cudi Vivo. All right, the cat never does this. It's choosing while we're recording the podcast to do its own woodworking <laughs> on the fucking wall. Fuck this gay ass cat. Yeah, let's, let's kill it while Amber's gone. Let's do it. I think she's here. Oh no! I mean, let's let the cat live. Yeah. It's been a day of podcasting. The, Ch- the Chapo boys were up here in the Anthony Cumia oh, East. Oh, really? Yeah. AC East. Anthony Cumia Bed Stuy Studios. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they offered uh, again to have us go on the network. Really? Yeah. Who, it's, Cumia or Chapo? Yeah, uh, Cumia. Tell them half a mil or, or we won't do it. Yeah. Uh, basically, that's what I told them. Half, half a mil, mil briefcase, each. unmarked bills, <laughs> yeah, yeah. tax free. Well, I was like, you know, like, wh- why? I don't understand yeah. why, like, what's the benefit of putting, like, the fact that anybody subscribes to this is ridiculous. Hilarious. That anyone listens. Yeah, yeah. First of all. To put everything behind a fucking paywall, who's going to be like, let's, you know, pay five bucks to see what's up with this cum show. <laughs> <laughs> but keep doing it and do please. it more, please. And, and more, more. Maybe yeah. We will, yeah, maybe we will I just found jobs. out my friends who are a husband and wife duo share an account. Uh, I stopped talking to them. Yeah. Wow, dude, we got to crack down. That's on that actually shit. illegal. Yeah. I like how it's like as soon as people make stuff, they start giving a shit about copyright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we do make something technically. Technically. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I don't give a fuck if no, people want to steal it. The estate it, of Tim Allen. No, you got garnishing. That most of you got the, mad that I let that guy make those t-shirts without us taking any of the fucking I money. did not get mad about it and <laughs> shout yeah, out to Mike D and Callie don't you yell wore, about you it you wore all now. your Yom Kippur decorations <laughs> into my apartment Jesus and Christ and you said what the hell is this <laughs> it's Rosh Hashanah first of all not <laughs> yeah. Yom Kippur oh they were they were hilarious dude driving over here just seeing the full regalia they were all wearing those circle hats mm-hmm. and he's talking about the, the, the Hasids in Williamsburg we have yeah. like uh, I'm sure you've been to uh, Williamsburg Virginia which is just just like Colonial you. Williamsburg, where mm-hmm. they all dress like dumbasses from the past. Mm-hmm. Well, we have our own version of that here, except it's Jewish. Well, yeah. <laughs> Half of it is like fedora stroller dads, and yeah, half yeah, of it's yeah. Jewish. It's a pretty fun mix. Yeah, yeah just because I'm a dad doesn't mean I can't have full sleeves. <laughs> yeah. When I'm 45. I love old guys that get sleeves. Yeah. Remember that fucking, remember that like Brooklyn dad we saw skateboarding by himself at like Maria <laughs> Hernandez Park? It was the, sa- this it fucking was the loser. saddest. <laughs> there's all these like kids like skateboarding or whatever. Oh, no. And then there's some like aging hipster who's in his like late 30s, Jesus flannel shirt, Christ. like, you know, nice jeans. 
and then like vans or whatever just riding a skateboard around in circles no tricks he can't do any he, all, he just <laughs> no bought tricks. the fucking skateboard he's like yeah actually I remember when I skateboarded for like what two weeks yeah. back in like 1996 <laughs> and so he had to buy the skateboard and then he was you know riding around in circles in the park and we watched him he just went around in circles and every time he passed by us the expression on his face it was like he had no idea what he was doing yeah <laughs> like he didn't know why not that he was confused or whatever how he old are we talking probably in his late, late 30s, 30s early 40s oh, yeah yeah he looked pretty depressed to me yeah. i think that's what made it funny yeah was that yeah. this guy was just this fucking 39 year old man skateboarding alone with yeah, yeah. surrounded <laughs> by children <laughs> right <laughs> like and he couldn't do not even tricks. doing an ollie yeah, yeah no, no ollie. it's so funny how williamsburg juxtaposes like people that are extremely authentic which are the hasids right it's mm-hmm. like people who exist in sort of this like bubble of just complete horseshit right 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 right. Yeah. you know I where saw they do a fake job at a fake company that has investors for some reason mm-hmm. and then everything about them is just sort of like a pastiche of things they heard about over the last five <laughs> right, years right right <laughs> Dude, no one they're, actually enjoys doing anything there. Right. Yeah, no, not at all. They're keeping it weird. That's what I like about Oh, yeah, them. dude. I can't wait to see Keep Williamsburg weird shirts. So that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. when it's over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just oh, stand at Rosh North Hashanah. 7th in Bedford. I, I told Stav, I heard the best the best oh, thing yeah. about Rosh Hashanah on the street. <laughs> like, I was walking by it, and this guy's like, yeah, no, that's Rosh Hashanah. That's like, uh, it's like Jewish Hanukkah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's like... It's like Jewish Hanukkah. What does he think Hanukkah is? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? I don't know. Do you think it's Muslim? It he knows great. it's not Christian, presumably. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, that's what is Rosh Hashanah? The New it Year? It is the Jewish New Year. Every single one of them is it Passover. That's New Year. Mm, no. Yom Kippur is New Year. Sakat is Tent Day. Sakoff? Sak- yeah, Sakat. They build a little tent and then they hang out outside their house in the don't, tent. Don't they mm-hmm. make the, a woman on her period not be in the tent? Don't you have to like dig a hole and? Well, I mean, they have to wait outside or something. One of them in our honor period shouldn't be outside <laughs> to begin with. Let's be honest. I'm First serious. of all, it attracts wildlife. That's a well known. Is that fact. real? Yeah, raccoons just run up to women on their periods all the time. That's uh, how you know. We might have to take an early break to change the batteries oh, in the recorder. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> it's not dead yet. I'm just letting you know. Uh, this mm. one might cut off abruptly. And it's, you know what? I should probably just do that now. Okay. Early break. Early break. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Toss your balls in my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, I will pop. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. The game's Mr. Bucket. The first to get their balls in, and Mr. Bucket wins. But look out, because the balls will pop out of his mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. We're all going to run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket from Milton Bradley. Okay, we're back. Uh... Let me f- uh, fix the battery thing. Hello, we're back. <clears throat> I was going to go... Is that my tea? Yeah. Did you just pick up my tea that I... You said I could have some. You Damn. can have some. I meant the tea that I was drinking. No, it's not the tea that you were drinking. Well, it's in the same cup, I think. No, it's not. I just filled this. Dude, okay. I want All right, tea. dude. I understand it's, you know... Uh, Rosh Hashanah. Y- Yom Kippur. It's Which Rosh Hashanah. It? <laughs> Rosh, why do you say it like that? It's Rosh Hashanah. Then why isn't it spelled Rosh Hashanah? Why is it spelled Rosh Hashanah? It's spelled Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. That sounds. It's but like, I'm saying it with a New York Ashkenazi it, affect. It's, <laughs> it celebrates. Uh, do you guys listen to Sha Na Na on Rosh Hashanah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Rosh Ha-na-na. laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of uh, <laughs> doo wop Get revival. a job. <laughs> Uh, Dude, what a dumb thing did we talk about when that one swing revival came up how like how much stupider doo-wop revival was in the 70s uh, i don't think yeah. we talked about that yeah we did no, talk swing about revival it. was I, and that we, was we did say yeah we did say that the mask single-handedly derailed it, swing yeah. revival yes um but uh you, you know what's weird south austin uh, is like guys that were like really cool in 1996, right? And then just stayed like, oh, that. they're all zoot suit, <laughs> right? They're all yeah, like Bowling rockabilly, shirts. rockabilly, yeah, all big. rockabilly guys that work in like speed shops. Although I would fuck rockabilly girls. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, no oh, man, Blake Blake short. Midget had a tweet one time. Where he's like, I love how women that try to look like Betty Betty Page never do. <laughs> and that's all those girls. Like I'm gonna get bangs, so I look like Betty Page. It's like, well. 
All right. You got some, a, of, some yeah. of that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are eight other things yeah. you're not nailing. That'd be like if I'm like, I'm going to look like John Hamm by putting on a tie. <laughs> And then I still have no. a terrible posture and autism. <laughs> Look, I'm John Hamm now. I'm a, I'm, I've got I'm a skinny tie. Head. I've got a skinny tie with yeah. a clip. <laughs> yeah, I got a clip on it. It just attaches to my basketball shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm hot now. You have to fuck me. That's uh, the other thing, though. It's not that wi- women think it's because they're like, get that haircut that people want to fuck them. just like... Most people will fuck most women. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, it's like yeah. your haircut. I guess is good. I'm happy right. for you and everything. But you could have done that with yeah. terrible hair. And I mean, I don't know. You didn't really have to do anything. No, absolutely not. Just have a little confidence, ladies. You're all beautiful. You are really at Stavi Angel. Slide in these you. DMs. Uh, so far, I've gotten nothing but gay men. I talked about this a little bit off the <laughs> podcast, but a lot of gay men have been uh, hide, slop, uh, sliding into my DMs trying to any fuck cuties. Me. No, a couple like a, a closeted man in India sent me an "I love you" meme, <laughs> and he sent me his fucking phone number. <laughs> yeah. You know how daring that is that he did that when you're just laughing at this guy, who like if anyone found out about that, they'd like draw and quarter him. <laughs> They're like, yeah, look at this gay Indian guy. And he like had to sneak into a cave in the middle of the night with his laptop, make sure no one followed him. And be like, I love you, fat man. Please do not tell anyone. They will kill my family if you tell anyone. I love you. It's a picture of Garfield with hearts on it. He sent you a g- <laughs> No, he sent a- Power Rangers kissing Facebook stickers. <laughs> and the president of India finds out. That's porn in India. Yeah. And then they just put him. You know, it's like the uh, the best medieval torture method is where they just put somebody in a pit and then put a board over them, and then they just slowly start dropping rocks on the board until it crushes them. Really? Yeah. Until like the board fails? No, until uh, there's just the weight of the rocks the like just squishes. Yeah. Them. Like that feels that must feel so like there's some fucked up ones, dude. Like the the one where you put a rat in a cylinder and yeah. then set. Like, I think that was just in Rush Hour Two. No, was they that, did that shit. Did they? I'm guessing. I don't know. Was that in Rush Hour 2? What movie am I thinking of? Uh, I think it was Rush K- Hour Kiss two. of the Dragon? It Romeo was, it was Must a, Die? It was a Jet Li movie? I think so. I don't remember that. In the Maybe it was movie. the Tuxedo. <laughs> I just watched a terrible Jet Li movie where he's like his evil twin from another dimension. The one? The one, yeah, yeah. That was like, I. It, w- it probably wasn't the first movie where he spoke English, but like it was the first one that I remember seeing that wasn't like just a Hong Kong Jet Li right, movie. Right, right, oh, yeah. Right. And it was so disappointing. It was terrible. It was like, just let him speak Chinese. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, a fucking dog subtitles. shit actor. Right, right, right. no right. way, yeah. Because Black Mask, I used to fucking love Black Mask. Uh-huh. And Romeo Must Die. Oh yeah, Aaliyah, the, Aaliyah, the Aaliyah was on baby yeah. girl R.I.P. Yeah. That little baby sound from that song. Uh, uh. <laughs> was it? But that was Nutty Professor. Was it? Yeah. Nutty Tell Professor. me that somebody. Another great oh, movie. Yeah. Oh, that's the rat thing. Is in that? There was Ooh. actually a medieval uh, uh, torture method where they would make you wear a fat suit. And everyone would laugh at you until you died. <laughs> Death by shame. By clump. That's what the pillory. The pillories. They had pillories and fat suits. Hmm. Um, Speaking of pillory, guys, yes, Queen. What a debate! We already oh, we talked, talked about, about it. it. Yeah, we, we did, did two episodes. For me, yeah. actually, <laughs> just I I don't know if I conveyed this when we were talking about the debate last time, but the best part of the entire debate was just turning and looking at Nick, looking so sad that his boy the Trump, Trump was blowing it. it. <laughs> Donnie Casino, baby. What you do to me? Like right now, the Nick look on Nick's eyes is the most emotional I've ever seen. disappointed. <laughs> I thought he was going to fucking, you know, turn it into a spectacle and it just sort of... I can't wait till he brings up Bill Clinton next time. You know what oh, it's yeah, like? You is. know what that was like? It's like when you when you see a comic you really fucking respect and you haven't seen in a while. It's a bad oh, And they yeah. get up and they do the same material they've been doing for right, like right, five years and right. you're like, oh, you you're just life sort of yeah eating away at your core and you yeah know, it's just not going to happen for you yeah sorry dude but yeah. trump uh pence and uh kane are debating tomorrow my <laughs> pants <laughs> yeah pence is hilarious dude we were t- like he <laughs> legit tried to like get uh gay conversion therapy mm. funded by like medicare the state, of <laughs> indiana. The state of indiana yeah <laughs> like straight up just was trying to get that to be well legal. he was the one that was scared of scared Dude, why of the, the gay fuck pizza not? here's the thing it's like people don't understand that you can exploit those 
those you know programs so yeah let them have gay conversion camp but then if you're poor just say your kid is gay and then they get free summer camp <laughs> <laughs> damn that's fucking it's free no, that's child camp and you don't think if you don't think fucking poor people would figure that out immediately i mean that's well they, they would, would buy order. they would buy um you know charles rates. bronson uh his, his he grew up poor the actor <laughs> not the prisoner right and uh, his mom, you know, because they didn't have any money, he would have to go to school in his sister's clothes. So he would wear dresses that, to school. Yeah. And that's why he became so tough. I used to wear dresses, and that's why I'm gay now. Yeah. Well, that's why you grew into them. <laughs> yeah, I filled out. Yeah. <laughs> I had to fill out the bust. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, boy. I love being a man with titties. Have you guys ever had titties in your lives? No. Yeah. Never? What was the fattest? You, oh yeah, you you. Were I got fattest. pretty fat in yeah. yeah middle school as a little kid. Right? In seventh yeah. grade, I had like baby fat on my belly, but I wasn't. No fat. titties, huh? You've no never titties. had titties in your life, dude. You don't no. know the struggle. Actually, I have it's a, really not. That I have a bad, chest I concavity. <laughs> I have the opposite of titties. Really, my chest goes in. Oh, you said it's you disgusting. threw a little Jewish stank on that. Yeah, it's a Jewish <laughs> congenital disorder. Can you just fucking lift weights and be strong, dude? I can lift weights. I can get muscles there, but the in like the middle of it. Oh, it's concave. It's concave. Convex is the other one. That would be cool to have a big cone chest. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Just That's poke chill. bitches while you're fucking them. Poke them in the eye with your chest. Yeah. So uh, we got to talk about the uh, Mark Wahlberg Deepwater Horizon movie. <laughs> okay, let's talk <laughs> about it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Uh, so you should see it. No. I tried to find a torrent. I couldn't find it, which means that, you know, Mark's out there beating up anyone, <laughs> stealing, <laughs> uploading screeners. Yeah, that's true. Um, I really want to see it. I don't, I don't give a shit what it is Mark does. I know that, like, he heard a story about one guy in that oil rig that did something tough, and he's like, that's fucking me, dude. That is me. If it was me on that oil rig, nothing would have spilled. I would have fucking, you know what I would have seen that oil coming out, and I'd punch it right in the fucking face. Dude. Yep. He'd punch it back in. I would punch that fucking oil right back mm-hmm. in you want to try me <laughs> you know don't do it pal that's exactly mm-hmm. what happened and then he's like i'm going to executive produce this i'm going to star in it mm-hmm. i don't know if he produced it or not i don't know well he produced the perhaps the greatest television program in history yeah yeah entourage entourage and yeah. the Wahlbergers. the Wahlbergers. Great. We're we joking about an entourage but it's about donnie Wahlberg. that was my <laughs> idea for the show <laughs> it's about donnie Wahlberg's experience being well, a guy he's that, a drama. Like, committed to acting and being in a musical group, and then he's got like, you know, this younger brother committing hate crimes, yeah, just beating <laughs> up Vietnamese people, and then in, in a one-year span, his criminal brother completely overtakes him <laughs> in terms yeah. of popularity. Yeah, was uh, Boogie Nights his first movie? No, he was just a first, model before his, that. No, he's he been was in, in that- a couple of shitty movies, but his transition into serious acting was the movie Fear. Right. Yes. Fear was what made people like start to consider that you know Mark might be like a serious actor. Hey, what are you doing? I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, you like that? Boston. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. I'm Boston. You have to do what I say. That's fear. That's my impression of the movie Fear. All I remember is the fingering scene. What happened there exactly? Uh, he fingers the girl on a Ferris girl? wheel. Someone know. famous, right? I don't know. I don't remember Fear very well. On a on a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Is she into it? Is there, or is it a roller coaster or something? <laughs> was he a rapper before he beat up the Vietnamese? No, no, no. He beat up the Vietnamese um, in between. Modeling uh, underwear? No, that was, no, that it, was after. Yeah, it was uh, right before uh, Lone Survivor came out. <laughs> <laughs> he re-beat him up. Yeah, yeah. He went to apologize. Remember when he went yeah. to apologize? Yeah, that shit all happened when he was a teenager. Like He went to jail for you know like hate crimes and stuff. He mm-hmm. called him a gook, right? And then he smashed his yeah. eye. No, he goes. He called him. Uh, he goes. Uh, you fucking Vietnamese shit. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's what he said to him. Wait, which are you is kidding? so much better than a racial slur because it's like he just like there's no thought to it at all. Right, no. You'd be like racism is ignorance, but what's it when it's like so ignorant that he, he can't even be racist? <laughs> yeah. he just don't can only express it by putting a fucking meat hook through some Vietnamese guy's eye. <laughs> what is that? What he happened? did? He used a weapon. Yeah. He like blinded, he blinded the, the guy. guy. That was cute. Fucking Vietnamese shit. Did he ever pay that guy like millions of dollars or no? Uh, I feel like he should. No, I think it's one of those things where it turned into a learning experience for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when fucking like Kanye like talks about his struggle after he had his jaw broken. It's like, 
you're pursuing some fucking narcissistic dream and fell asleep driving home <laughs> because you were too busy being a fucking producer or whatever. And he like I got into stand got an at, at fault fucking it's his fault you know collision with this like cab driver or whatever destroyed that guy's life. I won't stand for this. What you're on his why, side? Why do we bring Kanye into this? We're making fun of Mark Wahlberg. They're the same. Oh yeah, guy. Nick hates Kanye. I don't hate Kanye by any measure. But Kanye's the best. I'm no, so get better. I agree with in you. terms of in terms of like you know exploiting a thing where you're clearly the asshole for. Look, dude. I think you game. know. We still don't know what happened. We, we don't, don't know exactly facts, what happened. You know, but we do know that what Mark Wahlberg did when he punched that Vietnamese guy. Yeah. Let's go back to talking about that, please. It'd be like I can't wait to see what kind of like comedy Cosby's doing when he finally gets over this rape thing. <laughs> I think he's really going to grow for this. <laughs> I do, do I, as an artist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When his next stand-up special comes out at mm-hmm. age one hundred and eighty-two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God. Well, yeah, that's right. Picasso did Guernica right after a, a weird rape thing. Yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. I don't know what Guernica is. It's the one where they're all playing a bunch of gay instruments. <laughs> no, dude. <yeah. laughs> Guernica sounds pretty gay. Guernica is uh, about the bombing of the <laughs> fascists during the Spanish Civil War. Guernica sounds like a racist Italian is looking for a black guy. Like, Guer right yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> huh yeah that was huh, boys I guess. I guess. No, it makes sense to me <laughs> thank you it made sense good and so you, you guys know. think that uh mark Wahlberg was right or wrong i, I haven't been following uh i mean i do think i as i recall the spring rolls he ordered were not hot yeah. right and if that's the case it was at a restaurant no i'm just i don't know what it i was. think it's okay to to you know his commit a hate crime if you know if you're able to determine what kind of asian the guy you're about to <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like he's like you fucking taiwanese <laughs> fuck and he's like how did you know i was from taiwan then it's if not you know crime. the difference between <laughs> yeah, mainland yeah. china and Ch- taiwan right <laughs> that it's not a hate crime that's impressive no, not at all that's, that's impressive a, that's a yeah. intelligence well crime. we look we got chen kai shek over here <laughs> and then he fucking you know then he takes his eye out and be like thank you for knowing about my culture <laughs> <laughs> like Look at this piece of shit, is just Southern Chinese, <laughs> Southern Chinese, Northern Cambodian Hmong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you uh, piece of fucking shit. Look at this Basque shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Do Basque people exist? Where yeah. are they? Yeah, they're In Spain. Weird. They're still yeah, Spain. They still they're like Spanish Ewoks. They have a lot of X's <laughs> in their language, don't they? Yeah, I think so. Is that the P- is that Barcelona? Is that Barcelona? No, it's like a mountainous region of Spain that was isolated from the rest of Europe for a long time. So they have a very unique language. Interesting. What what the, what do the biddies look like? Uh, they got dub D's <laughs> on the regs and they get them at like 12. It's so funny old. how often yeah. I do that. I'll be reading about a country and then I'll just open a new tab and type in like, you know, uh, Peruvian women nude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's exactly every time. It's the equivalent. Every time a yeah. famous person comes up yeah. or just like. If I have to look up like an actress in a movie or whatever. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll see if I'll they have a boyfriend. In, I'll look up who they are and then I'll also no, no, just nude. look at. Yeah. yeah nude. See if they're nude. Oh no. I first go personal info on the Wikipedia yeah. page to see if they have a boyfriend. The best are the Like fame. I'm going to fuck Kirsten yeah. Dunst. The <laughs> fake know? nudes where it'll oh, be yeah, like. Just smiling so hard. Uh, they're oh yeah. Bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like a clearly a red carpet picture and then they're just yeah. being like fucked by like nine people and like jacking, <laughs> jacking someone off on their face the head is like not yeah. even centered on the neck <laughs> yeah. right? it's like so shittily done yeah. oh i beat off to so many of those in yeah. my formative years I, uh, wow i didn't know the woman that played dr quinn medicine <laughs> <laughs> God, did Bukaki. hardcore <laughs> interracial gangbang porn just 12 black <laughs> cocks <laughs> yeah, she looks so happy <laughs> it's uh, a joyous experience that oh, must have man. been at the height of dr quinn she is hot, dude. She, in fucking Wedding Crasher, she was hot as shit. Dr. Q. Mm-hmm. She's what? She's also into the, like, jewels, right? She has a, the, a collection the with... The Open uh, Hearts collection at K Jewelers. With K. Every kiss begins with yeah. K. KK. Every heart has an opening. <laughs> yeah. That you can fuck. <laughs> fuck the aorta. I'm Dr. Quinn Medicine. A hot pussy. A, a fucking a cow heart would probably feel pretty good. They're pretty big, right? 
What do you guys think? Yeah, probably. Didn't that happen? That was like a Darwin Award. A guy died fucking hard. Yeah, he hooked a uh, cow heart up to a car battery and then stuck his dick Nuh-uh. in one of the ventricles. So it would like pulsate? Yeah. That's awesome. Good for him. And he died that way? Yeah. <laughs> Good right, job. The Darwin Awards are so funny. You absolutely could not come out with that book now. They're like, look at all these people that died. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, yeah. excuse me? Mm-hmm. How dare you I laugh? mean, I do feel kind of bad for everyone that died. But, yeah. you know, they're fucking... I don't... I'm glad David Bowie's dead. I'm glad... I'm glad they're all dead. Yeah. Basically, everyone that's dead, I'm glad. Uh, the fucking... <laughs> gay guy that played the harry potter dude mm-hmm. it's, uh oh, snape done so yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah that is snape I was uh, edward herman who's edward herman he's the dad from gilmore girls mm-hmm. <laughs> the child molester uh no that's the guy from seventh heaven seventh heaven oh, which is yeah. hilarious stephen collins oh that video or that like audio recording oh is God. great i maybe uh had an experience with one of them and then, like the other person, like, weren't there more than one? There may have been several. <laughs> it's like, right, like very, like softly, yeah. calmly admitting to, I then yes, I mean we had I had sex with the eight year old. <laughs> Look, let's not make this a thing. There's no reason Thinking for this to be a big deal. Thinking his tone is going to get yeah, him yeah, out yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just everybody calm down. <laughs> he thinks he is the dad on Seventh Heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an a preacher. It's also seven. like. Of course, yeah. Someone involved with that show had to be raped. Was it children. like Christian? That it show? was Christian. Yeah. They're, they're, what's the name of the producer? That uh, uh, Brenda Brenda Hampton. Brenda. I don't what know. The fuck. I don't know. Jessica Biel was in that though. That yeah, she her. got kicked off the show for being too hot. Yep. Because mm. she deposed on the cover of like Maxim or something yes, in a I bathing suit. And they're mm. like, uh, this is a Christian show. Yeah. And the fucking dad's like, yeah, Jessica. Why are you <laughs> fucking eating out a three year old? <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> they hired. <laughs> How dare you, Jessica? Her, me- her most famous anything is getting a bucket of water poured on her on the stage of a, f- of a Pittsburgh strip club in Flashdance. That's the most famous thing about. Jessica Biel? Biel? Yeah, that's like the most Flash iconic. Dance. Isn't that Jessica Biel? No. I don't know what the fuck you're talking Flash about. Flash Dance so this- is an old ass movie. Was there a remake you're talking about? That was her. No. Flash Oh, Dance? you're talking about. Je- oh, th- I'm talking about Jennifer Biel. Who's Jennifer oh. Biel? Flash Dance? Flash Dance. He's some. <laughs> From the 80s? Jennifer Biel is some woman that he saw one time. No, Jennifer Biel is the fucking. Jessica Biel, I remember who that yeah. is now. Jessica Biel is. <laughs> Hot as shit, you thought dude. Jennifer Beale was on Seventh Heaven? I think it was Jennifer Beals with an S at the end. I bet you she's got a completely different name. I might. It, she <laughs> might have. <a> different name. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Flash Dance. I beat off to it as a child uh, because it is pretty hot. You know, Will's keeping a spreadsheet of all the things you beat off to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this comes up quite a bit. Who is Will? Oh yeah, which nice. Will? <laughs> Will from Chapa. Oh Chapa. I love that. I would like to have a nice spreadsheet. <laughs> Definitely beat off to that. What else? Hmm. Well, anyhow, the Seventh Heaven guy. Uh, child molester. Child molester. Have you ever seen the Seventh Heaven episode where they uh, <laughs> they find the joint? No. They find fucking Eric's joint, the older brother, who's like 28 years old, but like he plays like an 18-year-old. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And he's like, uh, you know, he helps out with parenting or whatever. Right, right, right. It was like, you know, if you grew up Christian, that guy would be fucking... You know, he would never be home. Be like, right. fuck you, mom and dad. Right, 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 right. I mean, right. maybe not. Who knows? But like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so they find he, okay, so he takes a joint from, I don't know, some, the dad finds a fucking joint outside in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, you know, what happens with pot? You roll a joint and then you just leave right, it. Right, you leave it, you don't smoke it. That's <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave it on the ground. That's how drugs work. You forget <laughs> yeah. about them all the time. You yeah. roll all your joints and then carry them around mm-hmm. in a fucking Ziploc bag like a dare officer. Mm-hmm. Well, if some Christian pussy kid did do drugs, <laughs> that is the way they would do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they find a joint and they have to like, we have to have a family meeting in the living room room or whatever and uh and the pedophile yeah the pedophile and he's like does you seriously think we would be dumb enough not to find out eric you know or whatever when he finally like cops to having the joint right and it's this very serious episode about the fucking joint and it's like how did that actor deliver those lines with a straight face <laughs> well, and then he's like going home and raping children <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, every scene of that show, you just have to take it in that context now, and it makes it quite possibly this is a hot take the funniest the greatest show of fucking comedy of all time <laughs> <laughs> the fucking funniest shit i've ever seen in my oh, entire man. life it's that guy just seemed like a nice dude too it's yeah hilarious. yeah yeah well that's who does it there's never like you know oh check out this pedophile who's like you know also a fucking you know complete piece of shit that shoplifts and no you know, no there, there's plenty of those smacks out people there. around yeah probably <laughs> I think that's the majority of pedophiles yeah <laughs> that's to catch a predator essentially oh God, pedophiles are so all good, good dudes Everyone yeah they're good dude, good they call good hearts they got good hearts they just got bad dicks all right hold on um keep talking for a second I'm gonna okay. plug the audio into this so okay. we can play this oh I love it oh nice um, uh. Was so oh, to a, catch a predator. Let's talk mm-hmm. about that. To catch a predator, uh, Sav did also used to beat off to that. <laughs> I, I did not, unfortunately. Put that on the spreadsheet. I did not jerk off to that. Um, Didn't they find out that the host of that was a was a predator? <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. I don't. Think no, so. I think they did. No, Chris. Chris what's his fucking name? that. No, that guy. He wasn't a predator. He was just like annoying. What's the lo- What's the rule if you're a child? That the downloads <laughs> child porn. <laughs> if you're a child, you're you're a pedophile. If you're a, <laughs> if you lose your virginity, <laughs> twelve year old before eighteen, that wants to watch twelve year old. If get you fucked. lose your virginity, if you have sex in high school, you're technically a pedophile. Oh, you should shit. go to jail. Nick, That's my pedophile. opinion. Oh yeah, I am. I'm a gay fucking pedophile. Oh, Nick's back, everyone. I'm gay. My name's Nick, <laughs> and I suck dick and shit. Oh Aww. wow, dude, that's weird. Why did you say that? Anyway, um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I wonder. I wonder that if you're 12, shouldn't you be allowed to watch 12 year olds fuck? That's that my, should be for you. That's my take on yeah. it. Yeah, you should be able but to make your produced. own child porn. Yeah, it should be produced for kids. Four kids, by kids, by kids by like kids. those news. <laughs> kids like in rule. middle school. <laughs> Where they would have news. This is kids news <laughs> and kids rule. This is kids porn and kids rule. <laughs> and we're making up all the rules. No adults allowed. <laughs> Kids Fuck, rock. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be so good. <clears throat> yeah. So you missed a good riff, Nick. Uh, no, he was here. Did oh, you, I'm yeah, that's I'm laughing. No, I I was trying to. I guess I, it He's won't let gay. me start recording on this line. That's good to know for the future. If that I ever try to do in. that, that I can't mm-hmm. just plug something in. That's always be going. Yep. All right. Well, fuck it. Well. You know, we'll come back. We'll come when we come back from the second break. Are we taking a second break? We absolutely are. <laughs> Why? We already taking a break. This is going to be called the break episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're doing all breaks all the time. Why do you fucking give a shit? It's more work for me. I'm, that's what I'm I, I don't want you to be doing. I gotta, work, I gotta, buddy. Just got to go find commercials. I don't from want 1993. you to be doing work. That's right. You know how long that takes? Literally two seconds. <laughs> 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 and somehow also a week and yeah. a half. <laughs> uh, well, that's you know what? I finish editing them almost immediately. And then it's like, it's a pain in the ass to upload them because it fucks up all the time. Mm. Um, but luckily we've been getting free hosting graciously from uh, our podcast host. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Who's, who's our podcast host? I thought we we're the host. Come on, dude. I thought it's, you know, the Puerto Rican rattlesnakes. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. Wasn't it? Sometimes not all the bits go good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Sometimes you do good bits. Who's sometimes you do host? bad bits. Who's our host? Uh, <clears throat> Shout Engine. Hell is yeah. the name of the host shout engine baby yeah someone was shout fucking up so i emailed engine. them and i was like also i can't there's no bandwidth info and they're like yeah we're upgrading stuff so we gave you like free uh you know they're not asking for money shouts out to shout engine despite mm-hmm. our massive audience yeah we have to fuck me i have to be trans and you have to fuck me that's what we promised our fans yeah well yeah what's our new goal on uh patreon and well, what if we get to three thousand dollars we're gonna uh write a play about 9-11 and then make children <laughs> perform it <laughs> can we do that yeah <laughs> I would love that, like George Bush, like a little boy playing George Bush. Yeah, bringing my awesome, pet goat dude. to infants. Oh my god! Yeah, no, we do well. Look at this. We got uh, twenty thousand downloads on. Uh, How what what? Yeah, on sixteen and seventeen both got right right under twenty thousand. Episode eighteen, the Je Suis Charlie episode, got twenty one thousand downloads. Uh, what? Yeah. 
For this? Uh, yeah, for, for this. Whatever, dude. Oh, and the last one got a million and a half. Yeah. We have the most successful podcast on the internet. Look, we're three days into this month. So an episode hasn't even come out for this month, and we've had 10,000 downloads already nice. for the month. Keep downloading. Keep fucking yeah. giving so, us I money mean, I, What I'm saying is, is we should be paying for... For total, we've had 300,000 downloads. Nice. Total. Yeah. Which makes me... Uh, <laughs> because you guys have noticed, I said a bunch of numbers. That makes me an SAE, SEO guru. <laughs> <laughs> so if we got any Silicon Valley folks out there that want to hire me to suck on robot titties... <laughs> when are we going to fuck robots? Uh, we've been fucking robots for years, dude. No, dude. Boy, now, what, what do you counts? think What do you think a fucking iPad is, man? Open yeah. your goddamn mind. Yep, yeah. yep. That's what you I've know, been saying, We're all dude. sex slaves that is to what these I've machines that yep. suck Can our we- dicks all day long <laughs> mm-hmm. yo imagine a fucking they have Fight club those, right? it's wally porn. dude we're just becoming <laughs> wally people yo we're, we're like the guys we're like the guys at the boy end recliners. on wall wally instead, instead of being fat they're just jacking off all day yeah, yeah. just getting their dick sucked by a fucking game boy that's why when i saw <laughs> wally I said, I'm trying to get my dick sucked by a goddamn Game Boy. <laughs> That's right. I saw Wally. I said, this movie is fake as hell. There should be a lot more baiting, you know? Oh, yeah. Should, should just yeah, that is true. Bait. Those guys would all be beating off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they brought that, that, like, uh, that was like a way overused uh, joke in pretty much every packet I did for like a year was mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> if anyone was fat, uh, they look like the people at the end of Wally. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like and now I think a 10 year old reference. That's not bad. I'm still working into. You can get that in there, dude. Into my submissions for Guess Who's Ethnic on MTV. <laughs> Is that the real name of no, the show? No, but I mean, it, it might, might as well, well be. be yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody asked me if there was a show. Somebody That's told me yeah. there's a show called. Uh, like yo is that racist yeah <laughs> yeah i heard about that hell yes yeah it's hell yes. uh, how about, how about this I it started idea. off as a podcast i'm gonna I think. i'm gonna pitch a show oh, it's maybe called you, this could be like it's, a TV it's show. called yeah. tv show and you get a couple of guys and they just go out on the street and they say hey we're doing a tv show is there anything you'd like to say and they put a microphone in somebody's face that's a great idea thanks dude and then but they wear like you know they wear like cool hats like you mm. know stuff from like pop-up stores mm-hmm. and shit mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you know that's the kind of shit that people want to see i love it it's 20 minutes of that lots of quick you know cuts, cuts. yeah a lot of cuts a lot of talking heads a lot of people going and that's and you know that's when you better mm -hmm." (laughs) mm-hmm and then a long gym stare at the camera yeah yeah Yeah. just slow zoom in on the slow zoom in on gym i cannot get the idea of I, i mentioned it before but on the pod yeah of the like a family at a restaurant with like a retarded son they're like trying to get him to you know read the menu because they're proud of him or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like struggling to read the menu, but then it just cuts to Jim doing the, <laughs> the face from across the office. <laughs> uh, fuck, Jim from Benghazi. He got jacked to shit in that Benghazi movie. You guys saw the Benghazi movie? I didn't, didn't see it. You, you saw it and you talked about it already. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, who cares? Fuck that movie. Oh, uh, I don't think I really talked about it that Did you guys see this thing it? with Arthur Chu's wife? <laughs> what? I didn't even know he had a wife. I thought he was like single or whatever. How uh, old is that guy? Uh... I don't know. It's like 19. You know who his no, wife he's is? That. He's like 30 something. You he know who his like wife is? Ass, I mean, he looks like a fucking middle school He nerd. looks like you, except Chinese. No, I'm hot, dude, compared to Arthur Chu. The only difference between you and Arthur is that how dare you know how you to bitch? like put on clothes. And I don't mean dress yourself. I mean put on clothes. <laughs> Arthur literally can't handle putting on clothes. Mm-hmm. Arthur Chu is ugly and I'm Have you seen this hell. picture of his shoe? Look, at, I got it on my lock screen. He lost his penis no, uh, we've, we've for, talked in about a zipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Did we talk about that before? I think we said yeah, he lost his zipper and his penis. <laughs> he just well, doesn't know how clothes work. Yeah, so his wife, his wife, like uh, somebody went through her tweets and she mm-hmm. has all these. You know who his wife is? Who's his wife? Tawny Katane. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Who is his wife though? For real? Just uh, some fat Mrs. Chu, lady. Mrs. Chu. It's, I don't know. Probably some other. Her name is Ar- Arthur as well. Yeah. <laughs> D.W. Chu. Yeah, that's the same. <laughs> <laughs> So what is so is Arthur black? Arthur Arthur no. is he black? No, I don't he's know. tan. He's beige. No, but I mean, I mean, black people I, love that they show love so that much. Show. So yeah. I just assume now I'm pretty sure Kermit's black. I think Arthur's black. SpongeBob no, 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 is no. black. Memes don't make you black. Yeah, SpongeBob bro. is black for SpongeBob sure. SpongeBob straight is not up black, black, dude. Yeah, <laughs> ask a black guy. SpongeBob's not he's black. filled with holes. 
Yep. <laughs> and you know what those holes are filled Jesus with? Jesus Christ. Bullets from the police. Yep. That's true. I'm not wrong. He's <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't know people get mad at me when I mention that. <laughs> I'm on your side here. I'm just bringing it up. It's the woke You don't need take. to get mad at me for bringing up a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're getting kicked out of the Anthony Cumia Studios if we keep yeah, talking about for stuff being like too that. real for biting <laughs> ants, ants material. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no. So his wife was tweeting all this stuff that was like, uh, you know, well, I'm up for an adventure today. Guess I'll venture to the hardware store and uh, replace that toilet seat Arthur broke. <laughs> Oh hell and yes! There's all these like embarrassing tweets about like just what it's like to live with Arthur That's that awesome. she didn't think twice about tweeting. But when you compile all of them together, it paints a very pathetic and predictable portrait <laughs> of, <laughs> of Arthur Jew. Apparently, he has like a big ant problem. Like he what? Per- he personally has ants. What is that even? <laughs> How does a human being have ants? I don't know. <laughs> That's like what a window next to the kitchen gets. Mm-hmm. But he has what it. What they crawl yep. into his asshole? Yeah. He, let, he let a pie uh, chill on it, on his head. <laughs> and he got fucking ants. He was trying to eat it like a seal. Like he was trying yeah, yeah, yeah. to flip it. And he saw a video of an otter eating on its stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to do that. Oh, uh, poor Arthur. Yeah, no, there's great. There's like, uh, why are people? She mean, was like, chores for the day: fold Arthur's clothes, uh, organize Arthur's desk, uh, remove the residue Arthur leaves on all the surfaces after he eats. Oh my God, <laughs> is that his? What is he just? Is she just trolling him? Does she not like him? I guess. Yeah, I mean, who would? You know, she's married to him. She married into that Jeopardy money. I mean, I guess they were married before that. Were they? Yeah. Damn. He's a good lover. She must. She must look bad right well because his penis was fucked up they replaced it with a uh you know like a vibrating unit mm, yeah like a big fat he's a perfect dick. man yeah technically would you get your dick replaced by a big fat vibrating dildo absolutely i'd get it replaced <laughs> with something worse than that <laughs> yeah no sometimes like a, <laughs> i would love to get my dick replaced. you know you ever see like a thing about that jonah falcon guy who's like dick was so big he just had oh to yeah be he gay. can't go on planes what? yeah, yeah. Dude, it's like turn he was like his, yeah, his, his huge dick, dick turned so him big. gay Wait, yeah. just couldn't fuck fuck? Women. yeah he was like a club staple in like the late 70s in new york yeah like studio 54 it was just known for having the absolute biggest he dick does he has world. the biggest dick in the world it's like he could only it's, wear sweats. It's like 15 yeah. inches long and like soft? the width of like a yeah, football. Like soft. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's this massive. It's hilarious. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like a snub fire hydrant. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, and he can only fuck men? He can only fuck men. And it's because, you know, he can't, like, physically impossible for him to put his dick inside of a woman's vagina. Wait. And it's still how like, could he put yeah, that would be ass. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the downside. What the fuck? How, what kind of gay How big are these gay guys' assholes? Uh, well, look, first of all, never underestimate uh, what a man <laughs> is capable of. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the fucking moon. <laughs> you, you think you can um, fit Actually, them? black women coded uh, yeah. that by hand. Thank oh, you. yeah. I, I can't wait to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what movie? <laughs> the, one, the one. The one about the black women that actually went to that made the space happen. <laughs> wait, they did. And, you know, black women invented space. <laughs> there were black women. Who wait, worked they were for like NASA, NASA you know, I scientists. That, I say that as a joke. It might be a good movie. It's probably gonna be a good movie. It's probably gonna be a good movie. That's gonna be the one Who's where it's like it? Gabori. So, so no, it's good. No, no, it's a Vio- What's her name? Davis. Viola, Viola Davis. Yeah, yeah, Davis. It She's does. Good. Like I watched the trailer. It does look like it's going to be good. But because it's coming out right now. It feels like oh they're just we're trying to catch. What's the other movie? Me. Birth of a Nation. No one's allowed to see because he's raped. He yeah, because he raped him and his uh, wife. Raped. I think they what? did. They, yeah, wasn't that the story? Him and his like girlfriend, or you know, he had what like a rape fuck? partner. Wow, and an um, Amanda Knox type thing. Uh, yeah. Did you watch that? The Amanda Knox documentary. No. Have you seen a picture of Amanda Knox's new boyfriend? No. Uh, you should pull it up, dude. He looks like. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. He looks Kevin like the Federline. rapper. Uh, Did you see how fat like, uh, Kevin what's Federline got? From G's to Gents. What's no. the guy? Oh, Riff Raff. Riff Raff. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Federline had a hilarious moment, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. that guy so overachieved what he yeah. should have had in life. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> ultimate gold digger ever, right? <laughs> K-Fed. And he got out. Yeah. He doesn't have to be married to her. Now he can just get fucking alimony checks every month. I don't That's know. This guy one. just looks like a retard dumbass to me. There was one good picture. I don't know. There's one I where he's it. wearing, like, he zebra look like pants. Federline. Not... 
Maybe this is someone else. Who cares? Who cares? Fuck this. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Federline got fat as shit, dude. Have you seen him? I haven't seen him recently, no. Although K-Fed. Britney's looking good. Britney is on so many drugs, dude. I don't give a fuck, she, dude. They, Britney is just made out of evil Jew <laughs> lawyers. Look how fat. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I know. He got That is fat as hell. Yeah. Well, he good got, for him. He, he K-fed himself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I quit the podcast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> yeah. I quit the podcast. Yeah, he got fat as hell. He's still probably smashing whores, though. Probably. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, God. Kevin, dude. Yeah, he's fat. Huh? Fucking idiot. Yeah, he really fell off. And he's mastered the big t-shirt immediately. Oh, yeah. It looks it doesn't look bad Some on Some people him. gain weight and they don't know how to deal with it. But he, he, he got fat the right way. I feel yeah. like he was big T before he got fat. Yeah, but there's like a way to be a fat guy wearing a, a big t-shirt where it minimizes how much of a dumpy piece of shit sure, you are. Sure, sure. And he's nailed it. Yeah. Uh, yes. I tried that for years. No, you wear like, like tight shirts. Yeah, now that's my move. Yeah, I mean, embrace it now. Yeah, you want to. You want people to think you're a bowling ball. Uh, I don't think quite bowling ball is exactly what I'm going for. No, but, uh, no, like, like scary grizzly bear. Yeah, I'm like a sexy scary grizzly bear. Sexy and scary. I just want people to know that I'm I'm still I'm not defined by society standards, and if I want to wear a tight shirt, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Thank you. Um, for those of us that have to witness it, <laughs> we're like, oh, no, fuck. Dude, fat guys that wear Is the that giant a fan shirts. with uh, <laughs> fantasy art painted on the side? <laughs> oh, no, it's a human being. Fat guys that wear the fucking uh, shirts just look even fatter, I find. Honestly, I'm jealous because you have a great shirt collection. I wish I wish the front of my shirt took up that much space. Yeah. So Availability. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I could have that much going on on my shirt. Also, there's a lot uh, of canvas to work with. Right. Mm-hmm. You just have the entirety of Proust printed on the front of your shirt. Yeah, it's true. All I have fits. Guernica printed on my shirt. Yeah, Guernica. Call, call That's right, bitch. We've been to the art museum. Yeah, you probably yeah. think we hadn't. We know uh, about Adam paintings. got yelled at by the security guard for flipping off a clock. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? That's yeah. Good. When we Sir, do not do that. Really? I, fl- I yeah. flipped. Off a clock they get mad at you if you flip off the paintings and shit at the museum that's hilarious yeah you get mad at the cleveland museum i went i was there last year and was i was that all just old episodes of drew carey show <laughs> yes this is yeah drew carey badass show. so it's a little you know there's like movie theater rooms in the museum when you sit down and you're like oh this is gonna be cool oh okay this is gay shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it sucks i just you spend five seconds <laughs> pretending like whatever that video is is gonna be entertaining yeah you're just so happy it's t- something that's like tv <laughs> yeah, after right, yeah. having to learn I and fucking do learn gay shit Thing, dude, <laughs> for a whole day. Let's go back to Air and Space Museum where <laughs> yeah. you can touch everything. Yeah. I'm glad that rock and roll really brought back the Cleveland economy. Oh, that museum sucks, dude. The yeah. rock and roll museum, dude. They have like Fallout Boy in there, <laughs> dude. <laughs> like that. Yeah, they have like the gayest <laughs> shit in there. They have like Kid Rock talk. They have videos of Kid Rock talking about Elvis. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> it sucks. So you were just hard. there? I was there like a year ago. A year ago. You're going back. <clears throat> I'm going back. Yes, I'm about to go on a little bit of a tour. I'm going this Friday. I'll be there. Where to Cleveland? Yeah, I'll be in Cleveland. Uh, for what? The Drew Carey show? The Sorry, Drew Carey Memorial. I to get that reference in twice. <laughs> the Drew Carey Memorial. I'm playing Mimi in the Drew Carey Revival. That was actually revival. a good show. It was Drew good. Drew Carey show. Yeah. yeah, I dropped a Mimi Bobek re- reference recently and someone was like, whoa. Wow, that was like a deep cut. And it's like, what? Mimi? No. It's a sitcom that was on for like seven years. It was on. It was on forever, dude. Yeah, might have been more than seven. It was Everyone crazy. knows who the fuck Mimi Bobak is. Everyone knows Mimi, dude. If you don't know who Mimi Bobak is, you're a fucking idiot. You're the asshole. Who right. is that? No. I'm not. You don't know who Mimi is, dude. Mimi Bobak. Uh, uh, that was a Drew di- Carey. That was a. She was former dictator of Romania, right? I she believe. was the first SJW. Oh yeah, yeah, Mimi with the, <laughs> the eyes. You know, Mimi was just on Tumblr on that computer. Oh my god. <laughs> Outside of Mr. Sheffield's office or whoever that British boss was. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Craig was, uh, Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Holy shit. Mimi was the first Tumblr bitch, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, pig. <laughs> so, do you not see yourself, Mimi? Oh, that's incredible. That's exactly who the fuck she was. Yeah. Damn. That's a good one, boys. Yeah, that show was ahead of its time. They had they had uh, they had like Tumblr girls beforehand. Uh, Drew used to make beer in his backyard. He was like a That's craft right. brewery. That's right. Those guys. That's real popular yeah. in the Midwest. Uh, uh, fucking uh, Oswald drove for uh, Uber. <laughs> People forget that. that, yeah, that was he was part the of first the Uber. He was the first Uber guy. He drove Uber around. Wasn't uh, Ryan Styles of Whose Line Is It Anyway on that show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, he was. Yeah. Did cool. you not watch the Drew Carey show at all? Sometimes, a little bit. That was, a good I, show. That was my you know shit. What? It dude. seemed like they were all Cleveland having fun. Cleveland rocks. That's what. That was the appeal of that show. It seemed. It's sort of like Come Town. It seems like everyone on Drew Carey show is friends and having fun. Definitely a similar caliber. Absolutely, of, of, of joke writing, <laughs> writing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think so. As much thought went into yeah. that show as I don't know. Like they would have, I think they would have episodes that don't have look better like, jokes. You know, being but like a middle class American, and like we're like, what if a retard was gay? <laughs> Which, by the way, <laughs> you said it as a joke, but it's hilarious. That's a good joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, oh. Can I fuck your dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Man, yeah. they need to let us have Jesus Mad TV. Christ. Just give us the show. <laughs> then get on, get on Twitter. We gotta chill. With Hashtag all this fire shit. everyone on Mad TV and hire the cum boys. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing hashtags now. <laughs> okay, so our jokes are smarter than Drew Carey show, but I think like the whole like the general vibe. I'm still laughing about. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll have it. We'll bring back Stewart. Just pink stained sweat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's a pink helmet on. He's got a juice smile, but but the juice smile is cum. <laughs> He's just walking around drinking cum out of a sippy cup. <laughs> fuck, dude. I don't okay, know. Okay, fuck. <clears throat> I, uh, think, I think this is a rude joke. Shut the fuck up, bitch. My father, Are you being woke again? <laughs> I'm woke now. I told you guys. I love to be woke. What were you saying? Your father's retarded and gay? And gay. <laughs> it's a, it was tough growing up. With him literally just, <clears throat> you know... Yes. Asking yes, exactly. If, asking if he could call Bob the Builder, here, right? Yeah, it is. What? It's hot, right? In here? Am I yeah. dying? Yeah. I got a little bit of a fever going on, I too. I think I do, too. Yeah. You guys are sick? I'm a little yeah. sick. Yeah, I just don't feel it's like a general malaise. Mm-hmm. Well, that's just my life recently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I want is a big a big sedan to drive around in and just be sick all the time. Just yeah. kind of sick. We should move to just Buffalo. Just sniffling and maybe, you know, throwing up in my mouth a little bit, but not fully and just driving my giant sedan around mm-hmm. town complaining. <laughs> like a cop. Like those kind of sedans? Like a grand. No, like a big, yeah, like a big old. What are those things called? Grand Marquis? Yeah, like a those grand. I used good. to have a Grand Marquis. Really? Those are good grand cars. Four Grand Marquis. In Boston? No, in Maryland. Oh, really? Yeah, I, well, when I sold cars, I bought it from the dealership. Those are like undercover bucks. cop cars from the yeah, 90s, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I love that car. That's a, that's a good car. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, the uh, the fan email account that I set up has mm-hmm. been just a complete disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I expect it would be. Predictably. What the fuck did you think would happen? <laughs> I thought people would ask good questions. Why would people ask good they questions? They listen to this fucking podcast. Yeah, right. You were like, oh, well, Chapo say. has a fan mail account. It's <laughs> yeah, like, I was yeah, they actually them. talk about shit. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, how, <laughs> how many kids did that guy from 7th Heaven molest? <laughs> That would be a good question. That would I don't think we've gotten good. a single question. Actually, if good. you can... Oh, no, nah, because people can look it up. How about like we all guess and then whoever... We look it up and then whoever mm-hmm. wins gets a free... Uh, tool set courtesy <laughs> of the Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee Tools. tools. <laughs> I yeah, just call sure up Milwaukee their advertising tools. department <laughs> like, hey, listen, I know you didn't agree to it, but I think you'll be on board with this. So me and my friends played a game where we tried to guess how many children that guy from 7th Heaven <laughs> raped and the winner gets a free M18 uh, tool uh, tool set. Colette, hello? <laughs> are you there? Uh, Milwaukee Tools? Are you still there? Nice. What's this? Somebody Why sending, are you showing us dick pics? Oh, that's sending sent dick us pics? a oh. series of large white oh, penises. Come on, man. I'm not trying to look at that. Any titties? No titties. One guy said he started doing open mics and hasn't found any friends with as dark a sense of humor as him. Oh yeah, because open mics are garbage. Look, here's if you're the open mic guy, here's my advice to you. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you want good advice? Uh, give up on writing jokes. Just be like a, you know, just say things people agree with on Facebook. Get booked on shows. Suck up the people that are just a little bit ahead of you, and then get them to see you crush one time. That's it. And then ask yep. to do their podcast. Yeah. And then if they have road work, they can throw you, and you know, ask them like, "Who's your manager? Like, why can't I? You, I know who your manager is. Like, just give me their email." <laughs> that kind of stuff that kind uh, of cool stuff t- that people really like yeah, until you have representation and then once you have representation uh just get really trashed and send them ideas for tv shows at three o'clock in the morning 
Uh, and you know what? Make pretty much every TV show idea bring back MTV and give me control of it <laughs> until, uh, you know, they uh, ask you to take their name off your website. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's and then maybe you can have a cum podcast with your friends uh hey you know what 80 million downloads a month that's not right, bad baby. dude yeah we got, look if you, you know someone- it's funny i started off i think when we started the podcast i was joking about the numbers and i think we for real hit those numbers now yeah this is a nice yeah. little humble brag moment for me i felt like a like- dick reading those numbers for real i forgot we were recording this yeah i thought that that was uh that was, that was uncharacteristically cocky of you I wouldn't say cocky. I would say... Uh, just edit it out. Like you were proud of what you were saying, which it's is like uncharacteristic for you. What? Let's just edit it out. You no, don't I'm need to. I'm not fucking editing shit out. No, people the should know that The only thing I've ever edited successful. out of this was Irwin's last name, and apparently I fucked Everyone that up. Everyone found it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you could just search which Irwin you're friends with on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just not go hard. To your, yeah, we said like, so many clues. <laughs> He's fat as shit. He looks like Ron Jeremy, but he said, worse. He was his yeah. We said kaleidoscope comedy. Like he just looked that shit up. Yeah, but this, but we weren't talking about that guy. We're thing, talking about a different. There's Irwin. a thing in terms of uh, harassment law called plausible deniability. <laughs> Basically, it states that if uh, I just censor his last name one time, <laughs> it's uh, legally you speaking. <laughs> God damn! Yeah. You think Irwin's gonna fight? Fucking hear this shit? I don't know. I don't really give a shit. I hope he. I hope he listens to it, and I hope him and his wife come down to the Anthony Cumia Studios. You know, I honestly, he would probably fucking immediately come in his pants from the humiliation. That's probably what he wants. That's true. He probably have his like girlfriend, the, his this. wife, listen to the podcast and hear us make fun of him while she, you know she mm-hmm. masturbates to other mm-hmm. men's voices, and he's like, "That's exactly what I want." <laughs> <laughs> so, in a way. We kind of helped him. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, that's what I like to do. Anytime I've done something bad, I go. You, know, if you think about it in a different way, it's actually I've done a good thing. I've been, <laughs> <laughs> like I've helped Seth a lot. Yeah, you've definitely helped him. I just farted. It smells like a burrito. Like not. It's not even that bad. God damn it, dude. What? The recorder stop recording? No, no, it's still going. Oh, you just, you just smell the fart? Yeah, uh, can yeah. we take another break and order food and then We can back? do that. We're almost at the end Let's of this episode. Let's just finish this episode. Anyways. Are we? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to check the news real quick because I'm sure there's yeah, there's, there's some probably things. some breaking news. But that's what people listen uh, to. That's, this is what for. you do when you want the news. You type news into Google. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Suspected gang violence darkens start of school year for New York. Badass, dude. Fox News. Violent gang members is suspected of killing at least four high school teenagers in one suburban New York community in the last nice. month. Suburban New York? Yeah. So it's not in the inner cities. Well, Brooklyn is technically suburban New York. No, it's not. Uh, I know. It's a borough. <laughs> Brentwood. It's a borough. Where's Brentwood? Is, is that, that Connecticut? Is that Long Island? I don't fucking know. Who yeah. cares? Uh, so yeah, if guys, it, okay, we got to be real about this. If okay. you're in a gang, stop killing these high school kids. They're just trying to learn. They're trying to use whatever yeah, bathroom mm-hmm. they want in their high school without being, you know, bullied or whatever. Were there gangs in your guys' high schools? No. Well, there was like there were gangs that were like you know fucking bunch of retards going around you know like beating people up and shit and yeah stealing stuff from them but not like gang um, gangs <clears throat> there weren't gangs in my high school there were kids who were in gangs there was a gang fuck in Greek town they had some gay ass name it was like some kind of like angels or something, like soldiers or some shit Stavis like that Stavis Golden Angels Stavis Golden Angels no no yeah. no they were they, I don't know it was just these two like. These two like uh, uh, Saudi Arabian brothers, <laughs> nice. that, like started a gang, nice, and w- they got arrested for like getting pulled like a, a traffic stop, and they just like started shooting at the cops, <laughs> and they yeah. just like went on a fucking shooting rampage. Uh, yeah, there were some shitty gangs in Greek Town for a while. Fuck, what were they called? The something soldiers, and they would just beat the shit out of people for no reason. Yeah. And- I was friends with a guy in night school when I was like six, fifteen, sixteen. That was like. Uh, he was like a crip or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, and uh, he was I mean, actually a nice guy. I, you know, I liked hanging out with him, especially because he had a car and he would like, give me a ride home. Yeah, which was nice. And he'd, like make you suck his dick. Yeah, I would have to suck his dick. You know, to be in the gang. You got to <laughs> suck. Yeah. You got to yeah. suck dick. He, he was just a guy in a blue shirt. Yeah, he wasn't he even would, a crip. He just <laughs> and, I, and so like he was the white guy, and then the rest of them were like black guys. Oh, or the crazy, the craziest they, one according to Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they would just walk around the mall. I don't know. That was like mostly what they did as a gang. One and time. They, like sort of implicated me in this like robbery. I had to like participate <laughs> in like robbing this fucking kid 
I was oh, just you like told waiting me this story. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. ride home. I don't know. They're gonna like rob this kid. This plan was retarded. It was yeah. basically what? like it was bad. A bad plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like. Uh, you know, not the guy I was friends with, but his friend. He's like, "All right, here's what we gonna do. We gonna roll up, and then you know, I gotta talk to him on the phone, but he can't see me. So it's gotta be you going to sell him the ecstasy." And I'm like, "What the fuck are you? What? Yeah, you're telling this guy that I'm gonna meet him there, and then you're gonna come rob him. Like, I don't understand why you just don't rob him. Right, right, right. You know, he's like, "No, I need you. Like, it has to be you. So I have to go meet this guy in this like field." And then they're gonna pull a car around, Jesus. And like back, and like, and so like I meet this guy in this field. I'm like, oh hey, like I make a small talk with him. He's got a beer. I'm like, oh, what kind of beer is that? You know, like just trying to be friendly. I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck is going Jesus. on. Jesus. And they uh, they like back the car. They start like backing the car, and Beep. he like yeah, right. Beep. It's not, Beep. but it's like yeah, fucking. Yeah, but I know you know, like the guy turns around. They're like you know 30, 45 feet away at the end of this like you know small Jesus fielded Christ. area. Yeah, and uh, the the guys like. Uh, you know, looking at the car, like he's, you know, he like sees them, and so I'm like, <laughs> "What is he? Is he asking you questions?" No, I I played it where I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" You know, oh, interesting. And he's like, "I don't know." I'm like, "Do you know these people or whatever?" Like, I I Smart. just turn it on. Oh, yeah, 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 pretty yeah. good yeah, at yeah, crimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I also asked him what kind of beer it was so I could take the beer away from him so he couldn't fucking hit me with it or something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so I was like, you know, I did a couple of smart things. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. A couple that's of good. Uh, criminal things. Yeah, and then so uh, was he wearing a wire? Yeah, he was. Wearing a wire and I said had a fucking suck. wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's wearing a fucking wire. Yeah. Anyway, and then so they they walk up, they like they walk up and like walk past us. They just walk past us standing there, like and they have like masks on their face. But the kid sees the the guy. They called him and he's like, "Yo, Dale." <sighs> Jesus. And then Christ. you know they kind of like stop for a second. And then the guy I was friends with was just like. All right, fuck this, and he like pulls out like one of those mini baseball bats, just starts like wailing on the kid's fucking head. Oh with it. Jesus! Yeah, and then I just turn to that kid's girlfriend. I'm like, I'm like, give me your the money, I guess. And yeah, we like took their money. You took the money? <laughs> well, I mean, we came all that way. And they were gonna fucking. I was like, I didn't, you know. This yeah, was yeah, yeah. How much money did you make? Forty dollars <laughs> is what they got off that kid for that guy having literally bleeding in his brain. Uh, they, I mean, they <laughs> dinged him a couple times, but he ran off. He was fine. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Yeah. Why the fuck were you implicated? You just hang out? I just out? wanted to ride. I was, I would get rides home from the guy. Right. You know, cause I didn't want to take the bus. Mm-hmm. Did you hang out with him after that? Yeah. I mean, you still had a car. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It was, so, it would have been so easy for you to get, become a criminal. You were so close. Uh, well, that's a crime. Right, right, That's right. Like but not, I mean, like, uh, you know. Yeah. You were, you then, were close. Well, and it was funny because that kid was friends with this other guy I know who's not like a thug or whatever, but he is like physically fit and kind of intimidating. Yeah. And uh, that kid like told that other guy that I know, he's like, yeah, these guys robbed me and like, you know, like said my name or whatever. And he's like, yeah, he wouldn't fucking do that. That's <laughs> yeah. not him. And then so like... Uh, he found out that it was those like cr- uh, the Crip guys or whatever. Right. So he confronted like the head guy, you know, the guy that's like made set me up to it. He's like, "Yo, so this is what I heard happened by this guy. So I'm just let you know, like, I'm not gonna come looking for you, but if I see you, like, you, I'm gonna fucking like put you in the hospital. Like, Jesus you're gonna be, like, Christ. Severely fucked up. You like completely fucked up. You robbed the wrong guy. And uh, this guy was like, man, honestly. I don't want no problems with you. That was entirely Nick. That was 100% Nick's plan. <laughs> like, what? The bus. Yeah, so, like, uh, yeah, that guy, like, Antron calls me, and he's like, this guy's saying it was, like, you that did it or whatever. Jesus Christ, And uh, dude. I was like, yeah, no, of course it wasn't me. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? He's like, yeah, that's what I've, I thought. <laughs> Damn, but, you were, yeah. but that, if that guy's just No, a that guy was just person. a complete fucking, like, coward. He, like, yeah. you know, set up this whole fucking plan, didn't want to actually be involved with it. Right. But he was, like, a black guy. He said he was, like, a crip or whatever. So the fucking white guy I knew, who was actually kind of, like, a criminal. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, fucking was enamored by this, like, right. black guy that was, like, you can be in our Hilarious. That's Meanwhile, so he was like a fucking, you know, he was a joke. Right. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. Whew. Race relations in our country, huh? Pretty. Uh-huh. Pretty. No, I felt I felt bad for that that kid, the the one that wanted to be in the gang. When he like, I remember there was one time where they he had a falling out with that dude, and he had this like, you know, moment where you could see the disillusion in his face when he's mm-hmm. like, "Man, f- I'm more real than him. Fuck him." Yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. yeah. <laughs> this whole like walking can't even the believe in the Crips anymore. Yeah. My my friend in college, uh, 
had a high school friend that became like a mafia like like you know soldier i guess yeah, is yeah, that yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is yeah. that's yeah. where you burn the card and they pinprick your finger yeah and yeah, you and, you, and then they <laughs> kiss <laughs> each other yeah. in the basement of the pizza restaurant <laughs> yeah. and then you gotta kiss a priest yeah, yeah. you can only you eat kiss a priest lasagna on for three months <laughs> so this kid, I mean, he's, they just used to have hours and hours of stories about this kid Vinny lucarelli that's but he, i mean with that name yeah gotta papa be vin mafia. yeah so Vinny apparently has been doing steroids since he was like 14 had Hell to go yeah. through uh like doorways sideways <laughs> <laughs> Like his testicles are so small. No, because it's, no, because it's so, like so wide. Yeah, I mean, this might be urban legend. Um, I think, but they said that is, they were yes. driving. <laughs> they were driving uh, in their car. They saw Vinny like on the side of the road in Port in Port Jefferson, which is like uh, Port Chester, which is like in Westchester, New York. Yeah, and they see Vinny, and um, he's squaring up with this dude over money or something, and he just knocks him out. And uh, they drove on the way. They were like going out that night. They drove back down the same road in the opposite direction like eight hours later. And the guy was literally still late. <laughs> 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 That's fucking hilarious. So funny. <laughs> yeah. Papa Vin. And then I, I used to like text Danny like ironically like, yo, how's Papa Vin? And he's like, oh, Vinny's dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus he died a couple of years ago. Yeah, he died. <laughs> How did he die? Uh, I forgot. I got to get the info from Danny. But. He got crushed accidentally by a garbage truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was swimming. <laughs> he drowned. It might have been like a, a steroid-related heart attack. Could yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, it might not have been a... Steroids don't actually have any negative uh, physical effects. That's all like a media myth. It's a lie to disparage <laughs> athletes I agree. from being the you know the top performers that they're capable. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. From being the loudest guy in their Planet Fitness. Yeah, you know what I mean. I oh, want to get shit. the lunk alarm. What the fuck is this? Who's that? I don't know. But that's where the episode's going to end. We have a mysterious a doorbell uh, doorbell situation. Oh, uh, Amber oh, ordered. You dumplings. just got dumplings. Damn. We were going to order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, okay, I kind of want dumplings. Well, we're gonna order pizza. Let's get dumplings. Yeah, we're gonna get some some pizza. I want to get dumplings. All right, sure. all right. It's my apartment, dude. I decide what food comes here. I can't or what have pizza, dude. We're stuffed up. It's dairy. Yeah, that's true. I could get some dumplings. There some nice go. miso soup. Hey, yeah. Nikki. Shut Guys, the fuck up, pizza. Adam. We're getting pizza. We're just no, not fuck pizza. Him. All right, all right. Uh, everyone, folks. Thanks for listening. The, uh, this has been a Come Town <laughs> regular episode. If you want, uh, you know, the other fucking. It's going to be better. The good Yeah, shit. it'll be better somehow. It'll this be. This is pretty good. Yeah, I guess. All right, bye. Okay, welcome to bonus content. This is a bonus episode. This is our, uh, we're going to we be the first bonus this episode. This is the first bonus content. Oh, I was going to do. People uh, are paying their hard earned money for this yeah, one. Yeah. Well, you know what? You're in, like, uh, you're in, this is like uh, behind the actor's uh, studio. Yep. You know? It's like the bo- uh, it's like DVD commentary. Yeah, I'm James Lipton. And so we're gonna play old episodes and then comment on them. 
We're oh. going to play old episodes in their entirety, and then me and you are going to comment. Oh, I like that. Yeah. 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 So there'll be five people talking. Oh, uh, there we go. And two of them are the same people twice. Yeah, and Stav, the ghost yeah. of Stav. Stav's not here. So bonus means less. Uh, it's actually the Latin word for less than, and worse. <laughs> yeah, uh, bone. It comes from it means. Well, bonus means penis in Latin. It does. It's, yeah, it's that's a hard true. penis. Yeah. Uh, and as we know, men are the, uh, you know, the rapist sex of the two. They the, they oppress women, and keep them down. You know what I was thinking about, and you'll disagree with this, but if uh, yeah, I like. Well, I'm open to hearty debate. Okay. Well, I feel like if there really was like a huge conspiracy to keep women down, because sometimes it seems like that, like that's the criticism, not that things are just better for men, but there's like a active collusion. Like, why wouldn't we just imprison and rape all of them? I mean, we could do it. There's enough of us that we could do it. Like if we really wanted to have a patriarchy, we could, we could make that happen pretty easily. Wait, that's the evidence that you have? Is that they're not <laughs> imprisoned and being raped? Yeah, by, uh, where's my sl- sex slave? Well, first of all, in a lot of places in the world, they are imprisoned and raped. Uh, so, so yeah, you know, you're wrong there. Second of all, um, I don't know. Not I, here. I think that's, not my apartment. No, well, where that's it matters. True. Um, but this is a kind of this is kind of good shit you're gonna get out of the fucking bonus content, dude. Is <laughs> I don't have to worry about some dumb bitch listening to this. Yep, because they they get are paid less money, so they can't afford they can't afford it. The five dollars it also a month. costs more for them to make up for how much I had to pay to get into the Cinderblock Comedy Festival. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, is that, oh, that's the all women. Yeah, comedy well, festival? it's the one where they make white men pay more. Wait, I thought that it was just women. No. Ow! The cat just bit me. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, they they let white men do it, but they're trying to have like a diverse showcase. So white men have to pay more. White men had to pay more to submit, and then you know it's funny. Like all these women were like, "Fuck yeah!" Like m- making them pay more, and it's like, "Well, you're still paying, so you're being exploited." I think we talked about it probably on another. On the, I don't not what uh, I was we saying. never talk. Okay, so if you don't know, there's this festival. Um, and I'm glad I can talk shit about it because none of them will pay for the again bonus content. Bonus content. We got to get a cool. Um, oh, you know what's funny? The Anthony Cumia Studios guys like approached me for real about putting Come Town on the Anthony Cumia network. Well, only if they get office space at the top of the Empire. Yeah, stable. I already told them we're we're already at the better studio, <laughs> the real Anthony Cumia Studio with the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. As your uh, producer. But, um, yeah, so these girls started a comedy festival uh, called the Cinderblock Comedy Festival. And uh, they were taking submissions, which is already fucked up. Like, it's fucked up to charge comedians to to perform at right. the festival. Right, comedy festivals in general are it's a racket. This, yeah, it's this broken business model that they all started fucking doing, and then every new festival that pops up, they justify charging comedians to submit by saying, like, well, you know, look who did it prior. Like, Bridgetown makes probably, like, $50,000 a off year. Off submissions. Off submissions alone. That's and then they don't pay anybody. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and then they don't pay anybody. And then they have sponsors, and then it's like, oh, well, we break even. It's like, how do you break even? By you know, paying yourselves to do the work yeah, for a couple our, weeks. Our, after our yeah. $50,000 salary. Yeah, right. There's no, there's no way to justify it. It's like, for, yeah, you know, you ridiculous. couldn't, if you opened a restaurant, you could not pay any of your employees and then say like, well, well we still just broke even. <laughs> it's like, no, you're, that's a shitty business. It, it no, it's work. for the networking. That's yeah. what it's for, Nick. Um, you gotta go there and be like, uh, Nick Mullen, uh, New York City Comedy. How you doing? Yeah. It's like a trade convention. That's what comedy festivals are. So, these whores <laughs> they started their own festival <laughs> see and uh yeah they started their own festival and then to like you know uh, as, as a fuck you to the wage gap they were charging white men $25 to submit and uh, women only 19 something whatever is 73% of 25 is Ooh. Um, but you're still just charging women so you have like you're a still, fucking yeah. diversity festival and then you set it up so like hey we're going to discourage white men from applying so we're only going to be exploiting women and minorities and it's stupid it's like and if you tried to argue with them about it they would be like oh well, white male tears and then they'd post that fucking you know all their white male tears memes who runs it 
um, this girl, uh, Corey Spencer, I guess. But anyhow, uh, Lucas, or not Lucas, uh, Lewis got into it with them over um, that thing. And then so Lewis just started his own festival uh, where he didn't charge anyone the to submit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, he like put together in like two months and paid all the comedians just to prove that you could do it. Yeah. Because they were like, uh, it's impossible. How are we supposed to, you know, like put all this together? Websites cost money. It's like, <laughs> uh, okay, well, comedy costs money. You can't find uh, a web designer to make your website for free for exposure. Oh, in find- New York, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they took all this fucking money, and uh, I guess that festival's happening in, like, two weeks, so we'll see if... Uh, the cinder block? Yeah, we'll see if it's a complete failure. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm going to be outside protesting. That's what yeah, I'm going to yeah, be yeah. doing. Uh, I'm going to be raping. <laughs> I'm going to do rape even twice as much as I normally do <laughs> to make up for it. Guys, we have a um, maybe a slight technical issue. I can't remember whether I fucking erased the last show off the SD card or not. And oh, I, so we might not even be recording? No, we're recording, but it might just cut off at any minute. But here's the thing. We don't have Stav here, so we don't have to worry about it. Because his laughs require more uh, yeah, they, memory. Well, he's so fat that he yeah. takes up more space on the SD <laughs> on card. The memory card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of people don't know that about fat people, but any mm-hmm. kind of technology that is... Like, they mm-hmm. need heavy-duty keyboards because yeah. they're fucking huge fingers. They need bigger hard drives for their computers. Yeah. Because they're... For, their fa- for the fat. Yeah. It also keeps the crumbs out. <laughs> he can't help himself but eat at the fucking computer. And uh, it'll be weird to see if we can fill an hour without Stav uh, just calling someone a gay bitch and then laughing for five minutes. Really? I think that's about 35% of our I content take, as yeah, it stands. I want to take an episode and just edit it down to Stav's laughter. And just then, a super cut of Stav yeah, laughing? Yeah, yeah. That'd be so funny. Like an hour super cut? Yeah, yeah, That'd yeah. be amazing. And see how long it goes. I love it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's great. I think it's like makes the show a lot better. It makes it easier to do. Certainly. For me. It makes you feel funnier. For sure. Yeah. Personally, I don't laugh for anyone. Right. I don't either. People have accused me of being, uh, you know, retarded or autistic. No, no, no. Uh, I watched, uh, speaking of Inside the Actors Studio, Yeah. Dave Chappelle said he never laughs. So. Yeah. So we're cool. So I'm like Dave Chappelle. We're basically, we're basically yeah. Dave Chappelle. Uh, yeah. Very similar to Dave Chappelle. I, um, you know who, you know what? I did, uh, I had a callback for a commercial audition uh-huh. this week. And so, you know, you go to a commercial callback and everyone looks like you, you're going for the right, same right, role. Right. So that's really all it is. It's like mm-hmm. you have the same look as somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And guess who I saw at the callback for the role that I was going, which was just like some bullshit, who? like an energy company. For the same role as me, uh, uh, Aaron, the UCB rapist. No. Yeah, he's no. there. He's like checking in and stuff. And uh, how's he doing? Um, Did you well, he him? came up. He was like, he's he saw me. He's like, how's it going? And I was like, probably better than it is for you. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm doing okay actually. I was like, are you? And he was like, yeah. And then uh, I don't know. He mentioned some legal stuff that's going on. And I, don't, I don't know if I can. Probably should. Yeah, have. he already has a lawyer, so people know that he's like, I guess, suing guilty. them. Yeah, that yeah, he's right. Guilty. He's guilty. Yeah, he got a lawyer, so that uh, means he's guilty. Well, check this out. He got Atticus Finch. Have you heard of this guy? Oh he's no! Great. Yeah, yeah, um, I have. I have. Yeah. Is he the guy that rhymes all the? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing about Johnny Cochran. Yeah. Is that he was just, he was sick at rhymes. Yeah, yeah. And so he got people off because yeah. of like, cool. Um, if the, the dick's too small, you can't enclose him in walls. Yeah, You can't true. put him in jail. That convinced me. If the pussy ain't tall up, <laughs> then my man, you can't stow up. <laughs> the, you gotta let him go. Yeah. Something like that. That's it. Is it is called the uh, the Johnny Cochran, aka the whoever smelt it, dealt it principle <laughs> of uh, jurisprudence. I think they teach that class in law schools. Yeah, now. at Harvard Law. Yeah, yeah. The whoever smelt it, dealt it, and if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Um, but yeah, no, I saw Aaron the rapist there. Uh, and then uh, yeah, it was a bummer about. I thought I was booked to do Star Wars related stand up. Oh, this is really embarrassing, Nick. Is it? Yeah. I don't dude. think it's embarrassing. Well, here's the story is 
I get a I get a message. Well, it's not embarrassing. It's just really like I can imagine how you're feeling right now. I would, I would feel like crap. I mean, I, don't, I was I didn't want to do it. It would have just been bizarre. It would have been so funny. It would have been so much money. Is it still the same amount of money? No, it's for some fucking guy's birthday. But anyhow, somebody messages me and they say, and they're like, and it's somebody I trust. They're like, we need somebody to do 15 minutes of <laughs> Star Wars material. <laughs> At Anna Winter's birthday party. The, for the, a lot of cum boys who probably don't know who that is. The, that's the editor in chief of Vogue. Of Vogue She's yeah. the mean bitch from Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. So that character is entirely based on uh, Anna Wintour. Right. And uh, she always I, wears sunglasses. Yeah. And I was like, why the fuck? I mean, yes, of course I'll do it. And I'm like, I don't even have. The guy who hit me up, he was like, uh, oh, I just heard you mention Star Wars on your podcast. So I figured I'd recommend you. <laughs> Because Did I we meant, mention Star Wars? Yeah, I said something about that. That uh, the, oh, the, the new the one, Chinese. the Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese new one. That was very funny, actually. Now that yeah. I remember. Well, it. I was trying to riff stuff out, and I started doing uh, uh, black comic talking about C three PO. Oh yeah. <laughs> which that might even be too racist for bonus content, but that's you know. Oh yeah, black comic is the best. Of course, he's. I mean. I was personally raised as a kid on Comic View and Def Comedy yeah, yeah, Jam. Yeah. That was the first stand-up I was That's the thing I you're kind of spoiled by in DC is there's so many good, like, black comics. Where is that scene in New York? I don't know. Probably in the Bronx. We used to, like, come into contact with, like, the urban scene all yeah. the time in DC. The urban scene's great. Because it's, like, they're the funniest fucking people in the world. Oh, hilarious. But there's nothing marketable about that material. <laughs> there's no way. Dude, that fucking Lawrence Owens bit about the glasses. Have what you seen him? It? He's like, he's like, he's like, I can't be no thug because I got an astigmatism. You can't be no thug with no big ass glasses. And then he's just crossing his eyes and he's like, Where, where's the M word I'm supposed to murder? And he's like getting up close to the mic stand and staring at it with his eyes crossed. He's like, just him right here it's the funniest shit dude first of all astigmatism does not be to cross that. yeah i don't know it's, second of yeah. all that's incredible yeah you know he had like the best act outs and shit lawrence was always hilarious well that's the thing is like i feel like in urban comedy people are people are performing you know Right. like white boy comic book comedy that like we're you know that we yeah. come into contact with you're supposed with. to act like a bitch you just stand there you hold the mic stand I yeah. personally I don't know you what bring to your do notes on stage with my hands on when I'm on stage in urban comedy not only like you're, first of all if your suit has less than nine buttons on it <laughs> you're already unprofessional of course of can you course. imagine if you brought your notes on stage no how fucking unprofessional that is oh no way I want to blend both the worlds and get like a, a purple uh, American Apparel hoodie that's way too big and has 19 buttons on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be the black uh, hipster comedian. The black comic book. Yeah. What's up, nerds? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You're like Batman! <laughs> Let me get a motherfucking... Uh, what does that Batman dude, say? That yeah. dude, uh, Alex... That would be a great... Alex Star. Yeah, that would be a great, great character, like the urban comic that's that trying to rejuvenate it. his career so he becomes like a meltdown guy. The nerd comic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! You know I can't get no damn days. <laughs> you know I can. Pizza for breakfast? What is adulthood? <laughs> Somebody tell me what adulthood is. Uh... <laughs> So I just joined Tinder. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Tinder. on Tinder now. Look, I like comic books. I'll, I'll admit it. I like comic books. The whole crowd. So does sue me. Um, what's going on with you? Uh, no, nothing much. All right. So I got a cold from uh, from like a group sex experience. You, uh, My immune system's literally too Jewish. To like, there's too many orifices. Oh, it's always a humble brag. Every time, any kind of thing, it's like, oh, I, I hurt my dick fucking <laughs> nine people at once. Yeah, it was, I mean, oh, I guess it's a humble brag. That is a humble brag. Well, what a it, roundabout way. Let me tell you something. You know, so a dream of mine, my entire life, is uh, you know, two girls mm -hmm. fooling around. Two girls at the same time. Twins. Office space. 1999, a classic. 
Yeah. Um, Please don't look up what I can't, you're I'll never. I of. never want that ever again. What? A, a group sex thing? Mm-mm. Was it bad? Mm-mm. Was one of the girls Brandon Mordell? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Neither of the girls were Brandon. But it was... Uh, it was just too much anxiety. I felt like if I was paying too much attention to one person, I wouldn't. It's like whack-a-mole. Right. Yeah. And there was one that I was clearly more attracted to than the other. And I didn't want the other one to know that I was more attracted yeah. to the one. So then I'd like, if I was paying too much attention, I have right. to go back and forth that's, to the others. Yeah. That's the thing that you have to worry about in a situation. Like if you're dating somebody and they're like, oh, we should. Let's bring someone yeah, in. Right. Just yeah. Like, absolutely not. Then no matter you, you what, said you're no. Be I've always tried whenever really? I've had a girlfriend. Yeah, I don't know. No, I wouldn't do it. It's just you're gonna get yourself in trouble no matter what you do. <laughs> you can't. I'm. There's no way it's not gonna turn out to be a problem. <laughs> just the second your dick goes. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> like, all right, never mind. <laughs> this was your idea. It was literally your idea. It's like the same thing. Like your best when, when you make a decision about which restaurant you want to go to, and then it's my fault that they don't have the shit you want on the menu. Oh, of course. It's like that. It's entirely that situation. So we here's were, the other thing. Yeah, I feel like on the podcast, I tend to say things like that more than you and Stav you because like you what? have a girlfriend. That's true. And. Stav, I don't know. Stav's too fat to fuck. He's too fat. <laughs> he all no, that's yeah. yeah. I was like, I love when people like. I literally talked about getting gagged by a sex slave. Well, people yeah, <laughs> like on the podcast. People give like feedback about the show, and they, sometimes they say, "I can't tell who's who." Really? And, uh, yeah, and I'll be like, uh, "Oh, Stav's the fat one." <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, he's the one that you can hear. <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear? It's that he's, pretty uh, obvious. Yeah, um, that's the best part about having a, a, a fat friend is is you get to make fun of him. You know? I guess that's why you should. I don't have. make fun of him for being fat though. Well, not to his face. <laughs> we do to you to yeah, his I face do. all the time. I guess, but he he give you know it's a give and take. I think that's fine. So we were prepared for this. We were a little bit worried that it would be kind of a struggle to fill. Uh, Are we gonna? Yeah. So we we have uh, we have leftover blow from last weekend, <laughs> which I just wouldn't say outright if this were a regular episode. But it's yeah, a can bonus we get? Episode. Could the police like find out about this? No, dude. They're not allowed to donate to things. If That's we the talk number, about. <laughs> number one rule of police work is you're never allowed to donate to charity or help anybody you only kill you're born to kill um so i guess we had leftover drugs from from a couple weeks ago and i brought it i said maybe we could do it on the podcast my inspiration was this the only known uh recording session of john lennon and paul mccartney uh, was they recorded this album? Wait, what do you mean the only known recorded? What about all of the Beatles? Post Beatles, sorry, oh. Post Beatles was uh, in I think 1974. They recorded an album called A Toot and a Snore, Toot and a Laugh, A Toot and something, and it was them. Basically, John Lennon moved to L.A., broke up with Yoko, got a different Chinese girlfriend, uh, got addicted to coke, only wore white, and Paul McCartney came out. And they got studio space. It was them, Stevie Wonder, and Harry Nilsson. And you can actively hear them doing cocaine on the recording. There's like a part where John Lennon offers Stevie Wonder coke. So it's like, like they invented oh, the, they invented like the weed toke on the track. Exactly. Oh, that, that's an homage. That's an homage. Every time we rip huge bangers, smoke huge spliffs on the pod, we're doing that for the Beatles. Um but yeah, there's a part where he's like, "Hey Stevie, you want to toot?" And he like offers, <laughs> he offers a blow. Oh, and the music, by the way, um, is uh, terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I would imagine it would be just Have like this heard? podcast is about to be. Right, and you know that uh, what's the like? 
I don't know if it's like a Doors. I don't know that much about the Doors, but there's like something that's not on a Doors album, and it's just Jim Morrison yelling, uh, "You got a fucker in the ass," and it's like a, <laughs> a song that he recorded. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's some Jim not real. It's like, no, it's real, dude. Where he's just like, "You got a fucker in the ass." Oh my god, my favorite. Poet. I mean, the, the Doors music is already so fucking stupid to begin with. Uh. Uh, Felix retweeted this thing. Did you see it? Uh-uh. It was like uh, three photographs. The first is like, this is, a f- this is a drawing made by Jim Morrison when he was like uh, in middle school or something. And then it's a picture of the drawing. And then there's a quote on the drawing. Oh, man, I should have like had it prepared what it was. But it is so funny. Well. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not the way to do that. <laughs> Well, just um, explain it. You don't have to show it. Is, it is, uh, it's a picture of, it's a picture of, like, a scary monster man with a spear, and then the sentence is, it only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh, that's cool, dude. He could have been, like, a Hot Topic buyer. Oh, yeah, he would have been so Hot Topic if he was, yeah. like, born. No, he could have worked at Hot Topic corporate. I used to live with a guy that did that. That, like bought the shirts dude he's them? he worked his way up from hot topic just regular retail employee and he was so hot topic that they moved him to los angeles and made him like a buyer for the brand and when i met this guy he, he had the best style in the world because he would dress like the joker but only from the waist up so so he just wear like jeans what well, yeah from waist <laughs> down it was like kirkland brand jeans and then like <laughs> store brand hiking shoes <laughs> And then, you know, waist up, he, you know, he would have like a vest, like a purple vest with a green tie and then uh-huh. a red bowler hat. Uh, but yeah, he was a, uh, he was a hot topic buyer. So what time is it right now? Uh, we are at 22 minutes. So that was no, like no, what time is it in the afternoon? Of, oh, 7.35 PM. Okay. So it's 7.35 PM. We're going to do these drugs. I, it's far too early to do drugs, I think. Well, I can't stay up that long. I got shit to do tomorrow. So we're going to take a break and uh, uh, and then we'll be back and you know what we're doing. So see you in a second. <laughs> So you got Sammy Sosa, yeah. Mark McGuire, yeah. uh, Barry yeah. Bonds, yeah. and those are just three of the baseball players uh, yep. that I can name in succession. That's what I would say. I know. Welcome yeah. back, guys. So we're good. We're good to go. We're good. We're ready to have any... I feel, I feel good. I feel okay. Ugh. Any... any, any uh, uh, really, nothing's changed. We... Uh. Yeah, it really hasn't hit us yet. We're kind of playing. Um, yeah, we we thought it'd be funny to like riff it out, and then I started with a thing, and it didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it didn't really. Go Adam anywhere. Adam just did uh, yes weld me instead yeah, of a yes, yes. and. You did yes well. well. You go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how about that? Yeah, how about I did. That? I had to judge one of those roast battles at uh-huh. the stand. You did this week, right? Yeah, I did this Who week. Um, Evan Williams. Was he good? Yeah. Evan and Christy uh, Cello were both like really fucking good. She's so funny. Yeah. They both did real well. The lead in like uh, matchups were kind of like Andrew Collins and uh, Lawrence something. They did all right. But Lawrence was like got like getting in Andrew's face, which like would have worked if it had been, I think, two black guys. But Mm -hmm. it just kind of read weird. And then it was mostly white people in the audience. So they didn't understand his aggression. And it was just yeah. like his rhetorical style. I feel like Andrew's more of like a story guy. Well, Andrew's a better joke writer. Yeah. I mean, Lawrence didn't really prepare with jokes. He was just like, you know, I'm a fuck you grandma. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Like that first kind of round, shit. Let's go. Yeah. And then like, uh, it was two other guys that had kind of okay jokes about uh, each other, like uh-huh. two open micers. And then, um, this guy and this girl who were both like new because the guy I've never seen at all I mean I'm sure he's like new to town and this girl Andrea who I've seen like one time at Caroline's who's mm-hmm. like you know obviously just new to comedy or whatever which is fine it's whatever but at one point she said something to him and his rebuttal was well I could say the same thing about you which in the context of a roast battle is so fucking funny 
<laughs> and he just did it out of like being defensive like or whatever. To know yeah, what yeah. Mean. Like if that had been his strategy the entire time, like anytime she said something and be like, you know, oh, I know you are, but what am I? I would have fucking voted for him. They get mad if anyone like fucks around with the format. All yeah. comedies. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Because me and Stav are like going to compliment each other. But I know Stav has been writing for that shit for fucking yeah, days. He was fronting like, uh, oh, I just came up with jokes before. He had them all like memorized. No, I I'd, I'd, I'd legitimately sat down for like. Sip of that water. Yeah, I legitimately sat down for like four hours and like wrote probably 20 jokes for that Stavros battle beforehand. But I know Stav fucking prepared. He's not I mean, a guy. He doesn't not prepare. Four hours and 20 jokes sounds like yeah. preparing. Too. He works hard. For a real big fat guy, uh, he definitely <laughs> works hard. You, that's the thing. You think <laughs> fat people are... Really you think they're lazy, but... Uh, but you know he's he's obviously not lazy because you know he worked at that that shitty website for so long. That would uh, kill me. Oh, ground. Floor yeah, comedy. to be working in that place and having to like, you know, laugh for, at bad jokes. Yeah, right. Laugh at bad jokes. I mean, yeah. he does it with us all the time, which is great. But yeah, yeah. Well, that's why he's our friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. But no, I mean, no, he's why, he's our though. friend because he's funny, and we're but you know we're he's he's funnier than anybody else at that company. I'd say ground floor comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah at that sure. thing. Um, you mean uh, child porn times? Yeah, internet. yeah, yeah. Child porn, uh, extreme, extreme internet. <laughs> that was the name of the place. Yeah. So, um, if you're just joining us, if you're just tuning in somehow, if you like to, you know, like download. If you started the yeah, I, I like to download a podcast and then just get started right about three quarters of the way through. <laughs> That's my move. I like to think that, you know, I'm like just flipping channels and I've come across it. Who yeah. knows? You know, unless you're listening to WTF with Mark Marin, you're not skipping the beginning of a podcast. Right. I had an idea. I was saying my dream so and my cat, <laughs> my dream, it'll never happen. But I really want if I could sell a show, I want to have a show on IFC called Mark where I just do, I don't ever say I'm Mark Maron, but I, I just act like him and it airs for five minutes right before his show and it's the same format or ever, and everything, you know, yeah. where I'm like, what is what is this fucking bookstore? Who goes to this fucking place? Well, I guess I'm here, but I'm a fucking piece of shit. So it's just a piece of shit store. And then and then it's like, coming up next, Maron on IFC. And it's, just, <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Stretched over uh, 22 Right, minutes. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I hear it's a good show, actually. From I who? Been from Mark? From Mark Maron, yeah. yeah. One of the, I, something I did a, a couple weeks ago was uh, I woke up way too early and checked my phone uh, habitually and didn't go back to sleep because I read for like two hours from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., Mark Barron arguing with Trump people on Twitter and it is yeah. so fuck off troll shut up troll <laughs> you fucking idiot troll I'm 55 years old troll yeah uh, speaking of Mark Barron yeah so for the bonus thing I wanted to just do um, I wanted to just have give Dickfield his own spinoff podcast uh, I haven't figured out how Dickfield comes back into existence yet I, we were toying around with the idea of a a portal opening to another from, dimension. From the dimension where he didn't die at Auschwitz? Well, it, you ever see the TV show Sliders? Yeah. So, um, yeah, ex- essentially, yeah. Another another universe version of Seth. And then that opens up the possibility of like, you know. Infinite. Infinite Seths. Oh, yeah. It's uh, my favorite novel, Infinite Seth. Infinite Seth, yeah. yeah by David uh, Foster walls yeah i couldn't think of a cool punny kind of hey we gotta be on dude we gotta be on we're five minutes in we got another four and a half hours to go Woo! we're we gonna have the, to call the guy dude which guy the drugs man man oh the drugs man no 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 um so you know it's so funny when you do this when you do this drug mm-hmm. like it's uh you know, the point of drugs, right, like after you're like 15 years old is to do them and act like you're not on them, mm-hmm. right? So like if you ever smoke weed with a noob and they're like, oh, I am so baked, you're mm-hmm. like, oh, shut the fuck up, dude. You're supposed to act like you're not yeah, yeah, high yeah. on weed. But this one for me is like is like the one where I extra try. Well, that's because act. it costs so much fucking money that it you costs- never want to feel like you got ripped off. It'd be like, yeah. you know, if you bought like, you know, there's people out there driving like a fucking, you know, like a Hyundai. Or, well, Hondas aren't bad. Like they're driving a really piece of shit car that they spent a lot of money on. They're like, right. I love it. I love this car. <laughs> this car's great. It's on fire. The children are dead in the backseat. They're like, this is the best car I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. It's great. And it's the same thing with this shit. 
You find, I just spent a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's. Really, I make I make nine seventy five an hour. So this is the best drug I've ever had. You got to keep doing it. Yeah. And the best line or bump or whatever is mm-hmm. the first one of the night. Yeah. And then you, then you you drop you drop off. You mm-hmm. get energy. You drop off. You do another one. You never actually get to that same yeah. point. I love the night always ends the same exact way with me in com- like complete darkness, <laughs> chewing a hole through my lip and playing Candy Crush, <laughs> thinking about all the people I shouldn't have emailed. Uh, uh, do you do you send emails? Yeah. Well, you know what? I draft. I put. I, there's a right. lot of shit that ends up in the draft folder. And the next day, it's like, thank God. One time, I did uh, cocaine with Englishman Chris Milner. Yeah. And it was the night Muhammad Ali died. Oh, you. Yeah, you told and me so the story. This he, is great. He, we were doing lines, and he uh, he emailed his dad because his dad loved Muhammad Ali. And yeah. He wrote this really beautiful, heartfelt email. And uh, yeah, it was just so funny. It's mm. just like crushing emails, like doing rails, crushing emails. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm really good at email? When, I'm, fu- when I'm fucking lit, dude. When I hit the slopes, send some emails. Um, so I, I was on this job with, uh, remember that guy, Ed, that we don't yeah. like? Oh, that, which guy, Ed? The guy we worked with, Ed. Oh, the, the, f- the like camera guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was back? Yeah, yeah um, fuck that guy. Yeah, he sucked. Yeah. So someone married him. He's married. He's married, Oof. I guess. But so uh, I was bitching about him with uh, the other this other guy we know, uh, and he was like, you know, nobody likes him. Nobody likes this guy, uh, and he does this the most obnoxious shit I've ever seen in my entire life. But he was complaining about something on the call sheet, and he was sending the complaints to you know, the guy we know and the way he was sending the complaints was with memes. He had a meme generator on his phone Horrible. and he's, yeah, he's Horrible. Like, yeah. So it's like, uh, he's showing me, he's yeah, here. I'll just show you the fucking text messages. You say something for two seconds. Uh, <sighs> Talk about Syria. It's Syria. Just, um, someone, I saw Gary, uh, Randy Quaid. You know that guy? Yeah. He, he posted a picture that look, okay. You know forget that, about Randy Quaid. Look okay, at the text. Sorry, yeah. Look, um look how obnoxious that is. Sure. <laughs> Wait, first of all, this is the guy from Futurama doing the like squinty sarcastic. It's, yeah, yeah. Thing. it's fry, it's the fry, fry. meme. Yeah, the yeah, fry. Yeah. Not sure if I if an early call time helps me get out sooner tomorrow or screws me over with turnaround. Yeah, and look at look at look at look Not at, sure if we're rapping at three PM or three AM. <laughs> yeah. Imagine having to deal with that all day long from that guy. Are you fucking having a coworker me? that will only communicate with you through memes? He's the worst person <laughs> in the world. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. That's egregious. Yeah. Um. So, uh, should we should uh, we talk about what, what Aleppo is for uh, our Gary uh-huh. Johnson? I feel like everybody, everybody listens to this is voting for Gary Johnson. Oh yeah, for sure. I yeah. feel like we definitely have some li- libertarian. Yeah. What's a libtard? Like, how do you? What's their retard term? What libertarian is libertarian? Libtard is liberal. Libertarian. Libertarian is yeah. is libertarian. It's a good one. Yeah. Libertarian sounds like an uh, a zodiac sign. Libertarian sounds like a like a. Well, my my like star, star sign Trek. is my star sign is libertarian, <laughs> but I was born in rising Cancer, so it's, it sounds like a planet that they. You know, I'm very Trek. aggressive, but I'm also so passionate <laughs> I love how, like all the horoscopes are like well i'm a scorpio so i'm actually the smartest person in the world but i can also be emotional <laughs> it means it's like people just fall in love with me but i'm also a genius <laughs> that's what sagittarius is dude i really could not give two shits about that but if you're trying to get laid in new york city you just have to listen to hours of nonsense about the zodiac I don't think I ever have. What's your rising sign? Yeah. Just please suck my dick. Please shut up. Do people actually talk about... I don't think that's... Girls love it, dude. I think that's a weird... That's like a weird thing that Rob Reiner invented for his movies, is that women like... That seems Rob like, Ryder? I feel like, you know, he all this all the stereotypes about relationships he came up with and created them through his, his films. What, Spinal Tap? Uh no, Wait, did, when Harry met Sally. Direct Spinal Tap or Rob Ryder? Uh f- I don't know fucking know. I think maybe Christopher Guest did 
Or wait, you maybe because that was his first. That was the first movie with that whole with that ensemble clique, cast. Yeah. yeah, so maybe it was Rob Reiner. But like you know, like the when Harry met Sally scene. Yeah. When they're like, women don't fake orgasms, and she's like, women fake orgasms all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like people don't actually have that conversation. That conversation? Yeah, I don't wait, think people people have that conversation all the time. Also, I love that then she proceeds to do the fakest orgasm anyone has ever heard. Right? Were we joking to... around about like how if she was just like fuck my ass? Yeah, fuck my ass. Fuck, fuck my ass. Finger my fucking ass. My fuck. filthy ass. Uh, uh, my yeah. pussy. My pussy so wet. Uh. Yeah. Just Yo, in Katz's deli. I was at Katz's and my friend. I was eating there, uh, and my friend said, "Look up," and there's a sign right above me, and they were like, "This is where." Meg Ryan faked an orgasm. There's like a sign hanging mm -hmm. above one of the chairs. I sat in the in the fake orgasm chair, so pretty cool. I guess. So it's like you fucked Meg Ryan. Yeah, basically. Are you, have you seen how bad she looks now? She looks bad. She's gotten so much plastic surgery. Ugh. She's she, you know how you know how like when women those women that are just like. Uh, they get so much plastic surgery that you see them and they're like, I'm finished. <laughs> and they, they've just gotten all of it. Ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Pretty much, dude. Because they all look the same. They all yeah, look yeah. like that fucking, that bear cat. They have that like, that big puffy cat face. It's but it's sort of also puffy, a, yeah, because the collagen. Like a the Care lips. Bear element to yeah, it. Yeah, it's sort of froggy too. They kind of look like Pepe a little bit. Like a, yeah. Like brown, like burnt pepes. Yeah, they like should get whiskers. Pepes. They should get whiskers to go with the face. Oh, uh, like uh, like Mister Mistoffel, like uh, yeah, right. <laughs> play cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh man, do you uh have have you do you like musicals? Um, you know, I say I don't because you're not supposed to. But you're a man's man, right? Yeah. But any time I've actually been at a musical, I, like I really enjoy it. Me too. My my grandma's birthday, like two years ago, what my did you like see? my my grandma or my grandfather, and my mom took my grandma and me to go see uh, the Fantastics. Is that even that sounds like a fade up, made up like fucking fake musical? That was like name. a Pixar movie, wasn't it? Uh, no that. So the fantastic i don't know i mean it wasn't a pixar movie it was a musical i know i'm not confusing the two it was a live it was like a live performance thing i don't even remember what the fucking story was but i enjoyed it it was great i think it's pretty cool sometimes. yeah i saw the uh i saw like i wish if i had enough money i would definitely go see plays oh me too uh i went to see the uh um what the fuck the james franco uh of mice and men of mice and men yeah chris chris o'dowd and james franco on bro on off broadway or whatever yeah either on or off broadway whatever it was know. near broadway a J broadway adjacent. broadway adjacent yeah what if like how far off broadway do you have to be before it's off off broadway off off broadway yeah uh Secaucus. okay yeah. so the morton downey jr Flushing. show the morton downey jr show could technically off be broadway production. yeah okay so it's like art house god i wish he was alive yeah he's so great yeah when I was doing He's that, Trump before Trump, right? I've, of course. Yeah, yeah. When I was he doing the president. When I was doing that Nicole shit, part of the canon was that Nicole's retarded son was actually fathered by Morton Downey Jr. <laughs> she snuck because, and then I did the math on it, and she would have had to have fucked him like right before he died. So right. she snuck into a hospital. And, you saw the documentary, right? Yeah. So they had like. The guy that directed that documentary, the guy that fucking put the whole thing yeah, together, yeah. he like follows and unfollows people on Twitter until you follow him. Really? He's followed and unfollowed me like three times, yeah. Did you you didn't follow him back? Well, initially I did, then I saw how many people like he followed and I was like, "Oh, this is, he's just he's I don't a know what, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, yeah." So, they had like so remember the how they go into like what who his fan bases were? So it was like p parents from the Midwest visiting New York yeah. that like agreed with his like populist policies. Uh -huh. Right? Jersey trash. Right. And then the third were like Jewish high school boys. Yeah. That are like got the irony yeah, you know? yeah, yeah and they're like we're like this is actually very funny yeah 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 and uh there was like a crew of them in the documentary and one of them was the cook at my camp and i had like no idea but he was like he was one of the morton downey jr heads he was like there with all his friends and i guess they're all still best friends that's crazy i mean it sounds like the best high school experience like speaking of cooks yeah 
uh, somebody who like listens to the podcast hit me up and they right. were like, um, they were like, I know you guys, uh, like Chapa already does movie reviews, but you guys really should do movie reviews. Oh yeah, for sure. And I, I don't know. And, but he goes, um, somebody should really, you guys should really do like, uh, somebody needs to cover like all those old action movies, mm-hmm. like under siege and shit. Yeah. And, uh, I was literally watching under siege it's while, one of my favorite movies. while he messaged me to tell me that. Yeah. It's incredible. That's with the cook element is cause he's a cook in that movie. He plays a, we were talking about that thing about like perfect moments, right? Yeah. About like, oh, you only get like three or four of these. Right. Like when I predicted Buckaroo Banzai, you predicted that I predict. Okay. So I, uh, I got my friend's brother sent me weed in the mail from Oregon and I asked him what the name of the weed was and his brother didn't text him back for like a couple hours I said you know I'm just gonna call it Death Star and uh, his brother texted him back like two hours later he's like yeah it's called Death Star that's it's crazy like, really the bullshit about that is that people win the lottery right yeah. you only get a couple of those in your life mm-hmm. and I just wasted it you know yeah. I feel so like I just fucking well wasted then there's it. also people that somehow get like AIDS from a paper cut <laughs> that's true <laughs> some guy that works in an envelope factory <laughs> Um, he gets paper cut aids. Um, yeah, Under Siege is great. I was, I've actually best. been I've been going through. You know, I last week I started watching. I tried to. I'm trying to like watch everything that's ever won Best Picture. Yeah, why? I don't know because I like need new shit to watch. That's yeah, how I like find new shit to watch. Things to get into that weren't. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry to put on my will, uh, my w- Brooklyn, uh, you know, cool guy hat. But I'm the, sure there are, but I have plenty of time. Those movies are trash. A lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah. But I have the time to do it. Of course. And then after, what year are you at right now? Um, well, I it's like spotty, so I just pick things. Okay. Because I've seen like the entirety of like the 1970s, most of the 1980s, uh-huh. and then 90s and 2000s. Did Out of for sure. Africa win Best yeah, Picture? Yeah, it did. Have you seen that? I haven't. It's bad, right? It's I don't like know. Not, it's not that good. Right? Well, it's got Africa in the title, so my hopes aren't high for that one. <laughs> um, but more like Stay Out of Africa. <laughs> That's a movie I would watch. I didn't know uh, uh, Namibia used to just be part of South Africa yeah. until like 1990. Yeah. That it was just West South Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Zimbabwe used to be Rhodesia and have all yeah. different names. Yeah. Like Harare was uh, Salisbury. Uh, well, Zimbabwe, was it? Yeah, Zimbabwe. What's the one that became, that took the white people and then became a new place after Rhodesia became Zimbabwe? Like all the white people, what are you talking about? Because Mugabe kicked out all the white people, yeah. basically, yeah. from Zimbabwe. And uh-huh. then they went over to... The South one, Africa? I don't no, know. No, no, the one, there's one next door that also starts with a Z. Uh, Zambia? Maybe, yeah. Zambia. Namibia, Zambia, N- Namibia, Zambia, Tia Tamara, you know, Venus. I don't Serena. know if I've said this on the podcast, but I lived in Africa when I was a kid. Yeah, that's. You live there, or your just parents are from Africa? I lived. We moved back for a year and a half. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, when I was a little kid, I I got the accent, and then like I came back, and everyone's like, "You sound like such a South African." Yeah, you know what's funny is because really I, I always knew the name Rhodesia just from like having like geography jammed and in my also head. The dog. Uh, is there a Rhodesian Ridgeback? Is oh, that a I, dog? I don't fucking know. I don't know. But uh, and then I like I didn't know until the Dylan Roof thing that that's like a thing uh, white supremacists oh, associate they wanted with. To go back to Rhodesia. Yeah, yeah. I think they were somehow even more racist than South Africa. Was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they wouldn't let black people own any land or something, and I think it was an even smaller white minority. Something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was, I mean, I watched the, I, the only, I watched a South African movie. Like, which one? Uh, Dust Invictus? Devil. No, Dust Devil. What's that? It's, uh, well, I watched, uh, have you seen Lost Souls, the Richard Stanley documentary? No. It's a documentary about Richard Stanley's, uh, like, um, remake of The Island of Dr. Moreau. Oh, yeah, yeah, In, yeah. like, 1996. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So, it, it's... Um, if you haven't seen it, it's fucking great because it's yeah. all about all the crazy shit Brando was doing towards the end of his career. Right. Like they fat Brando. Yeah. So Brando was like notoriously difficult to work with at this point. And Richard Stanley had directed 
two or three movies at this point. Wait, just as an aside, was it you who told me that in the siege he did wear pants the entire time? Uh, so the, score, shoot, the, the score, score the yeah. score. Yeah, somebody told I I read <laughs> so that they online. Yeah, they, they had to shoot, shoot him from the from waist up because he refused to wear pants. <laughs> he's just wearing movies. <laughs> yeah, but then if you watch the movie and like the first scene he's in, he immediately you can see him wearing pants. So oh, that okay, one's so that one's true. not true. But there are a bunch I, of other. I want to believe that's true. There are a, a bunch of other Brando things like he. Uh, on, on the island of Dr. Morell, he like invented this weird hat that had a bucket on top of it so he could pour ice in it and bucket cool hat. off his head. Yeah. Um, and then they had to like just let him wear that while they were shooting the movie because he didn't want to take that bucket full to, filled with ice off his head. Um, it's the documentary is great. It covers like all this shit. I mean, yeah, I guess like we have famous. we have fucking time to kill. You know, I can tell you all the all. I can just give you the play by play. Let's go. Yeah. So it's great. It not just for the Brando shit, but uh, like Richard Stanley had directed like two or three movies at that point. His like breakthrough um, into the mainstream was this movie Hardware, because uh, prior to that he had been like a music video guy, and he made Hardware. What year was this Island of Doctor Moreau? 1996 i think oh okay yeah so hardware was 1990 and uh he made dust devil in between the two but um yeah so i think new line was gonna make um the island of dr moreau and they were like wary about hiring richard and then they like got a couple of people on board with they got brando on board with the project and val kilmer and then they decided to replace richard stanley my favorite actors yeah. of all time. But I mean both of them yeah. actually. They decided to replace Richard Stanley and Richard Stanley like had a temper tantrum about it and like went to go see Brando and for some reason Brando like took the meeting, you know, in his like bizarre castle uh, on like Mulholland Drive or wherever the fuck he lives. His neighbors, he was neighbors with like Jack Nicholson. They live on like the top of the hill mm -hmm. and they're like and uh, Harry Dean Stanton uh probably he's been in so many fucking movies yeah, you know he's, he's in he's still in movies he has like four movies coming out this year yeah and he's like 90 he's a legend he's 92 or 93 Have you seen years Paris, old Texas? yeah love it yeah it's a great movie um uh, well i don't know why the fuck but you wanted to we're supposed to be the entire plot of the island no of Dr. we're supposed Mara. to be doing jokes dude what the fuck we're is not this? being funny we're, we're not the, being funny this well, is turning into stop here no, we don't need fucking the, stop here. This is turning into regular podcast territory. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk about funny stuff, dude. Oh let's, man, we gotta be. Mean. I watched five minutes of the View the other day, and they're talking about oh, those cunts. They're talking about. <laughs> they're talking about like, uh, is Whoopi's like a new study says that sex on average only lasts seven minutes, and then all of them are like, oh Ooh. hell no, you know. And then, fuck, like, you know, two of them are hot. I don't know what they always have, like, one woman a on the show. A hot conservative. Yeah. They got yeah. a hot conservative Latina now. Woo! Yeah. Uh, Honey child. Yeah. And so Oprah's sitting there, and she just looks Oprah? like. Yeah, hey, sorry. Whoopi. Whoopi's sitting there. I call her Oprah as a joke so much that <laughs> now I do it on purpose <laughs> or by accident. I. Um, is Goldberg a stage name, by the way? No. I've always been too afraid to ask. No, that's... Uh, She's Jewish? No, I'm pretty sure that's a stage name. It has to be. Yeah. Um, God, if you could choose any last so name. So she's sitting there, and they put her on the end of the table. So she looks. She always looks like a pile of like the blankets that they give to people that survive a disaster. Oh, yeah. Like she's just sure. this lumpy mess covered in blankets of clothing with... <laughs> Usually, like, uh, nice sneakers coming out of the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, we're Yeezys. Yeah. And, uh, she's like, 45 minutes at least. And it's like, that's how long she fucks? Yeah. No way, dude. No Who's fucking she? way. Who's she, fucking you that long? Ted Danson. Yeah, right. He was for a while. I Can think. you imagine that? I just imagine her sitting there with, like, you know how, like, uh, Jabba had Wait, Princess she has a Leia tit chained tattoo, up? Right? That's what everyone was going nuts about at the Oscars or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Everyone, but now I can't remember if it was her or Oprah because somebody got in trouble for calling her Oprah. And then I was like, that's so funny. Who did? I don't know. Some, how do you confuse them? Uh, because you so often confuse them as a joke as that a you joke. eventually do it on purpose. I guess so. Yeah. Um, like Joy Behar, I call her Reba McIntyre as a joke. as a joke, but then I start doing it on purpose. The Fred Armisen impression of Joy Behar that he used to do on SNL is so fucking. I don't funny. think I've ever seen it. It's very funny. Yeah, it's a, it's intensely funny. Uh, should we take another? Yeah, I guess you, here you do you do you handle your business over there. 
I'll just keep talking about something. Keep talking, and then I'll hand off. You'll hand you it. You handle your business. Okay, you keep talking for I a really second. I really want a cigarette and to take a shit right I now. I got to take a shit so bad. You keep <laughs> talking for a second. I'm going to refill my water. Okay, I'm going to yeah. talk, refill the water. Then you'll come back. You'll talk. I'll do it too. Tell them about the rest of that movie. I, well, Nick's asking me to summarize the rest of that movie he was describing, but I haven't seen it. I have seen a similar movie called Lost in La Mancha, which was about uh, Terry Gilliam trying to make... <clears throat> have you ever seen Viva Rock Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking classic. Uh, that was the sequel, the Flintstones sequel? Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I never saw that one. I saw the, the one with John Goodman. He's in... Wasn't he in both of them? Was he? I assume they were. This is so everybody. funny. This is what cocaine is. Cocaine yeah. is literally just book and movie recommendations and albums. Oh, dude, you've never listened to the Rolling Stones? Yeah. Okay, you gotta get into the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, they're so good. Yeah, this is why we shouldn't do movie reviews because their movie review for me is like, yeah, I sat there, I watched it. Here's what I remember what happened, and I thought it was pretty good. That's my take on almost every movie I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. I'm not cri- critical enough. I'm not like liberal or artsy enough. Yeah, to like- go ahead. You do a bomb. Okay. While I quickly review uh, The Phantom staring Billy Zane as... Uh, that was Alec Baldwin. No, Ugh. that's The Shadow. That's The Shadow. Yeah. Uh, the Phantom is... Uh, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Phantom is like a children's movie where, you know, a similar thing. It's like set in the 30s or some shit. But I remember they had like one violent scene where a guy gets stabbed in the eye by a fucking like microscope that has razor blades that come out of it. It's a kid's movie? Yeah. It's like uh, a bizarrely violent scene. Oh, wow. Um, So they should give me a job on the censorship board. Guys, uh, please, you know, continue donating. More bonus content like this coming coming We're gonna right do up a different drug at, uh every uh bonus episode next week jankum stav's doing jankum because he uh <laughs> keep going that's a good oh okay so it's uh so stav what basically what you do is you t- you poop into a jar uh into a mason jar you leave it out in the this sun. is real guys this is jankum it's what they do in africa it's what kids are <laughs> you leave it out in the sun and uh do you remember that ad that was like post 9-11 and it was like, um, if you do drugs, your money's going to Al Qaeda. Yeah. Do you remember I, that one? Uh, yeah, I do. But how funny is it that they fucking offered to put this show on the Anthony Acumia network without like, they didn't listen to a single episode because we make fun of it, that show. Is that why? I don't know, but like the fact that he would be like, hey, I think it would be a good fit. It just means that like someone was like, hey, this show, like people like this show. And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll buy it without putting any fucking thought into it. That's how great show business is. What's the deal that Anthony Cumia would offer us? Um, $100,000 an episode? $100,000 an episode. I don't know. They make good money. It yeah. would be, and like, you know, Lewis gave us an offer too. For what's he on? He has his own. He has, he made enough money on like the Anthony Cumia shit that he has his own studio now. I thought Lewis does a thing with uh, with Big J Oakers. Yeah, there. I think their Legion of Skanks is now on Lewis's own podcast network that he owns, and he has studio space and shit. Wow, dude. Yeah, they're doing so real why, well. If he's so successful, why does he have to fucking steal the Puerto Rican rattlesnake moniker? I don't know. Us? Dude, I saw him. He was on Periscope the other day, and uh, <laughs> he didn't know I was watching or whatever. And he was like, he was like, yeah, uh, what am I going to do to deal with uh, Nick Mullen? He was like, I'm t- I, I want to, you know, he's calling himself the Puerto Rican rattlesnake to troll me, but like, you can't fucking troll me. Like, I just don't get trolled. I'm just going to fucking punch you in the head. He's like, that- would that be funny <laughs> if I just fucking walked up to him and punched him in the head? seriously guys like would that be funny you know or whatever and i joined and i was like lewis this is the police (laughs) and then his connection went out um okay so this maybe might have been a false start with the bonus content but whatever dude it's fucking bonus content and i've decided just now in the snap judgment i will release dickfield diaries um i'll go ahead and and do that anyways yeah that'll be fun Uh, um Finally, uh, what are we at right now? It's like 30 minutes total. Total? Yeah. No way. Yeah, 30 total, dude. This hasn't been 30 minutes. We've been here for two and a half hours. Nah.
What were you gonna say? You gotta hurry up. You gotta Colin say it. Colin Kaepernick, dude. Oh Not yeah. Standing supporting the troops. Oh, can you believe that shit? Can you believe that? Can you fucking believe the disrespect? That Here's that thing. Did that guy who may or may not be black or Puerto Rican or something? He's what is black. that? What is that last name even? He was adopted by white people. But that's not even a white so last that's name. So people are Kaepernick. It's like German sounding. Yeah. He's a fucking Nazi. <laughs> He's not. I'm gonna have to listen to some crowd bastard <laughs> tell me who the real Nazis are. I guess is this so. me right here. No, no, no. That's uh, bonus. B- 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 bonus. That's bonus. That's leftover. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we've uh, we've done enough damage. For have the- we? I don't know. I wonder if this was listenable. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Do you want to take another break and come back? <laughs> yeah. Let's let's just see. Okay. All right. All right. We'll yeah, yeah. Here. We we'll, might we'll t- we might be back. We might be back. All right. Goodbye, folks. Okay, we're back. Um, uh, bonus content part three. We're going hour two here. Yeah, we're gonna just try and. You know what? If you can't, if qual, if uh, quantity instead of qual- quality. Right. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be a marathon. This is a fucking nightmare, dude. This is, <laughs> this is such a I bad really, idea. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. You know, at first, because, you know, they're like, oh, you know, Martin Scorsese made entire movies like this, you know, where he was just constantly doing coke. Yeah, I feel like we should just figure out a way to apologize quickly. And uh, to the listener, if, if we haven't see this problem is we don't have any we haven't been hanging out. So we don't have any good bits. We went to that party and there were gay guys doing poppers. That's pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah. 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 But that's just the extent of that. Right? Yeah. We didn't see him fuck each other afterwards or anything. No, that would have been that would have been cool. I was thinking about like, no, oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> like, if you could get, because you know, like AIDS is such a big part of like the gay community where there's like bug chasers and shit. If you could get pure AIDS and like sell it as like uncut, art, like a yeah, like an artisanal, like pure uncut. <sighs> I'm glad that these guys. Are taking five dollars to <laughs> to hear that? God one. damn it, dude! I should have just done. I should have just done the dick field shit on my own. I don't know why we need stuff. We, we can't do this without stuff. I mean, listen. He's on the road with Bobby Kelly, who he won't let anyone else feature for. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Um, he won't hear this. He doesn't pay the five dollars a month. Stav will never hear this. I'm episode. not paying the five dollars. I'm not paying it either. You're, neither of us are gonna ever hear this. Yeah, I don't even listen to these when I edit them. I got a text today from uh, a girl that listens to the podcast that her and her friend had an hour long debate: uh, murder, uh, fuck, kill, uh, or murder. What is it? Murder, marry, F- fuck, marry, kill, fuck, marry, kill the cum boys. And it's I'm always kill. I'm sure. I'm kill. I'm kill. I told her I would kill, and then. Uh, marry Stav and then kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm the guy that gets fucking killed. I feel that way. That's my self esteem issue. Well, it's cool that I like that one of the options is shitty. Like it's uh, like fuck Mary kill is just like okay here's three things which one do you not like. Well, marry implies you just fuck them for the rest of your life, right? Sure. Yeah. So that's the better. So why of the two. is fuck like it's rank, I, Why is the game just called like rank these three things? Who do you want to marry? Yeah, which one of these is the best, and then the middle one, and then the shitty one that you wish was dead. Right. Right. That's like a Seinfeld. That could be a whole Seinfeld episode. The secret is that all the cum boys wish we were dead. So yeah, and we're trying to get there by by doing as many drugs as possible and recording. Man, I really wish we had some <laughs> fucking funny thing to end on here. I really was hoping we'd we'd hit that record button and then you know we'd be firing on all cylinders. Well, let's go story style, right? We're on the we're on the like talky drug, right? So like, t- was like the what was what was the first time you did uh, cocaine? It was on Halloween when I was fifteen. What was the most uh, pleasurable time? What was the best time you ever did? Oh, I don't fucking know, dude. I remember. I okay, go tell your story then. You don't have to prompt I me just, for your story. I just, uh, just, uh, you know, like one of the first times we ever did it, but we were all nerds. So we just watched the room with director's commentary the entire time. It was incredible. That was a great story. That was I'm a so, good story. I'm, I'm so glad we went. Are you, it's time. the room. The room changed my life. 
No, I've actually never seen it. Really? Yeah, never. Oh, it, it completely changed my life. It changed the way I evaluate all art. It changed like what I find funny, what it 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 ruined my brain. Why? I, I remember just seeing it in college. I'm having like a panic attack about how completely unfunny the last hour has been. Oh, it's been so unfunny. Who the fuck is listening to this? They're going to demand a refund. <laughs> Maybe we hang on to this one and then we just like drop it like this is the lost cocaine episode. Like we, we, we'll reference it on the podcast. No, because there has to be bonus content. I promised it. I was going to do the dick field thing. He fucking he. You know what? He knew it. He knew that <laughs> that was going to be. He saw that I announced bonus content and, he and then he had you. that meltdown. Oh, that's what this is. That's exactly what this is. <laughs> the Seth, Seth fucking got me. He fucking got me, dude. I hope he knew. He, I hope knew. This he is was true, like, but they're going to try and make money at some point. And the only way they're going to be able to do it <laughs> is, is if they me. is with me. So I'll wait until they announce it, <laughs> and then I'll get them for fraud because they have to. They, I'm on drugs now because of Seth Cockfield. It's his fault. I've been sober for four years, and now I'm falling off the wagon because Seth checkmated me. We, we did coke last weekend. All right. <laughs> Seth will have his revenge one day on you, but I don't think it'll be like this. I think it's going to be far more elaborate. I think it's going to involve, uh, you know, you you on the cover of the New York Post with some really bad pun above your head. You know, people shit shot. on those posts, but that's a lot of work. The come, pun department? Yeah. To come up with those? Yeah. Every single day? Yeah. New pun every day. Can you imagine how furiously... Uh, whoever comes up with those beats off at the end of every day. That must be such a miserable existence. <laughs> Having to come up with fucking puns. <laughs> the pun man. <laughs> the amount of stress you're under for such a dumb fucking thing. Oh, God. I think about, like, the, how... The amount of stress that some really worthless jobs have. Like being a clown. Like being a circus clown. How much pressure that must be to perform constantly. And everyone hates you anyways. Oh, yeah. Kids want to beat you up. Yeah. Being a mascot for a stadium, like the joke when we were kids were that we wanted to fuck them up. We yeah. like try to trip them. They have really bad peripheral vision because the masks, mm -hmm. you know, they're always like. Uh, Goofy got in trouble for touching some girl's pussy at Disney World. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. And that's like the World Series of being a mascot is being one of the Disney World Oh, characters. yeah. You're really up there in the mascot yeah. game. Can you imagine rising to the level of Disney World Goofy? <laughs> And then that's Only when you strike. Be brought down. You spent years as Chuck E. Cheese, probably, <laughs> or as like you know, a guy. No, in a Chuck E. Cheese is like animatronic, a, isn't he? Um, no. Well, they have the band in the showroom. The yeah. band, yeah. That shit is rad. All right. So, in the interest of the cocaine episode, we should just finish this, right? Finish the rest of the cocaine and the episode too. And the episode. God damn it, dude! I fucking. I, I'm so sorry. I have like, there's just nothing. I feel exactly. really bad too. I mean, I did say before we even took the cocaine that, you know, John Lennon, Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney and Harry Nilsson for the best musicians of all time mm -hmm. tried to do this and their album was absolute dog shit. Yeah, but we're not musicians. Yeah. Yeah. But we're like, you know, we're like four, we're like two of the worst podcasters of all time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why would this make us any better? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I think we should have really done the the idea where we do director's commentary on an old episode. I feel like this episode was going great until we took the break to do the cocaine, and then it quickly it was. became it was fine. Yeah. We had our shit together. <laughs> it wasn't the funniest. We were making fun of stuff for being was fat. Okay. We were making fun of him for being fat. Uh, but there was well, he couldn't defend himself. The, could, the yeah, best way. That's the best way to make fun of anybody. Yeah. Until they figure out a way to fuck you by <laughs> the demanding a public apology. Oh shit. Can you guys hear that? It's the police outside. They heard that there are two white men in an apartment in bed so, Um. So what do you think? Uh, Winita Broderick, lying, telling the truth. Wait, was that the the rape in the 80s? Yeah, where? the Bill Clinton rape. Oh, oh, I thought that was like the woman that was on the... Um, Gordon I thought Downey it was, Jr. show and Al Sharpton was there and there was that they did it at the Apollo. Yeah, every time, you know, honestly, for a second, anytime I hear Juanita Broderick, I think it's like uh, some like Mexican woman that Matthew Broderick illegitimately <laughs> knocked up. That's my like my the snap thought in my head. 
and it's, then I have to remember. That so wait, when was this from? I don't fucking know. Arkansas, he raped a woman. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he raped someone. You don't. You know. You always believe. Oh my god, dude. We have to. We have to stop doing this. <laughs> we have to fucking. <laughs> We have to stop doing this episode as soon as possible. This is the worst episode oh comes God, out of all dude. time. What do you, you guys say? Do you call low. it checkers or rallies? Uh, <laughs> right into the show. Let us know. We're going Carl's Jr. Hardee's. What do you guys Carl's say? Carl's Jr. Hardee's. Chipwich or cookie sandwich? You know, it's kind of annoying. Or ice cream sandwich. Uh, how like, I'm from the West Coast, but like how people talk about in and out like it's the best that place fucking sucks people do it's that with all every right place people it's do okay that with every, everybody has like shake shack here shake shack shake sucks. shack's not that good it's not that good there's no such thing as a good burger what do you mean there's no such thing as a good burger? it doesn't exist red I've never had a good, good burger before somebody just got shot dude Did you hear that <laughs> there's literally no it's a firework no dude. there's gunshot it's not a firework it's september what are they celebrating the end 9 11 <laughs> 9 11 is the closest holiday tomorrow at midnight we should podcast until midnight when it becomes 9-11. It's September 10th right now. Oh, holy shit, dude. I forgot. This is like the 9-11 bonus episode. Yeah. It's the That's pre- why it's a disaster. That's, That's why it's going yeah, so bad is yeah, it's a fucking yeah, homage to 9-11. Yeah, yeah. So for the 3,000 people that died, that's why this has been literally the worst one we've ever done i know i say that every time but not only is it bad we don't know when to quit this is like you know when somebody's bombing and this is a hostage light. situation yeah yeah, yeah. what's is, the best new york city meltdown you've seen at an open mic uh oh you were there with that one guy yep. at the pit that one time at where he's like pit. you go around everybody wants your fucking dollar and it's like those are homeless people you should feel bad for them they're not trying to swindle you they live outside i live in a bunk bed in bushwick yeah. with eight other guys yeah so does everyone yeah these are all comedians you paid three dollars to be on stage right now just move home yeah just move home you have to have that as an option i try yeah i tried to be a fucking comedian (laughs) he just watches the speech from glengarry glenn ross every night and looks over his fucking tinder jokes the pacino speech yeah always be closing not the pacino speech the fucking alec baldwin speech. yeah that's what i meant guys glengarry glenn ross is another movie that i've seen (laughs) The movies you're listening to the movies I've seen podcast with Randy uh, Ipcut. Ha, my name's Randy, and in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the film uh, Ernest Goes to Jail. Uh, in the movie, there is a man named Ernest who uh, goes to jail, and lots of things happen in regards to. Him being in jail. Well, I wonder how <laughs> how many people you could get to listen <laughs> to listen to an hour of that. The films I've seen. The films I've seen. Ah, my name's Randy. <laughs> Another film I've seen is the sequel to Jurassic Park, which the name escapes me at this moment. But folks, the dinosaurs are back and they're angrier than ever. They're biting. They're slashing. Some of them are flying. Is that an egg I see? Oh no, the egg's opening now. The, now there's baby dinosaurs running but, around. Yeah, yeah. They're going to grow up and be back out yeah. dinosaur species. Hi, my name's Randy, and you're listening to the Movies I've Seen <laughs> podcast. On today's episode, 101 Dalmatians. Let's count them up. One, One Dalmatian, <laughs> two, two Dalmatians, Dalmatians <laughs> three Dalmatians, four Dalmatians. Oops, here comes five. Five Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, no, there's the sixth one. Now we got six Dalmatians, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, Seven Dalmatians. How did stand-up comedy exist like how is it fueled for 15 to 20 years on this substance cocaine oh, i don't know and leather jackets have you ever watched old john stewart stand up oh my god he's so, so fucking funny oh here's this is the only so uh, because i was going to do I that i love that mark Marin and john stewart yeah. hate each other i was going to do that vogue birthday party the anna Wintour oh, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. and the only joke that i wanted to do i was hoping there'd be like a fat fashion lady there so i could call her nutella deville <laughs> <laughs> i've been looking for a home for that joke for probably weeks now <laughs> i don't know who to call in the tele deville because you know what you it is one. anytime there's a like a fat fabulous woman everybody's like "Ooh, that bitch ursula look it's ursula ursula that's they always go, the ursula, first one yeah yeah which the tele deville is great so it's guys better. if you have an opportunity let's get rid of ursula let's swap in fucking uh nutella deville i feel like that randy character that could that could sort of make up the for films the films i've seen yeah <laughs> <laughs> huh. My name's Randy, and this week I watched Five Easy Pieces, starring Jack Nicholson as Jonathan Five. 
Is that your favorite movie? Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Well, you know what? It was my favorite movie when I was 19, and then... Uh, right I wouldn't around, say it's my favorite. Right around 20, 21, I stopped caring about anything. Like, I like, said, like uh, being passionate about things. Things being good. Yeah. yeah. So That's what happened to me after I saw The Room. I yeah. Like, there's, no, th- there's no such thing as good, and there's what, no such thing as bad. What was your favorite bad. movie when you were, you were a kid? My list of favorite things was so bad. It was bad, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think like high school is Gladiator. Yeah. Because I saw it with my dad. We talked about this on the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Um, it was a bad movie. I saw it recently. Pretty bad. Ghost Dog Way of the Samurai. That I thought that movie. movie was a kick ass. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. Ugh. I told you, I saw Jim Jarmusch walking around the village. Jim Jarmusch? I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce his name. Jim Jarmusch? Germ- Jarmusch. Jarmusch? Jim Jarmusch. J- Jim Jar, that's a good podcast. Ha, my name's Randy, and you're listening to the How to Pronounce Jim Jar, Jim Jim Jar, Jim Jarmish's name podcast, sponsored by the Anthony Cumia Network. Uh, we we have been blessed with Anthony. Mister Cumia has allowed us to come in his studio and discuss Jim Jarmish's name. Norman Wilkerson is going to message me and call me uh, so many names for how bad this is. This podcast right yeah. now? Yeah, even the good ones, Norman, it's like, oh, this fucking awful show. This <laughs> he fucking says terrible. that? Yeah, he's like, you guys are fucking idiots. This is really? a bad show. Yeah. But he's your friend. I know, that's why he thinks it's okay to say that to me. But he's doing that to like shit on you because he's your friend. Yeah, right? but he's still shitting on me, legitimately. Me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so just to catch everyone up that's not in the room, we're going to finish this right now, we're and then we're going to finish this. the podcast. Who the fuck is setting off 9-11 fireworks? <laughs> it's for 9-11, I, dude. Come on, man. Those are actually coming from Staten Island. Are they? They're firing them across the Verrazano. Yeah. But they do that every day. They we celebrate to, 9-11 when the clock hits it. We should go to Staten Island for the 9-11 parade tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the number one holiday at Staten Island. They love that shit, dude. Um, all right, so I guess I. All right, that's off putting. I don't like the, I don't like those fireworks going off. Yeah, I don't. What like if there were, What if there were veterans in this neighborhood? You know, you can't even make popcorn around veterans. You can't do fireworks. What's your favorite war? My favorite war? Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. What's yours? You tell me yours. Uh, my favorite war. Um, I don't know. I don't have one. Hampton used to. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, I think the. Uh, I was. I think the uh, a cool war was eighteen twelve, because we were the bad guys, sort of, and uh, it ended, and Andrew Jackson didn't like know that it ended. And he destroyed New Orleans. Like the war was over, and he was like, "Well, there's there's still a war going on." So then he just like marched down to New Orleans, and then he he raised the entire city. I think that's pretty badass. Was that was the Six Flags there when this happened? Uh, this was bef- this was. Uh, Have we ever talked about that? Flags? Our day trip to the Six Flags? No, I don't think we've talked about it on the podcast. That's pretty. It doesn't cool. matter. This isn't good podcast content. You know, nobody wants to hear about a time we went to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, dude. it's funny. The we swastikas, went to fucking Six dude. Flags. It was badass, dude. It was like fucking no, we shot did down it. and we hung out in there. And like, okay, so yo, Nick we and I were in New his, Orleans. His girlfriend was there and fucking we said shit to her and then there was that other bitch. Nick and I were in New Orleans. There's a Six Flags that's been left derelict since Katrina. And like if you hop a fence, you can like go inside. It looks like a post-apocalyptic, you know. It looks pretty badass. But uh, we were laughing the whole time because there's just graffiti everywhere. And one of the most prevalent parts of graffiti it's just uh guys like in the middle of doing a swastika being like oh fuck i did it wrong again yeah they guys they up. can't figure out the swastika until you get to the end of the park and then there was a couple done right so there's like a guy that you could it was documented <laughs> it told the whole story learning how to do a swastika on the day you went to six flags and that's a memory he has now is the day you went to six flags and learned how to draw a swastika it's pretty cool he'll have that the rest of his life yeah fun so- is shape swastika to draw yeah the and that s, s thing i saw i saw the s with s, the three lines i saw that s is uh like sidewalk graffiti somebody put that into cement hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh that's good that's good shit that's so, good um i'm gonna call this episode scarface <laughs> Can we talk about Scarface for a minute? We can talk about Scarface for... Scarface, uh, I guess we watched it together in April. Yeah. This thing's... We're actually going to run out of time on the SD card. We haven't done a podcast this long before. So this is going to run out of time. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Scarface. 
Um, it's bad. It's very bad. It was fun. We were laughing at Michelle Pfeiffer, remember? Because she was like, oh, yeah. She's just the biggest cunt in the world. That's yeah, her yeah. character. Oh, yeah. The best. I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. <laughs> she said that like fancy gala or whatever, <laughs> looking all fucking. You know, she's like some snooty bitch or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, where are you from? And she goes, Baltimore. <laughs> like, it's not a shithole. All right, get the fuck. Please, oh, this, this cat. cat. This cat is a fucking nightmare, dude. All right. The cat is the villain of the You know what? Podcast. And this isn't going to end with the cat throwing up because the cat already threw up before the podcast started. <laughs> I'm sitting right now next to a pile of vomit on the floor that I stepped in, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um Luckily, I don't have to clean it off because there's already vomit everywhere. So you know what? We should we should just call it, dude. We'll call I think it. it's over. It's over. Um, no one's listening. At no this one's point. listening at this point. You guys just, were great. Bonus content. Uh, Dickfield Diaries coming soon. We got prank <laughs> phone calls coming up. Uh, more of that Randy thing. Maybe there'll be like a Randy fucking podcast <laughs> spinoff. Um, I feel like I kind of had my arm twisted into into doing. Um, you know the bonus content stuff. I it's think been that real busy for me lately. I already feel enough pressure doing the fucking regular weekly podcast. I didn't even want a fucking podcast in the first place. But you can't just be a comedian anymore, folks. People you like our be, podcast, and you don't have to feel bad about. Yeah, you do. You know, you should be excited about it. I think that that there are a bunch of incel gamers out there that love our podcast. And yeah, but we don't talk about gaming enough. We got to get back to the source. We got to talk about gaming. We got to talk about Xbox. We got to talk <laughs> about PlayStation 5. The new PlayStation 5, PlayStation Neo that's coming out. Is it? Yeah, PlayStation Neo. It's what is that? Play, PS4 Neo, dude. It's like PlayStation 4, except it's, it's more money and it's a different shape. Oh. So if you have the old PlayStation 4, guess what? You're fucking gay, trash. dude. You're fucking trash. You have the worst PlayStation. You're a pussy bitch. You need the newest PlayStation 4, <laughs> Neo. It stands for new, uh, expensive, and online. It's got <laughs> online capabilities. It's Unlike the, the old one. PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation 2, which... Or th- which... 4? Something like that. PS4 right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. So... Okay. Get out there. Keep gaming. It's like 9 at night and we're i gotta wake up at 5 45 <laughs> in the morning tomorrow again i gotta catch a uh well i drive a van to work i got a van sitting outside but yeah uh thank you and please don't like rescind your five yeah, dollars after please, listening to this please don't we have like big guests planned and big booked. guests the money actually goes to retarded kids so well, no, we had a guest book this week that canceled on us. We were going to do an interview episode, so you can expect Oh, yeah, good actually, stuff. that is true. We were going to do Tim Dillon, but Tim Dillon canceled at the last minute. Uh, so we're Because gonna... he was at the Ice Cream Museum. Oh, yeah, he went to the Ice Cream Museum. <laughs> he canceled our fucking podcast to so go to the Ice Cream Museum. Um, but, no, really, uh, we tried, and... Uh, you know, and if you try, you people can't criticize. I will never listen to this episode. I, I haven't listened to any single episode of our podcast ever. Well, you've like edited them, right? I mean, I enough to the extent that I make sure the audio is synced up and that, yeah, and yeah. then I run everything through a, I don't know, some kind of fucking filter or something. Uh-oh. And then, uh, but I spend most of the work on like the, the middle part, the break. The middle part's always a hit. Is it? Yeah, people love it. They like tweeted us like, "What was that?" You think every part of this show? I'm, you know what? I think How about this show this, guys? is great. We had two breaks on this one. I'm gonna kill it with the middle parts. There's gonna be good middle parts. So that's what. <laughs> stay tuned or rewind and listen to them again because they're gonna be great. I'm telling you. All right, thanks. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I know we said we were done. <laughs> I know I said that. Um, and I know it's been bad. If you're like hanging tough through this, uh, I apologize. But I, we completely forgot. We got to talk about uh, Steve Jobs' doctor. Uh, yeah, he's just, yeah. Basically, yeah, just threw Steve under the bus. Said that Steve basically killed himself. because He had the pancreatic cancer you can survive from. Yeah, the good kind. Which is normally like a death sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he was like, yeah, I'm just going to do like yoga. And drink, no, like, drink smoothies milk. yeah, yeah. <laughs> drink muscle milk and smoothies and he went to like jamba juice to try and uh <laughs> to, try and, to try and fix it we were riffing about this outside and we thought it was so funny that we had to bring it up to, we had to bring it up we forgot that maybe we'll edit this part into how it was before
you know yeah 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 we'll bump this part forward yeah 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 um i but, think maybe don't do an interstitial like have it like people think the home improvement theme song is gonna come on and then we're gonna be like anyway and yeah, then yeah, yeah, we're yeah, back yeah. yeah yeah and then we'll trick them into thinking it's over but then they look at the time code and there's still another 20 minutes but i mean i think it's all relevant because you know there's that other bitch the turtleneck bitch <laughs> with the health company that just yeah, got yeah, busted yeah. Thermo, yeah, yeah. Therm, thermos yeah thermostat. You, you had a tweet about her voice it's i i didn't even realize she sounded like she that. sounds bizarre <laughs> when everybody in the world deserves to she have sounds like this everybody they all now the cat's thrown up because i'm doing the voice do you hear that was that puke yeah that's puke that's what the cat sounds like when it's when it's vomiting oh my god yeah everybody in the world deserves health care you know who should get cancer that lady she should. Yeah. Uh, Her and Shkreli. Okay. So top 10 startups. If you had to do a startup right now, uh-huh. we've been talking for two and a half uh-huh. hours. We're, we're out of cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. We've finished it. So I feel like it's only fair that we continue the last part of the podcast. Yeah. 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 This is the part it. of like the cocaine experience where we talk about how we, we have ideas to make yeah, a lot yeah. of money. So uh, we're going to go, we're doing startup battle. You guys have seen uh-huh. roast battle on comedy central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great show. It's like shark tank meets roast battle. Yeah. Shark tank meets roast battle. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He pitches an idea real quick and it's all improv. You know, you have to, that's the, that's actually, you know what? Holy shit. I might actually pitch this TV show. I think that's a good idea. I think it is a good shark tank battle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We could sell that to true TV. Yeah, of course. That's a great idea. So let's do a sample episode right now. You come on and you, so it's Luis J. Gomez is hosting always Uh the the fake Puerto Rican round sake, Luis J. Gomez. Yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, uh, Adam, uh, the faggot Friedland. (laughs) Oh, you got me. Fuck faggot. (laughs) Uh, What's your startup idea? And then you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. My, my startup idea, uh, it's an old one that I came up with, with my friend Michael Foodie once, but it's a man, manhole cover. And it's a butt plug that has a manhole cover on it. And so it's, yeah, so it looks like a... Like a manhole cover butt plug. So it's like literally covering a man's hole. Okay, good startup <laughs> idea. Good startup <laughs> idea. Uh, uh, judges, what do you think? And then they... You know, uh, Rich Voss. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's that's the worst fucking idea I've, I've heard. I'm fucking, you fucking Indian piece of shit. Jeff no. Ross. <laughs> I don't know. I can't... Jeff Ross, know. Rich Voss. They have like the same name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do. Um... So, uh, yeah, I what's guess, yours? Okay. Well, you did a real one. So, and then I already mentioned on my podcast, uh, on the podcast, the idea I had for the laser pointer that looks like the Batman logo for a cat, but it comes with a, a costume for your cat. It's a really good idea. That is a good idea. Maybe I could sell that to true TV. I think that could be a pet rock kind of a, like million dollar novelty item idea that could change the world. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so okay, you've all heard about headlights for a car, right? Yeah. yeah. But what about headlights when you're just walking around on the street? Oh yeah. So it's two giant fucking lights to strap to your head, and it draws power from your iPhone, and then you can see where you're going at night. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, like a uh, spelunking, like yeah, like those you know, honestly, headlamps. that's like half of Ben Benjamin Franklin's inventions were just bullshit like that, and everyone like they're like Benjamin Franklin, uh, statesman, inventor, and it's yeah, like, well, yeah. None of his inventions are worth a shit. None of them. What? It, like, with oh, electricity. I'm thinking Jefferson. Jefferson had some inventions. Like what? Slavery? Like, uh, well, he invented dog <laughs> I style. patented a system to uh, make an infinite amount of children. Uh, uh, there, it might be a little dark, but... Uh, yeah, it's a brand new system. It involves uh, oh, chains and a lot of lube. Ugh. Just don't inhale, dude. Don't smell it. You got to breathe through your mouth. That's okay. Just, okay, my startup idea. Go. It's a tube that reroutes the air you breathe through your nose yeah. into your mouth. Yeah. And it has a switch on the side of your nose. Uh-huh. So you can turn it on. And then if something smells bad, you're, oh, that smells bad. And you turn it on. And then the air just goes in your mouth and it bypasses your olfactor. Oh, so you could just like block your entire nose. Yeah. This is like 23rd century body mod kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's I the like stuff that. that they're going to be doing in the future. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You could just become like nasal anytime you need yeah like just you could talk like like woody allen you know yeah 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 because you wouldn't have do you think like do you think bernie sanders has uh breathed out of both nostrils anytime in the last like 45 years no that's why i supported him because he had a deviated he had allergies septum. <laughs> he yeah. clearly had allergies um business ideas yeah um 
Uh, okay, about, I got one. I got one. Yeah, yeah. So you know how firefighters, they have poles in the firehouse uh-huh. so they can get downstairs quicker. Uh-huh. Uh, hello, why doesn't everybody have that? It's <laughs> just no stairs. Fire, yeah, firefighter no poles more stairs. for everybody. everybody I always wondered, one. do firefighters like cl- climb up the poles? Yeah. No, dude. dude. There's never an emergency where they have to go back to the firehouse real quickly. So they never have to go upstairs? No, they take the stairs up, but then they ride the, they slide the pole down. Oh. So there's the stairs only are good for going up. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You know what was a great invention? Uh, Velcro. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Was that one of those NASA inventions? Probably. All the bullshit NASA ever invented just wound up at Sharper Image. Yeah, yeah. We said this. Did we? We talked about this. Oh, thing. man. I'm just running through old bits. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. That's, that's my life. All right. No, we got to have... We got 10 more minutes, dude. We got to... <laughs> <laughs> until we got to come up with a couple more startup ideas. The, the listeners stayed with us through all of this. They need these startup ideas. How about... Um, how about like an app... That just you know how like there are different streaming services like Hulu and Netflix and you know like and if you like think of a movie you're like oh I really want to know if it's streaming mm-hmm. what about an app that just aggregates all of that and then just tells you they have that if you Google anything it'll show you what streaming <laughs> services is on how about this so like Shazam but yeah. for movies. Oh, right? that's good. So let's say you're like in the movie theater and you're watching a movie and you're like, what movie am I watching? <laughs> you just hold your phone up and then your phone, the light comes on. It yeah, says yeah. detecting movie now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ch- I got an idea. Yeah. So you know how like people post how about like, Shazam? Facebook statuses? Wait, hold on. Shazam, but yeah. for people's races. Uh huh. So you're in the workplace, right? And you're like, oh, uh, Latricia, I got this great joke. And you're like, wait a second. And then you pull your what phone out and then it she? scans her face and it's like, uh, Dominican. And you're like, never mind. And then you go back oh, in your office. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. So you know how like Facebook has like you could post statuses, uh-huh. but then they have like events and then they have like photos, like albums and all that stuff. How about just the statuses, mm-hmm. but then like with a character limit. So like a website that you could just like 140 characters and you could just post statuses on. Mm. That's I don't think that would work. Really? Yeah, I don't think that would be All successful. Right. Well, okay. You know, I like every like two years, like they're like Twitter's getting rid of the character limit, <laughs> and then no one knows who where yeah, those yeah, stories yeah. come from, and they never do. They never do. And I always complain about it. You want more characters? No, I don't. No. I think that would ruin the joke format. Right. Yeah. That's the fun part about Twitter. Is yeah. You have to make it being succinct. Simple. Yeah. Uh, brevity is the soul of wit. Mark Taking Twain. the fat off. Yeah, Mark Twain said that, dude. Mark Twain? Yeah. Mark Twain, who believes mm-hmm. that so much that he changed, he shortened his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how about, how about a, an app that, um, no, nah, nothing. Uh-huh. No. The cat is viciously eating, eating its, its own, own asshole. asshole. Right. Yeah. Now. Imagine if Brandon were here, how <laughs> upset he'd be about this. Fam, I'm crying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish I could have uh, just used this time to riff out the Star Wars jokes for that birthday party I thought I was doing. Um, I was well, thinking about, like, you know, Chewbacca? Yeah. Is he, why doesn't he wear clothes? How do they know not to eat Chewbacca? Because um, he has, like, arms and legs, you know? He's like a guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, Chewbacca's a guy. The, how many you know? Chewbaccas do you think they ate before they were like, all right, they, they're people? Uh... I mean, isn't that the thing is like, they're, all, they're a bunch of aliens that they're like, oh, that's a guy. That's yeah. not like a monster. Yeah, but he doesn't wear clothes. He just screams all the time. He has that belt thing around his chest. Yeah, he has a bandolier, the ba- <laughs> which makes him like a Zapata type of character. Yeah, yeah, he's I guess. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if he's got like, the, he's, he's growling, but it's in like a Mexican accent. Like if you could translate it, because he's like a Mexican revolutionary. Yeah. That's why he has that bandolier. I loved uh, in episode three where... They like, you know, it, the movie's just not ending and it needs to end. Mm-hmm. And then there's a part where uh, where Yoda's like on the planet with the Wookiees and he's like, goodbye, random Wookiee number one yeah, yeah. and Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone, all the nerds in the theater are like, yeah, yeah, yay, yeah. we got him in there. Yeah. No, they were doing that in the in the Force Awakens too, though. Were they? Yeah. They were just they like throwing like cameo. in cameos. Yeah, they put everybody in there. The movie sucked. Now that I got some distance it from it. It really wasn't good I saw at all. it in the theaters. It was very exciting and fun. My big joke when that movie came out was like, 
Okay, guys, who's excited to find out why C-3PO's got that red arm? Because that was like a cliffhanger. <laughs> right, yeah, people got mad at you. Yeah, well, no, and then immediately after that, I saw like an, an article or two that was like, what's up with C-3PO's <laughs> red arm? And I'm like, I guess that's not a joke. Oh, I was trying to do it because you know how all the characters are racist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking like, you know, so C-3PO, I think initially the reason why he's gold and his name sounds so much like CP, uh, like CPA, yeah, yeah, is because he was he's an accountant. To be, yeah, he's supposed to be like a Jewish accountant <laughs> character, and it's like, oh, which planet are we going to now? <laughs> Don't make me run. I have asthma. I thought he was like and an then, effete British man. Yeah, well, the, uh, that's and then they made George change it. They were like, George, you've gone he after can't. Jews too much in this, and he's he like, can't. what if he is a faggot? And they were like, okay, perfect. We'll just make him. I'm going to make him gay. I pointed this out. That actually is a bit that I used to do about C-3PO is like that character is completely unnecessary because like C-3PO's whole, the whole purpose for having C-3PO yeah. is that he translates shit for them. Right. But the only time he's really translating is in Jabba's palace, right? When uh-huh. they're talking yeah. to Jabba the yeah. Hutt, who just speaks pig Latin. Like everything he says is like, uh, me no let Tiano solo go. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, yeah, why? We have no idea what that means. But somehow we understand the fucking dog, the like Chewbacca. We understand this grunt. Just, yeah. They understand R2D2, who just speaks beeps. They all learned robot. Everyone learned They beep. all learned that, like R2 is like, but they burp, never burp, learned. And they're pig like, R2, Latin. yeah. And then they don't, they don't know Pig Latin. But also, if they have the technology to make robots speak, why not just make R2D2 speak? Yeah, right. Why have two Why robots? does C-3PO allowed to speak, but R2-D2 has to be a beep guy? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I was saying it's because <laughs> R2-D2 in the original script says nothing but racial slurs. Oh, that's... Oh, because he's just cussing he's, the yeah. whole time. And then they meet Lando and R2-D2 is like, boop, 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 boop. They're like, Jacob, keep it down. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Yeah. Um, he's cool, man. Yeah, and that's... Uh, that's ba- Oh, Donald Glover's playing Lando. He's playing young Lando. In the- is he? Yeah. Oh, in the like the like prequel one? Yeah, I guess. They're gonna they're gonna make so many of those movies Disney, and they're yeah. all gonna be so fucking bad. It was really bad. Yeah. It's it just you know what it it's was, becoming the Simpsons, dude. It's, it's becoming, becoming really, like Ocean's Eleven. It's like yeah. we have a very complicated plan and nothing's gonna go wrong. Yeah. We're gonna execute it perfectly. They're making an all girls Ocean's Eleven. Did you know that? Are they? Oh yeah, like Ocean Seven. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had to get. Did them we joke s- about that on the podcast? Seven. Yeah, I was like, it takes seven cents fourteen women, dollar. and they have to figure out how to change the oil in a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the two hours. I I still think a sketch we didn't make that we was a joke we made on the podcast was Ocean's Not Eleven. Yeah. Um, that would be good. I mean, Drew Michael's cartoon is great. Everyone loves that, and that's like a really juvenile idea. Yeah. I, I yeah I dig it. I think we recovered, dude. I think this last segment that was, was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah that was all right. Good stuff. Um, but we are legitimately the SD card is filled. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good afternoon, uh, or evening, or morning, depending. That's the beauty of podcasts. Mm-hmm. You know, you can listen to it uh, mm-hmm. in the shower mm-hmm. while you're fucking while mm-hmm. you're fucking your wife. Yep. Oh, yeah. You I know? hope everyone's watch, listening to this that's, while they're fucking. Their that's wives. what me and my wife, me and my wife, love doing. Is we love mm-hmm. having sex in new, interesting places yep. like the shower. Yeah. Or you know, maybe we'll we'll just 
take the weekend off. We'll get a rental car. We'll park the rental car. Just just get the hell out of town. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull it over and we'll suck and fuck on the side of the road, just like we used to when we were kids. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. back, we were. that's Maybe how we keep preach. the spice in our yep. relationship. Yep. A lot of people worry about, uh, you know, is my relationship spicy enough? How do I get that mm. Latina flavor in my relationship? <laughs> you know, my wife's getting older now. Her pussy f sucks. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I hate fucking her. My dick is really, f it's, it's not as, I mean, it's as long as it used to be, but it's really narrow it now. It doesn't yep. fill up. It's a fucking, that'll happen. That'll it's, happen. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. My fucking dick is gross and my wife's pussy is shit. And mm -hmm. I tried to fuck the girl I work with, but it just, I it failed. Yeah. And then I got caught failing trying to fuck my younger coworker. Yeah. Couldn't get hard or what happened? I don't know. It just didn't happen, huh? I think the problem is there's not enough spice mm. in yeah, my you relationship. Need to get the spice back in. As so a yeah, we fuck in the shower and we listen to Marin. We yeah. put on podcasts. Mm. Oh my god. We get it. We get podcasts. That's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. You haven't fucked your wife until you fucked her to wait, wait, don't tell me. MPR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is a huge fan of uh Cereal? Uh, uh, yeah, have cereal. Yeah. Um, so I pretend I'm that. I'm pretend I'm the Muslim kid from. <laughs> oh shit! I'm pretend yeah, I'm that. Right. Do you guys fuck in a Best Buy parking lot? Is that what happened? I think I don't I know. I think that's, he kills her in the Best Buy. That's when I murdered are. my wife. You killed your yeah. wife. That's the only way I can come. That anymore. will keep it spicy. Uh -oh. You murder your wife. Hell yeah. How do you add a little hot sauce to your relationship? I'm tired of having this mayo what ass, kinda, crack what ass white boy relationship. <laughs> I'm what kind of hot sauce? Crystal. 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 Boom. Crystal. It's, a, it's a crystal hot it's sauce. It's made by the same people. <laughs> yeah. It is. Hell yeah, dude. Well, my wife and I... On bitches titties. Well, my wife and I could only fuck originally to the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme song. Oh, that's funny. Um, we only, me and my wife only fuck to the music when Larry is suspicious of something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my, me and my wife, we fuck to the, the Price is Right sound when you get something wrong. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when we were kids, we used to fuck yeah, to the... Yeah, me uh, and my wife, back when me and my wife were kids, when I met my wife, we were four or five years old. <laughs> yep. I tell you, we used to fuck like rabbits. Yep. I'd pull her That's poodle skirt up good. back in the back in the old the old Studebaker Roadster. Sure. Mm -hmm. The year was 1948. I was You're six driving. months old. Well, my wife she was, was... She was four. I, I don't remember how old I was. I was but. 27 years old. My yeah. wife was four and a half. I just, just finished. A of kids. I just finished my senior year at the uh, the Westchester Boys School for Preparatory Boys, <laughs> and my wife was uh, she was a, a junior she was a in debutante. kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, and you know back then they they called it going steady, mm -hmm. right? and what that means is is that she wasn't allowed to tell people what was going on. <laughs> you hold her down and steadi steadily yeah. and fuck yeah. her. <clears throat> yeah. I'll tell you guys something. You've never fucked your wife until you fucked her to the Benny Hill theme song. I'll yeah. say that. Well, that's when your dick, you, you put it in her ass and it comes out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to yakety sax. <laughs> and then you put, yeah, you put one of your balls in her ear. And it comes out of her eyelid. It's actually extremely painful for your dick and balls. But it's a good bit. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. It's a really good bit. <laughs> I only I exclusively give my wife the shocker. Yeah, that's the Man, only I, way I have sex. I tried that PlayStation VR the other day, and that shit is crazy. It's like we really are living in the fucking future. I read an article the other day. Oh, stop! I read an article the other day <laughs> that said that. Uh, it said that scientists created a time crystal. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that is. Dude, do we it's have like to from, find uh, it and destroy it? I don't know. Wait, is this real? Yeah, they created a time crystal. <laughs> what was that? I guess they shine Isn't lasers. Is that like a Zelda thing? They shine lasers yeah. at these particles to oh, like Ocarina. induce particle spin that... I don't know. They like they show that uh, time could be symmetrical, which is what a, like a crystal is. It's like, mm -hmm. you know... I don't even fucking begin to understand that shit dude yeah i don't fuck nobody does what does that even fucking mean when people are like time is fucking you could like i don't know well symmet symmetry symmetry can through time yeah well uh, symmetry yeah, symmetry can, can that's true 
Symmetry can be expressed <laughs> mathematically. So, like, when they say uh, that kind of shit, mm-hmm. they just mean that, like, numbers add up on a piece mm-hmm. of paper. Right. What the fuck? So, when, does like, mean? you know, time, like space time being the fourth dimension or whatever, mm-hmm. it's just like imagine something carried to the fourth power. Yep. I don't know. And then just right. think about imagine it numerically it rather What if we had a magical knife way. and you cut some shit in the air? And then you put your hand to the fucking then in I the could, air. Then I could fucking. Well, get okay. It. Imagine it this way. What? Two gay men. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. All right. They all both right. have. I'm listening. Erections. Uh huh. One of them is like you, uncircumcised. Okay. One of them like me, incredibly circumcised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very circumcised. Okay. You put basically just has ball skin. You put the tips of the dicks together. Mm-hmm. You, do- you am I docking? You Are you take, putting your dick in my force? I don't know what docking is. You don't know you what take, docking is? You that's what take, docking is. You just described docking. You think you're inventing it because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You've never no, had a I'm foreskin not. in your life, dude. You're a fucking poser. <laughs> I got mine removed as an adult because I wanted to make decisions about my own body and I chose not to have that one. That happened to my friend. You had yours removed like His a fucking coward as an infant. All right, well, Probably with anesthesia. I mean, I was doing a bit that I didn't I had know. mine done... At, at a Pantera concert <laughs> by Phil Anselmo with his mouth. He chewed my foreskin was he off. A rabbi costume? Yeah. Yes. And he um, said, he said, now, now you're a cow man from hell. <laughs> and that was my bar mitzvah. That was your bar mitzvah. I'm sorry, Adam. What was, what, now what do I need to imagine? Oh, to, God. I time? was just doing a, a stupid bit. I was, you, Nick is, anyway, you know. time is fucking, I don't, I don't buy any of that fucking shit. Yeah. Dude. I also you should warn, I should warn the listeners, not only is the battery dying in this, I got a, don't worry, I got backup batteries, mm-hmm. uh, but we got food coming. So this might cut off abruptly at some point. Consider that the break. We're going to hit you with some, some sweet, cool tunes from the 1950s. That Which was the one? decade I grew up in, back when I met my <laughs> wife. What was your wife's uh, name? Uh, I don't know, some shit like Trixie or Beverly? What, what fucking dumb. Yeah, Dot. My <laughs> wife <Dottie>. Dot <laughs> used to bust down Dot's throat, mm-hmm. but back then it was called going steady. <laughs> mm. Coming into someone's mouth is what going steady is. Yeah. <laughs> You'd rip her po- poodle skirt off and hold her down, and she'd say, my dad's a senator, and I'd say, my dad's a fucking president, and then I'd do whatever I want. That was called going steady back then. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's like that movie Pleasantville. It was a simpler time, Pleasantville. Yeah. Where the soda shop man's gay, isn't that the story? He I finds out so. he's gay and then he has color. When the yeah. color, you want to, he gets He turns color. completely pink. Yeah. yeah, and the wife learns about uh, masturbating. Yeah, that what a great awesome. movie. Who else beat off? I think you saw titties in that. I definitely did. Who was in it? Well, everyone with color was Reese, fucking. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Toby Mac. Toby Mac was definitely in Pussy it. Pussy Posse and who was legend. The, who was the Toby big, Mac. <laughs> and who was... Uh, uh, the guy, what the Jeff fuck is his D- name? Jeff D. Who was the Jeff bitch? Daniels, gay, who becomes gay. Jeff, Jeff Daniels, Daniels was, was cool gay. and gay, but yeah. who was the main guy who was bad? Uh, he, I can't believe I can't remember his name. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> no, yeah. He who played the in, dad? William H. Macy? William H. Macy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. a fucking bitch-ass motherfucker. Yeah. Was Ed yeah. Harris in that movie? Wait, was it William H. Macy or that other guy that looks like William H. Macy? That low-rent guy. Who's who, Who's that guy? Um, Fuck. I always confuse him with C. Thomas Howell, and it's not C. Thomas Howell, <laughs> he, and his name isn't even similar, and they don't look alike, but for whatever reason, their names got swapped in my William head. Because H- C. Thomas Howell sounds like what a bootleg William H. Macy should be named. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, he's the guy uh, from The Outsiders. Is it John C. Riley. No, it's not John C. <laughs> Riley. Um, you would know him it? immediately if you saw him. Um, I think I know who you're talking about. He's yeah. got little gay eyes. You know what I mean? No, I think that <laughs> eyes could be a lot of different shapes and a lot of different sizes. Um, I don't... Yeah, William H. Macy's a bitch-ass motherfucker in that in that movie. His wife... He doesn't fuck his wife good. His wife jacks off and then becomes his wife be, That was hot. I, and then I think I beat off to her on, beating off. She has to put makeup on to still be black and white. Oh, really? Yeah. How and does then she it find rains black one day, oh. like at a certain pivotal point. Interesting. And then he's like, oh, this bitch is color. And isn't the guy like who puts the what what happens like Toby Maguire goes over or somebody Reese Witherspoon goes and she's a little slut and sucks off the 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 fucking the football guy or something like that. Oh, right. that's the food Chinese here. Food. Break time. Woo! How does it feel to know you're about to die? I'm 
I'm gonna give you more time than you gave my wife and son. Now you're a good cop. Vernon! Oh, Vernon! Let's try it here. Okay, wait, and we're wait, back. Wait, hold on. What do you mean, hold on? We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Did we do the first part? What first part? Is that still here? Yeah, the first. Yeah, you yeah. just can't add you to fucking the fucking idiot. Okay, nothing. <laughs> We're ready. Yeah, we had lunch and now we have a guest. Is Amber's it back. Yeah. yeah, we had nighttime lunch. All right, we had night. We had well, lunch. Lunch different. just means the middle. <laughs> Anything you're doing, if you stop and eat in the middle, that's fucking lunch, dude. Yeah, it was the lunch. You get a dictionary, of the fucking retard. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Got him. Cooked his ass. <laughs> We should, little, we should a little bitch ass Adam. Yeah Didn't you go to school For reading um, <laughs> You know what the fuck Lunch means I think everyone Technically goes to school I didn't. For reading No, nah, I went to school For sports <laughs> <laughs> I got through uh, I went to the Finger bombing academy Personally Finger blast Bombing No we're the bomb technique Not the I went, what is I went to school How do you bomb, bomb a pussy Is that like when you do Really bad And the room is just yeah. dead No 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 like, That's when like, No that's when you from the top You take a dump You gotta take a dump In the pussy That's the bomb In the pussy Either that or you Jesus, fill it with spray man. paint. <laughs> oh my spray god! Paint. And then you huff yeah. it. Yeah, dog. Yeah. That's how the fuck. There's we actually get a down. documentary about the the Chicano movement in the 1970s mm-hmm. doing that pussy bombing. Stand and deliver. <laughs> yeah, stand and deliver is about these. He yeah. has to reach the kids. Mm-hmm. Edward James. Edward almost. James. Yeah. Uh, the the poster boy of adult acne. Yeah. <laughs> His skin so... is fucked up. It's really like Eddie bumpy. J-O. Yeah. It looks like a Eddie lunar. J-O. <laughs> Eddie J-O, baby. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a great name for him. Yeah, Eddie J-O. Uh, Eddie J-O. I don't fucking know. Wait, so uh, Amber's back. Hi. What's going on? I'm high and trying to order Korean barbecue. Yeah, we had Chinese mm-hmm. from... Uh, 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 did I just mention that? No, we no. We just had to delete... Like two minutes yeah, of the sorry. second. I don't half think we'll ever be able to twice fault. tonight. No, it's not we'll anybody's fault. Back from it. Anytime there, it is somebody's fault. It's Adam's fault. Okay. Either it's either that or it's nobody's fault. <laughs> Why is this <laughs> dynamic <Blame> the Jews. <laughs> developing? I'm not blaming the Jews. No, I'm blaming it's because a specific Nick's person. trying to impress. And it has nothing to do with his Judaism. <laughs> I think it has a little. He's just to prone do with to it. fucking up the what you know the equipment. <laughs> Tell me one time that's happened. One. You leave the door open. The cats leave. You leave the door open. That's oh just, my god! Got you there, bitch. I was raised in a nice household. He was raised in the Where's synagogue. The fucking door. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me, asking me, "How can we send stuff to the podcast? What kind of what kind of free stuff can we send in? Uh, Whatever you got. Uh, Flashlights. No. And I'll tell Number you. Number one. And if you want to send to my apartment. Maybe chocolate covered me, pretzels. I, barbecue. No. Well, yeah. I, what Very I want barbecue. is a glass. Maybe like a Twix bar. One of those, like first of all, it's Twix not bar. going to Stav's place. It's coming here. You can do it to my mm. place. I'll give <laughs> Message me and I'll give you my address. That's, and you can just give it to me. Actually. Don't message him. Please message me. Don't uh, send him anything. Here's what we're getting is a, a iced tea container. One of those big glass ones. With this, uh, mm. the jug- spigot at the end. Ooh, it's gonna have the, oh, with the, the, push <laughs> the spigot's yeah. good. I want the spigot. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to fucking pour my iced tea like a slave. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Mullen, I want full service tea iced tea. <laughs> I want it so, I want my white gloves on. <laughs> I'm gonna spill a drop on my fucking gloves, and I will slit your throat on this porch <laughs> with my fucking razor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hell yeah, dude! Wow, yeah. So we'll Please take one of those. Oh, we also I want. I also want a Vitamix and a PlayStation. I want a Vitamix. You can't copy me. Dude. I want it. Why? I wanted the Vitamix. Why first. can't I copy you? Stop. Do you? Are you sure you don't want anything? 
I want a Vitamix. Okay, but and all right. Well, oh, like, you mean Korean yeah, barbecue? Any of mine. I will not have any of yours. Okay. Yeah. I know. I've been doing that. Get recently. him a couple pieces you're of like cabbage. The world's like girlfriend. a rabbit. I know. I'm you're sorry. Like, I don't want any. And then you're like, can I have a bite? Can I just get a little bite? Can I get a little fries? <laughs> Uh, I can't help it. I'm a little I'm a little slutty boy when it comes to food. I do yeah. that to them with the Chinese. I do that with yeah, peanut M and M's, dude. If somebody has peanut M and M's, I also mm-hmm. like to pretend like I've never tried gum. <laughs> 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 Anytime anyone says gum, I'm like, oh. Ooh. What's it? What's an acceptable thing to uh, to ask a stranger for that's not a cigarette? A cigar. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a black and do you mild. have another cigar yeah. at least you love them, do you have another cigar <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to quit <laughs> um you can i guess you could ask for gum could you ask a vape guy could you just be <laughs> no. like yo can i no. bum some cloud because it's like a- can i just get a little cloud off you right some now cloud only yeah. you can't take it off his mouthpiece, but if he yeah, gives if it you to you, mouth to the mouth. Cloud, yeah, if you just suck in that cloud. Could you go up to like a Wall Street banker guy ripping cloud on the <laughs> side yeah. of the street? And could you just be like, yo, shoddy? Shoddy? Yeah, yeah you can have yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you get you get like a tube. Yo, shoddy be that vape. You get like a Real small quick. a small gauge tube, something that's like maybe the mm. width of like a no, a noisemaker, and mm. then someone's chucking cloud, you just uh, in uh, suck up their cloud. You get yes. just with the yeah, you yeah. just walk around with a you mouth hose. Yeah, you put the hose in your mouth and you suck up their cloud. And then if they get mad, you'd be like, you dispose of it, dude. It's a you libertarian. It out. It's you libertarian. don't own it. It's yeah. entirely libertarian for me to suck the free cloud. I have to add my new card to this. This oh, is the worst. Yeah. Me and Amber have, this, have the same bank and uh, they you, they send you a new card every three and a half weeks. Because <laughs> they get the hacked deal. every they get, fucking yeah, two yeah. weeks. They, they're constantly getting Your hacked. bank gets yeah, always. <laughs> that is the worst thing yeah. to happen to a we bank. We through an amalgamated bank because yeah. like, I like had a job that like banked there because mm-hmm. I worked for socialists right, and, right, right. And, and they were like hmm let's, well, they're a good let's bank. not bank with someone who kicks black people out of their homes yeah they're a good right. bank on the issues they support a $15 yeah. minimum yeah uh, and they they're offer the union bank. they offer like truly free checking for but you know you low wage really workers you get what you pay for it <laughs> oh yeah dude constantly what, no, I went in today to get what my, does amalgamated mean what this is, is the that? amalgamated it's like amalgamated. clothes workers union or something it was a union yeah. fucking 100 years ago amalgamated means combined Mind? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look album. at Word Boy fucking up too. Uh, Why don't you go take an you know, amalgamated you know, lunch and back dude, in the I library? Through, I w- <laughs> Learn how to read, you fucking I idiot. I five, dude. That, except cash. <laughs> that lunch took a little bit out of me. But um, can we talk about how Bob the fucking drag queen regrammed some of my shit, dog? Congrats. The, the drag queens are on my are, are on my <laughs> shit, dude. And I feel great about it. You gotta yeah, it. I'm friends with drag you queens. Are you? Who? Why do you? Why do you stop fetishizing the gay community, dude? Huh? Why I'm you celebrating stop being a gay them. tourist. I'm celebrating I mean, their I think, power to be and fair, beauty. He's fetishized by yeah. the gay. Community. I think yeah, the only way to make anything. this not feel wrong, what you're doing, is if, to be gay. Well, no. If we get a vial of HIV positive blood <laughs> and inject it into him. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What is on your mind today? A being fair <laughs> is on my mind, dude. Justice. Can I just... Jeez. I don't want to think I want to do that, dude. Mm. What if I just sucked you and uh, Adam off? No. Why not? I think, I think you What's have to have... What's the gayest things? thing you guys have ever done? Gayest. That's Sex with question. like six men? What? Yeah. No, seriously, it's a good question. It is a good question. Um, I don't know, man. I was just fucking naked with a gay man uh, dressed for a as picture. Mario. That's pretty gay. I went to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh, I was ago. in a that's committed, gay. loving relationship with a woman. Yeah, that's actually probably the gayest thing I've ever done yeah. in my life. Well, okay. How I had to use you? a photo booth with uh, <laughs> a woman. <laughs> um, I uh, I don't know. How about you? Um. One time, one time, a girl made I've me listen to Tom Waits shit. and cried in my room, <laughs> and they got that's mad gay. at me for not that's also crying. Gay. That's not gay. That's Yo, just like straight up being in college. Uh, yeah. Tom Waits I was is in college. Never college. Tom Waits is trash, right? No. Am I? Yeah. What? He's Actually, a, I mean, oh, he oh, he's trash. trash. There's a back, Tom Waits is trash. There's a backlash. He's, he's a grumbly voice bitch. He has a lot of corny Cookie Monster voice. 
Yeah. But I just like, don't like listening to it. To it. The that's boat right. sank yeah, and good. the sea captain <laughs> died. That's a good uh, Tom Waits. That's also a good Mike Lawrence. <laughs> Does he do that voice the in all his songs or are there songs yeah, where he just sings? like a jazz musician and then like a sort of like a abstract mm. jazz musician. Oh. Like he used to do like different stuff. So he made his voice into jazz yeah. music. Yeah, no, well he got really oh. into Captain Beefheart and so that's him basically kind of trying to sound like Captain Beefheart. Yeah, that to me it is all also... It all sounds like... Uh, uh, well, they were also fresh. Like, fresh. Hey, more like they Captain Queefheart. It sounds like Louis Prima. They're all ripping off him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Prima. yeah. Or Louis, Louis Prima. Armstrong. Louis Prima. Yeah. Yeah, you, mean, you mean Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Who's no. Louis Prima? Louis uh, Prima just um, doesn't have like a gravelly voice at all. Though. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. No? You're talking about Louis Armstrong, the most no, famous not the Louis guy jazz went guy. To the moon. That has a. <laughs> That's so <you> fucking. <laughs> One new Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Louis Armstrong's the first guy to ride a bicycle on the moon. <laughs> Everybody knows this, dude. What? <laughs> Nothing accepts cash. He, he got a space bike. I, I got to go yeah. and get my card. Okay. That's fine. No, oh, sorry. Fine. I know this is fantastic. Content. Yeah, I know. I know, like, the way technology works is they invent something and then they improve on it right yeah. but like mm-hmm. what dumbass thought that giant wheel bicycle was the best first one <laughs> first and then big- why didn't you start with even wheels like that wasn't the first thing you yeah because yeah. you fucking go fast as hell dude on the giant wheel bicycle yeah, don't. No, you don't. no you don't you fucking no, you don't you wait pedal that the, bitch gear, and it goes fast. the gear is fixed to the front wheel and not the back wheel the, on the big one yeah the big it's a fixie one. so i understand it's I a underst- fixie yeah um, I don't know. Yeah, that shit was stupid looking. As hell. I think it was more about like the novelty of being like you know like, <coughs> five tall five up feet above. But there was a, uh, there was something before the bicycle the mm-hmm. before pedals. There was a thing called the dandy walker, which was this. Oh, uh, I know him. <laughs> oh yeah, he follows stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like a fucking it looked like a bicycle, but it was just, just uncomfortable. It was like a two by four over two wheels, and it would jam up in your crotch, <laughs> and it got you just high enough that like the just you the balls just of your feet hit the, hit the ground, <laughs> oh so you would God. just sort of like float. <laughs> really? That's yeah. But imagine the New Yorker mascot riding around on one of those. That's pretty good. And that's like who it was for. It's for you know. I want to do. I all like, had it think queers. About, like the locomotion of that. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's like a, it's like when a baby sits on a skateboard and just yeah. scoots along. No, it really is. It's like that thing they make for babies, which is like the diaper with a tripod under it. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that you know the baby can learn walking. If that I had a kid, good. I would never teach it how to walk. <laughs> Me neither. Or talk. Think about how much more intimidating it is as a crawl. Imagine like a just fully a grown man, man? Like crawling, like yeah. really but like crawling, crawling fast. Rapid. Yeah, because they've been doing <laughs> yeah, it their whole terrifying. life. Like, like the African guy from Bloodsport. Yeah. Imagine, imagine like a, a like a tough burly guy. What is going, that? Quad? He comes, he's coming into some roadhouse bar and he's crawling across the floor because <laughs> his dad never taught him how to walk. <laughs> You're not gonna look that guy in the eye. No. He'd be you like, know how much rage he has? He's biting your ankles. He's gonna suck your fucking thumbs off. Dude. Nah, dude. He would just be like uh, Mowgli, dude. He just hang out with the bears from the, U- <laughs> from the U- Did I ever tell you that story, man? I wish I could remember who it was, but somebody was working at a pizza restaurant. And their boss got fired for calling the Indian guy who worked there Mowgli. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you know, that's like, mean. It was yeah, some workplace. Racist. Yeah, but it's such a funny way to be racist. Yeah, it's, it's to like, call someone the only, like uh, the only like familiarity I have with your race is a childhood. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. Aladdin. Hey, Mowgli. Hey, so I haven't updated my racism yeah. since I was eight. <laughs> well, that's really when you need to make your mind up, and then ever, ever, you know, ever since that, you just can just. Have your opinions. What are you talking I was, about? I was racist as hell as a fucking little kid, dude. Were you? Yeah, dude. Greek people are so racist. Yeah. It sucked. I didn't know. I didn't know it was Nazis bad. Nazis out where no. you live. I yeah. wasn't racist. Well, we were. I like sports good a lot, so I thought black people were really awesome. Yeah, I was. I was super not racist at all as a kid. <laughs> I'm serious. No, you grew yeah, into me too. it. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I developed a sense of humor, and then I, I wanted to really see where it took me, and then you know I got into like irony and stuff, and then. Uh, well, you and know. soon you'll just be a Nazi. Yeah, right. And now I'm an editor on Stormfront. <laughs> on November uh, 6th, 5th, what is the election day? 9th. 9th. 8th. 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 No, on November 8th, <laughs> you're going to f- finish being an irony boy by checking that T button. I'm not going to vote. 
Um, I'm probably not going to get it together and vote. But what do you mean? only because there's, I it mean, I t- I'm, 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 I'm waiting matter. for election day yeah. so I can buy a Make America Great Again hat. That's right. Yeah. Really yeah. That's what everyone's about. doing. God, I want that hat. I hate all of the parody hats. I hate all this Trump bullshit. Hey, hey, grab him by the pussy again. Huh? Yeah. I will say On that red hat. the the yeah, the camo. So he's been switching it up from the red the camo's awesome. To the, the camo, camo with the, the orange letters, Wait, make camo America great. Awesome. That camo? looks like I want to. I want a camo like bumper hype sticker. Streetwear. Put on the what? back of my truck that says "Yes, I steal valor," <laughs> <laughs> and it's got Calvin pissing on the word veterans. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome Damn I want that one Yeah So Amber What'd you do today? Uh, I tried to, Well I had I had student meetings uh, Lame With, some with I your kids? I tried to kids? go to a psychic Oh shit Sounds dumb uh, Yeah Did I, they read your fucking fortune? No I want to do I want to do an article About tarot Okay stuff, So I want to go to one But like they were both like one was booked up and one was closed. So I just ended up getting rained on. And then I couldn't find, like then the restaurant I wanted to go to was closed. So I walked to this other one and this giant mobby looking Russian guy uh-huh. sat in an empty restaurant in the table next to oh, me. Oh, that's hilarious. Hell yeah. Like, like you know, like neck. Thing. Empty restaurant, two people. Neck tats or huge neck? Huge neck. Gotcha. Huge neck. And he was trying to he was trying to holler. Uh, yeah. It, what did he say? Like, Hello, you look very nice today. Nice. Was he like Eastern Promises? Did you smash? Guy? No, he was like really giant. He was like built like a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, that's oh, yeah. hot. Yeah. That's so you guys fucked hot. right there. <laughs> yeah. Right there. <laughs> fucked on the right table. At, wow. at Sichuan Pot on whatever street it's. You on. had hot pot. Um, I didn't get hot pot, but. I, it was a hot pot restaurant. I had I just hot ordered pot. Off the Would Szechuan you? menu. I had hot pot this weekend. It was unbelievable. Um, I took uh, Nick to a really good hot to, pot. Yeah, to a really good hot hot pot. Really place. cool. Would you fuck a giant man in the Russian mafia if it meant like no, he, no, no? Would you fuck Katerov? No. <laughs> Katerov? The, the dictator Chechnya. of Chechnya. Yeah, that's no. what actually. That's where my. He looks like Felix. That's where my <laughs> mind went. Um, right after Vine, they said they weren't doing Vine anymore. It was like, where am I going to see little boys get injured and like be able to <laughs> laugh? Like, the and then I was like, well, there's like hours and hours of uh, Chechnyan boy fights on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> so. Yeah, Instagram you don't have has to worry a lot about of, it. Yeah, a lot of what uh, Vine. Yeah, has. no, we talked about it the last time. Russian Instagram takes. Takes the gold. Hell yeah. They should remake, you know, they should make uh, like a, there should be like a miracle on, on Vine, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be like a miracle on ice, but it's a miracle on Vine. Someone's saving Vine. Yeah, where f- Mark Wahlberg plays the guy <laughs> that gets makes a better Instagram than the Russians. <laughs> million, Somehow. Million dollar He's like, this is me. Idea. I'm punching my kid in the face because we got to take, we got to take this back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm punching my fucking... Eight year old son in the face until we're famous. He would need a crack team though. He'd need a crack team of like eleven year old black kids. Yeah. And it would be him. And they're all played by The Rock. (laughs) Just superimpose The Rock eleven times into the movie. (laughs) There's one Kevin Hart. There's one that's Kevin Hart. Yeah. Of course as a woman though. Yeah. In a fat suit. Is, is, does woman. Kevin Hart do fat suit movies? He's gonna. He's got us. How, what do you, how long do you think until Kevin fat Hart does suit. fat suits? He's like too small. I feel like I guarantee you he's no, gonna do a fat no, suit he's movie. Tiny. He'd look like a bowling ball if he went flat, fat <laughs> suit. You know, dude, he's gonna go fat suit. I promise. Eddie was a little bit taller. I, feel I don't like. think Eddie was that tall. Really? No. Yeah, Eddie's pretty tall. Really? He's like six six. <laughs> <laughs> six six uh, two 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 uh, forty five yeah. two fifty. Eddie Murphy, yeah, he's about <laughs> I'd say six nine six ten, <laughs> about uh, seven hundred eighty six pounds. <laughs> no, but he did put the weight on for Clump. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's a fact. That's all real effects. He's just fat as hell. <clears throat> that was not CGI. That was not a fat suit. That was who was the f- who was the woman in the first clump? It wasn't Janet Jackson. That was the second one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you remember who it was? I, I thought it was Janet Jackson. I no, I don't. Janet Jackson. Huh? You love Janet? I love Janet. She's the best. Yeah. Best soundtrack. That Nutty, movie, Nutty P. I remember that. Yeah. Also, yeah. Doctor Doolittle. Doolittle. Yeah. Oh, was it Doolittle? Oh, yeah, shit, that's that what was it was. The one with Aaliyah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and the crying baby sound. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. it's like if you would remove that, I could listen. No, to that I love as that shit. Adult. No, it's so bad. Hell yeah, dude! Give me that crying ass baby. No, it's terrible. Nick it's like I, you know what makes a song even sexier? Crying baby <laughs> noises. You know what song I love? Uh, some cut. But it was that Trollville and Little yeah, Scrappy? With the, where the beat is like a bed cream. It's just a bit. Yo, what that song is, is incredible. Ho, what's, what's up? up? Can I boob? Some boob. That song is vulgar. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. Straight up about getting them cheeks on a creaky ass bed. Dude, if I, was in, uh, I was in New Orleans one time. This guy from Biloxi was talking I somehow I forget what the topic of conversation was he was talking about his favorite slang for women oh Jesus he uh, no. he's like he's like uh, nah the best best term I've ever heard was sugar walls <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing sugar walls <laughs> that's disgusting it's disgusting sugar but walls? great at time. especially when you just picture it happening in Biloxi where she's just like leaking sweat out of her pussy <laughs> yeah. all year long all she has is like one of those paper fans <laughs> you know she's not allowed to curse because her dad's a pastor and she gets called sugar walls and she catches the vapors and she's in a coma for nine and a half years <laughs> sugar walls That's is really pretty good I've, I've never experienced such vulgarity <laughs> nah dude the God, preacher's daughters were I'd freaky yo. I put in my fucking card you still ri- you still haven't ordered this is ridiculous that is the worst that. time in the for me Look, in I the world to smoke plan, weed is right before you've had dinner and you're so hungry and oh, then yeah. you have to order afterwards. Oh, that's well, crazy! It is the it is the mo- one of the most difficult. That's insane. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem because I should have already remembered to put my new fucking card in. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite terms for women, uh, vulgarly? Everyone. Right? It's gotta be sugar walls. You think sugar walls? <laughs> I think Mine that, is, uh, once I heard it, I was like, I'm gonna use that word for the rest of my damn life. <laughs> Mine is uh, holes. Hole? Holes, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That one that sucks, sucks yeah. so it's much. I like, uh, I like floats. Yo, where are these holes? Call them floats. Yeah. Floats or tubes? <laughs> floats. <laughs> What's going on, floats? <laughs> I, I like the, more familiar. Yeah. Like a girl tubes would is say, funny. How you doing, yeah. Floats? floats is like, you need to know. Or I, I think so. if you want to go, uh, I, I think it's funny to call all women bones, like that yeah. show Bones. Oh, but yeah, 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 yeah. The or, uh, medical science uh, yeah, show or Midge. I think it's great to call every woman you know. Midge, Midge. is funny. You should start going with the Midge thing. Yeah, hey Midge. You're, you're very good also at Shelly when you do uh, uh, when Jack you do Lennon. Jack Lennon. I think the meanest w- name to call a woman is the N word. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like I the thought classic. It was a pet name. <laughs> it was the first time I heard it. I thought that sounds great. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like our thing, babe. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, I was joking around with my friend because, like, my dog's name is Isis. So I was like, "What if that was uh, my my new name that I gave the dog? Or if I just named the dog Hitler? Hitler's pretty funny." That's He's a cute name. Good, yeah. Um, but Hitler's definitely a boy's name. Dolph. What's your dog's name? Oh, it's the N word. I can't really say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> She's I only really say disobedient. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't listen to me because I can't say your <laughs> name. I can't say her name. I didn't really need that. Um, I like trim and muff. I think those are some classics. I hate muff. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, well, I guess yeah, trim. But that means pussy more than it means. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's more. Of a what, is sugar dush walls or a medicine? Sugar walls means woman. Which one is <laughs> woman? Which one is walls medicine? isn't pussy. Well, it's not. It's like sugar tits. You call them sugar tits. You call them sugar walls. And then it's oh, that's fucking gross, dude. Yeah, that's I know. So gross. <laughs> Hey, what's up, asshole glands? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Sweet sphincter. <laughs> uh, candy taint. How you doing? Hey, let me get some of that serve. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to start saying I'm candy panicking. taint. Swervix. Does anyone- swervix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's soft a, cervix. You got you to hit the swervix. I want to I want a cone of soft cervix. Soft cervix? If you were in a bar... Amber and a guy just went up to you and like unironically called you a dame. Would what you does he th- look like? What do you mean? What does he, he look I'll like? I'll tell you exactly what he looks like. I'll tell you exactly what he looks like right now. He looks like a classic that guy man. from the fucking <laughs> Jazz Age like? Festival article in the New York <laughs> Times. Exactly. Like, how would you respond? I don't know. You would throw a drink <sighs> in his face, right? 
What does he look like? No, he's what got, do you no, mean? What does he look like? If it's I mean, I would respond guy, differently if it's a attractive He's the man. hottest guy you've ever seen. I don't care. Really? Yeah. To say dame? Yeah. Dude, that's if he's sexually lame. If he's hot as hell, I'd who gives a that. shit? Dude, if some... If some if or a, I would convince myself I respected it if he was Until you smashed. Yeah, that's yeah. like me with women, too. I guess. Yeah. What if he did? You know how much they really what if he was the most like, attractive guy in the world, but he did like the Vulcan sign and said, greeting females? <laughs> no. No? No. But uh, Dame might work. If you could work Dame, Dame into a joke or uh, no, 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 no. It's not a joke. But you don't address like, someone he's like a He's like a swing revival yeah, guy. Exactly. He's like yeah. still really the cherry pop. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, look yeah. up with one of those, like a bowling shirt kind no, of guy? No, I wouldn't. But he's the hottest guy you've so ever seen. But I would be hot. offended. I he's hot, but he's dressed like Drew Carey I would just Carey be like, show. look at your fucking shirt. Yeah, you'd make fun of him. And then and then he would bounce back. And then right every... As soon as he started, as soon as you forgot, he would say Dame again. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh, 45 minutes, he would say Dame. Bad. And I would another, just not be able to let it go. Yeah. I would be trying to talk myself down. <laughs> I mean, I would, I mean. No, a, a Dame is like stupid. That's obviously corny. And also, how What's do you a Dame like you doing at a place like this? If yeah. a guy said that to you, what would. What's, oh, what's that God. line from where the guy's uh, like, what's a slut like you doing in a classy joint like this? <laughs> <laughs> what's that from I forget what that that's just a like thing a, that you said no it was, I, it was from something that fucking killed me when I first it. <laughs> that's right. yeah I think I remember it too what's a slut like you doing in a classy place like <laughs> I want to say that what's a fucking skank like you doing hey you fucking bitch um, uh, so now we're moving on to the tech segment of the podcast <laughs> the Apple event was today and uh Apple. The new iPhones uh, actually come with pocket pussies attached. Wait, the Apple event was today? I thought they released the phone like months ago. No, they released the phone separate from the Apple event. What did they show in the Apple event? Uh, the new MacBooks, new MacBook Pros. How do they look? Uh, it's fucking stupid. It's all the same shit. It's the same really exact big, fucking right? shit. They got rid of all the F keys, the function keys, and now it's like a touch pad. <laughs> I thought you meant the letter. Yeah. How do you how do you type words with yeah. F in the holy to, shit? You have to <laughs> copy paste. They're, they're used F. to do harm. There's too many slurs attached <laughs> yeah. to that letter. Yeah, they're no, like they trying took, to create really woke. Yeah. Well, we got rid of Vine, but we took ends off keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's 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 Apple. They would go for F first because yeah. they care more about that one for sure yeah. i had a laptop that the mac uh, doesn't the actually M work unless work. you're wearing sandals when you hit the power <laughs> yeah. button you have to be wearing sandals. your eye sandals yeah. They're they go mac, fast yeah. as hell if yeah. you're also wearing socks too yeah. what were you saying adam um, no it's got some dumb fucking like extra touchpad on the top like the shit that like shitty windows pcs had 10 years ago where it's like look you can control the music right from right, the right. keyboard oh, and yeah, everyone's like yeah, this is stupid as shit yeah give me a button and now but now apple has that and people are like this is amazing this is and they genius. cost like the the entry level model is like fucking 1800 dollars. jesus christ that's insane yeah <sighs> Man, I got fuck a, that company. I got a damn Asus, yeah, baby. Yeah. Fuck they have them, like more like cash them. on hand than the United States federal government, I think. Yeah. They don't make, well, me they make too, the most look. Is there any females out there? Any the dames? American industry. Like the, the iPhone is the most lucrative product. It, it's like surpassed fucking automobiles in terms of how lucrative it is. Damn. Yeah, but wow. uh, Apple's, 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 Apple's trying to make a car, and I, I feel yeah, like that's no going to. competitors really. That's going to destroy the company. If they go through with that, I think that'll destroy If they the make a car. They're with driverless cars, I bet. Yeah, well, everybody's but, going with driverless yeah. cars, and that's why they're not going to be able to compete with fucking BMW and Audi and companies that have been working on it for years that also know have like 100 years of experience making like really good automobiles. Apple's going to enter the market. They're going to fucking put out a car that kills people because they're used to making computers mm -hmm. that fuck up. And if it fucks yeah, up, it's not that big like of a deal. It'll be like a little Mac sad face Dude, after not... like a family of three yeah. die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't, you just can't do that with a car. Uh, so I, I think it's going to destroy Honestly, the as long as you can get jerked off in the back seat, I'm down for whatever yeah, car. Yeah, well, you can't. Why not? Bitch. What? Bitch. Am I not allowed? Can I please get jerked <coughs> off in the back seat of the car, please, Nick? Uh, I, you know, my goal is once I get rich, uh, to have a driverless hot air balloon. <laughs> Can you cool. imagine that? Yeah. You just get to relax in your hot air balloon instead of dealing with the stress <laughs> of sitting in hot air balloon traffic <laughs> on your way to the ice cream factory. <laughs> <laughs> you can just relax. And, this Read a so uh, book filled with pictures of clowns. <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah. That, if I Maybe had ride a tricycle around the basket, 
if I had a million dollars, that's what I would do, probably. Get a hot air balloon? <sighs> yeah, I get Travel a whole... the world in a hot air balloon? No way, dude. I just have a whole Neverland Ranch type situation. <laughs> you would just be... Hot air yeah. balloons. Would you start with the, with the property or would you start by fucking children? It's kind Use of your a imagination, hard horse thing. <laughs> No, I mean, no way. I would never do that, obviously. The... Why, no. What are we talking about? Oh, driverless hot air <laughs> <laughs> It would be cool in the old age if you just built a giant water slide and, you know, like on your deathbed or whatever, if, they could, if technology gets to the point where they can pinpoint like, okay, he's going to die in the next 45 minutes. They could put you on the water slide so you could die in the water slide. That would be so tight. That'd be pretty sweet. I would love oh my to God. die in a water slide. My friend Anna was telling me about uh, she went to the ballet and the only people that go to the ballet are like, gays and like old russians uh -huh. and she's russian and for some reason it was like you know not starting on time and all of a sudden she hears the announcer and it's like this very con congenial uh, a foot fetish is broken to the dressing rooms <laughs> this very congenial all of the american voice that says excuse me one of our audience members is having a medical emergency everything will be fine and we will get started. And then she hears the Russian announcer and it's just, someone has died of a heart attack. Oh my God. <laughs> and like someone died and like they took them out on a stretcher. But Damn. she's like, and that to me illustrates the difference between Americans and Russians. <laughs> Is it Russians die at the ballet? <laughs> well, uh, that they announce like someone yeah. has died. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, I, well, I was uh, in the Essex station one time. This is a little bit of, uh, New York talk NY City talk mm -hmm. uh, We have uh, underground trains here Which carried all uh, the slaves uh, <laughs> to underground railroad To, to so, Manhattan yeah. So we have to uh, Oh to man Adam was it you that told me that uh, And it's not true But it's mm -hmm. so, such a funny lie That Newark is named Newark Yeah <laughs> To trick oh the, to trick the somebody, slaves Yeah yeah Somebody told Adam this And he told me That the reason Newark <laughs> Is called Newark Was to trick black people Into moving there Newark Instead of New York Because it was the last stop Before New York Yeah On the way So, like, that they so would, you thought Someone telling you Like the racist equivalent Of like a Polak joke Like about like the punchline mm -hmm. is like a, a misunderstanding. Well, listen, first of all, that's the first thing I was ever told in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. believed that for 29 years. <laughs> you knew nothing. I believe it still. I think it actually happened. Well, anyhow, yeah, I was saying, so I was at the Essex station and uh, the train was stopped like halfway down the platform because someone had jumped in front of the train. Oh, damn. So they were just dead on the tracks or whatever. And you could like... <gasps> yeah, I've seen know. a dead... Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, you know, they're like asking everybody, you know, as an announcement, like, due to a customer involved uh, incident, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, please leave the station. And so, you know, the fire department's walking down, and we're all walking out, and one of like the fire chiefs, this like old grizzled dude, you know, like fucking built like a brick house, is just like is standing at the top of the steps, you know, like mustache. And, uh, these two like teenage girls are talking to him, and they look like they're 12 years old. And he's like, Yeah, there's a dead body on the tracks. <laughs> So, so they got to get that dead body <laughs> off the track. <laughs> Just like telling Come them. On, man. <laughs> yeah. That shit fucked my like, it fucked my month up when I saw that. I didn't see the whole dead body, but I saw it like, a leg and a shoe yeah Ooh. that it's shit was fucked, fucked. How and then it was just like a million people with their fucking phones out yeah and oh, then we got terrible. and then everyone got <laughs> yelled at to like leave the platform yeah. and it was it just like on a personal level too because like there was this one old chinese man who would not listen <laughs> <laughs> to the firefighters so like show some fucking respect he's just standing there smiling <laughs> 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 yeah, really? He was, was trying to get content. the real shit I've ever seen. That's nightmare. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah awesome. He he literally had the the like most psychotic smile on his face. <laughs> oh it's like God. he knew the guy. I was so happy he was dead. Oh, he knew the guy. No, oh, but like God. I was like, that's not just Chinese people are. <laughs> yeah, they're happy when death comes. Well, yeah, they have no etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> what are you talking about? Chinese people are like famously obsessed with etiquette. 
Uh, well, their etiquette, you know. Which Chinese? The Chinatown Chinese? Because absolutely not. Okay, but you understand most You're applying Chinese Western people etiquette don't to it. live in Chinatown. Well, but where somebody's jumping in front of a train, I mean, yeah, that Chinese guy's probably a Chinatown guy. <laughs> I saw somebody taking a dump on the sidewalk in broad daylight. It was a Chinese guy. <laughs> and, oh, I saw that, that proves shit. it. No, you're right. I Nick. told you about that on uh, on Throop. I went around and uh, I saw this woman like <coughs> circling cars and leggings and like looking lost. And right in front of that daycare, she just pulled down her pants and just like a deluge of diarrhea oh, like shot no. out like, I feel like, for her that was probably an emergency it was maybe I feel two, for her this I, was they, a, were, they were smack shits she was totally like oh okay yeah she's like heroin's back baby it's well, the, the 90s there's this uh, oh, yeah man. this Chinese guy he was just sitting on the sidewalk heroin gives you the shits he was squatting yeah. usually it makes you constipated uh well I think I it has coke something to do with something else no doing. coke makes you poop Coke makes you shit. Really? Well, yeah. Well, if it's cut well, with poop stuff. Well, a lot of times stuff. it's cut with Well, this laxatives. Chinese guy, he's squatting there, and he not only was he shitting, he was but this pulling, woman was like weaving. He was pulling like, the turds out of his ass with his hand. Yeah, that was awesome. That's an yeah. awesome part of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. told me that. Yeah, he was a Chinese guy pulling turds out of his ass with his hand, and I excitedly called Adam and told him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, this guy, yeah. it's like he's never learned how to shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he just doesn't know that he can wait. He's like, it's time to shit now. Just wait for it. He's got to do it uh, Muslim style. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, that's what you it's called. Are, yeah, that's, that's what it's called where? In, in uh, all the Islamic countries. Every single one. In of them. the Islamic countries, they call it Muslim style. <laughs> yeah, waving, Muslim style waving, style waving your, your ass with your hand is called Muslim style. In New style. York, they call it New York style pizza, even yeah. though we're here. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you got check me there. <laughs> we're pro- she's Good a work. freaking professor, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, no, time fine. to go back to fucking class. That's an own, dude. All right. So then, but then two days later, I see this Chinese lady, broad daylight, Canal Street. And her sons, her like five year old sons next to her, and the kid's got his pants pulled all the way down to his ankles, and the mom is holding the son's penis <laughs> and directing the flow of his urine all over the sidewalk. <laughs> But don't you just not need to really do that with like a baby if you can stand? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, on, he's never told you this before. Tiny baby it's so dicks. funny, dude. She's just holding a little his ass tiny dick. Dick. This thing, and he's he's pulling his shirt up. He's got like a ham taro shirt. The only on. reason I'm not laughing he's is because Dixon told this a million times. You've never heard him say this huh? before. I, I have, but it's this. fucking hilarious. It's so dude. funny. It's dude, the funniest thing she's ever. Just hold, she's just like annoyingly holding a little ass dick. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, a no, little my mom uncircumcised Chinese dick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my mom never had to hold my dick. Why? Because I knew how to hold my own fucking dick. Yeah, that's true. You're a human being. You have some like. Uh, uh, but you said uh, it was like a baby? baby? No, it was like a five year old. Oh! But he doesn't know how to it's piss on the oh, street. If you're old oh. enough to walk, you're old enough not to have your mom hold your dick for you. No, that's some, not true. No, no. You can walk in That's cultures, pants, dude. dude. That's cultures. You got to respect Plus, it. He doesn't. It's his first time pissing outside, you know? Yeah. He doesn't know how to, what to do with his dick. Yeah. I mean, he was probably drunk. <laughs> yeah, he's fucked <laughs> up. He's wasted. Oh, fucking Saki. Yeah. yeah, Saki, my dick off. <laughs> my man. My friend, my friend lived in China oh, yeah. and he said that. They don't drink often, but when they drink, it's just, <gasps> it's like sitting down at a table to get blackout obliterated mm. as drunk as you can. Yeah. That sounds fun. Where yeah. in China? He lived in the south of China in like what was yeah, considered yeah. a vacation city. Some Beijing. Fucking well, he lived in a vacation city too. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You know a movie fucking <laughs> rules? No, no, no. Yeah, of course. That China. Jet Li movie, uh, was it Legend? Uh, I don't know. With the ponytail, the long ass ponytail? That he's like whipping around. No, that's Willow Smith style. No, it's the one where he's uh, he plays that Chinese like fighter in the, like the Qing Dynasty or some shit. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And I then uh, that. yeah, and then like they like that, he has like a really long his, middle ponytail. He has to represent China in these all these fights against the West, and he like beats the shit out of all these. Like, oh, that's tight. Yeah, it's. A good I'll watch movie. that. You want to? I yeah. love Jet Li, dude. Me too. What's Jet the last Li, thing Jet he was, was in? Jet Li, we talked about it on the other podcast. How they made him speak English? Yeah, the one yeah. came out and it was like such a fucking disappointing movie because yeah. he's like a terrible actor when he has to speak English. Right. Oh, I finally ordered.
weird. That's right. Wow, that took the entire. That took. Yeah. I can tell you, it took literally uh, thirty-seven minutes. <laughs> no shit. You high bitch. <laughs> Damn, my girl furred. Uh, what's the funniest slang for fucked up that you guys know? Chivered. Chivered. Oh, Chivered. Really That's my favorite. Yeah. Chivered. Not Chivered. Like, like Terry yeah. Chivered. Because it sounds like Hebrew. Yeah, no, it's like in high school, we'd be like, yeah, I'm getting fucking Shiva this weekend. <laughs> Yo, know, my sister good. gave me a bottle of Malibu. We're going to get fucking Shiva. Remember Malibu? <laughs> Malibu, hypnotic? dude. Yeah. I used to drink that shit in fucking <laughs> Remember <laughs> Hypnotic? Junior yeah, you year remember of high making school. Incredible Hulk? Yep. No. And it's and it's and it's and it turns green, dude. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What? Yeah. yeah. Incredible Hulk. I used to love drinking that. I knew this drink. kid oh, in high drink. school. Wait, uh, what's in it? Who's a rapper it's now? Hypnotic and Hennessy. Oh, that sounds disgusting. I knew this kid in high school that's a rapper now that that we were at a party. He's like, "Yo, you want some Hulk?" Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I should have blazed with <laughs> can Amber. You, can dude. you call him up and maybe he can like say some of his raps at us? <laughs> oh, I've heard his On raps. What kind of rapper is he? Uh, they're not very. Is good he raps. good? No. There was a, a rap group, a multiracial rap group that used to do the uh, open mic at Felicitas in Rockville. Hell yeah. Uh, which was this Italian restaurant above a parking garage <laughs> that uh, <laughs> like four old people would drink in and nobody else. But they would uh, they would have the rap group. Greg Pahanish would have the rap group cr- close the open mic sometimes. That's hilarious. And their name was uh, Hypodermic. Oh, that's good yeah. yeah and it was two white kids and two black kids and uh, boy did they suck <laughs> <laughs> I know that you probably thought good. they were great but <laughs> what kind of rap was it was it like conscious was it political was it no backpack idea. doing no, fucking no way open I, mic rapping is the worst thing I've ever the heard the best yeah. was when we were at that show at, at, at with sitting at that table with Dana and that guy had that harmonic oh, melodian yeah, that weird thing. trash instrument he found like that punch drunk love piano yeah yeah thing. the punch drunk love piano thing and he was just <laughs> singing. yeah he sucked dick at the, whatever that was that wasn't an open mic Weatherby booked that guy yeah yeah oh, he booked it Weatherby in one of his <laughs> drunken Wes Anderson uh, uh, spells <laughs> <laughs> Book that stupid piano, man. A melodica. Dude. That's what that's called. Melodium. Right? Melodium? Melodium? I thought it's a I melodica. Think. What? What is it's it? Like it's like a, a, it's a ha- calliope. Ca- that's what? A calliope? Uh, calliope. It's different. <laughs> what the, that's a Greek name. Uh, no, those are the things calliope. that are at the front of a steamship. Yeah. These little organs at the front of the steamship. Shit's a Greek word, bitch. Well, <laughs> that's a Greek name. It's uh, Greek. Anyway. It Kelly. No, it's a melodic. It's a tiny little. It's a little tiny piano from Punch Drunk Love. I don't know. Did you blow into it? No. Okay, oh. that's a melodica. A melodica. It's like a harmonica and a piano together. But like, it's not like you hold it like Weird Al. It's like on a table, like a wooden piano, and Weird in the Al. back, it's got a harmonica. Kind <laughs> Weird of Al sucks, right? No, he's rules. <laughs> Dude, come on. Weird Al is a children's songs? entertainer. Exactly. That shit that's, sucks. That's, that's yeah. right. no, he rules. I don't understand. That I don't understand sucks. the Weird Al obsession. I mean, he's not bad at what he does, but I never gave a shit about exactly. Weird Al. Oh, like, I liked him when I was young. Exactly. When you're 11 years old, why the fuck are all these grown motherfuckers going to Weird Al? The same reason they're into no, it's wrestling for, it's for or children. fucking comedy. Yeah, yeah, it's like the boy weird. version of like those girls <laughs> who are really into Harry Potter. Oh right, true. It's like you should grow out of Harry that. Potter's pretty magical though. <laughs> Harry Potter like literally the only like thing I'm belong. into now that I was into when I was thirteen is beating, beating off. off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I don't like it anymore, but he, I, th- I think he's cool. Like I think he found his thing. I'm proud. Like he's probably dude. Like, a you good guy. out of him. YouTube I'm is proven. I feel so, dude. YouTube has I feel a kinship. People are so now. much better at fucking. Well, that's the thing. Song. YouTube should have destroyed Weird Al, but somehow he's still he's still around. Is you know? he really? I, I just mean, just because in a yeah, year old he did. Man. I'm so handy and said I'm so fancy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? So it's bad. the dorky. Jesus that's Christ! So he did a um, white and nerdy. Are you kidding? No, me? he that did a uh, no. He did one that was dude. Uh, even the good ones. I'm fat. Aluminum. Did, no, did, did you see uh, Tiggers in Paradise? <laughs> <laughs> or, Tiggers in Paradise. <laughs> Tiggers in Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> that one was. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little rough. <laughs> what? Tigers, Tigers in Paris? Paris? Yeah. Did you see that one? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. good. Fuck, what is it? Uh, uh, my Tigger, but YG. Yeah. <laughs> my Tigger, my Tigger. Yeah. Uh, my Tigger. I don't know. That's my that's my Tigger voice. 
Is yeah. that what Tigger sounds like? I think so. Right? Isn't that what Tigger Kinda, sounds like? Yeah. Also, I heard that story about his parents dying and I'm like, I'm oh, always going to fuck thing. with him. What happened? Oh my his God. His parents died his parents tragically. His were murdered, dude. No, what? they weren't. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. By the fucking... Uh, by CIA. 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 Yeah, he parodied uh, the wrong guy's lying. song. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yo, so fucking... No, but sh- that Red Hot Chili Pepper song, he parodied it with Yabba Dabba Dabba Do now. To be fair, those the are fuck. basically the lyrics <laughs> the, of every yeah, Red Hot yeah. Chili Pepper song. Yeah, Whatever, man. Pepsi. Weird Al no, sucks his, my dick. His parents died at like the worst where like a gas... A gas leak in their and house and his parents died. died. No. And then he had a show that night. No. He had the show yeah. that night. And, when? And he went up and he played anyway for the people, even though his parents just died. Uh, he should have canceled well, that no, show. Yeah. That's yeah. What are you going to do? Fucking spend that time alone by yourself thinking about it? No. You're you're with the people that love you and love Weird Al. But that's great for Weird Al, dude. It just makes me like him. I don't know. I don't know that it's healthy. If 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 my parents were killed by gas, you better believe I would be podcasting that night. (laughs) (laughs) I would absolutely. I would would get on the the horn and I'd say, "Gas be damned." (laughs) When did that be weird? Because my parents don't even live in the same apartment. (laughs) (laughs) That would be such a coincidence. (laughs) (laughs) But I know they're up there, proud of their boy and his new career. Uh, fuck when did his parents die <coughs> weird house parents i don't a few know years ago a couple of years ago it was like way after they had the behind the music with weird Al and his parents were on it oh, they man. were like he was just a really good that's boy. sad as shit and like so he like just seems like a good guy that he, was into a, a really guy. nerdy shit's thing corny as fuck dude he's, weird he's, Al he's, he's just the biggest nerd of all time like he's he's in his zen place and i i kind of like appreciate that i'm not gonna buy the cd listen, listen, to, listen to one the, song i do i listen, listen to, to the whole one thing. time through and i think they're okay i think they're the, just for children it's just, don't judge it i'm right. just tired of fucking 40 year old motherfuckers no, freaking out and going that's to the show that's weird i agree that shit sucks dude imagine going to a fucking concert to hear i'm fat <laughs> <laughs> imagine going to a concert you're mad to right hear now. fucking yeah he did yeah. shit oh, sucks now we finally got to this rudolph yeah, okay yeah. all right it's, so it's, it's not you're mad at him you're mad at him it's not fat. Fat. It's it's big, funny some people woman. have problems you know what i mean like glandular <laughs> issues and they can't fu- is that so funny and you know may, i used to like that song but now i can't even listen to it without feeling offended yeah. the original the michael jackson i'm black i'm black whatever it is i'm black i'm black i swear to god really I swear to God, I'm black. <laughs> Who's black? No, dude, I can't. I just can't think of them because they all suck dick. <laughs> now, did he have vitiligo or was he bleaching his skin? Uh, he had. Uh, he got. It might have been both, but he was. Definitely he had bleaching both. His skin. My mom has vitiligo. He had really? vitiligo, yeah. and then he got him to. She used to be super fucking people. dark, dude. She's a super dark black lady. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's uh, the ghost of Barbados. That's what they call her. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's man. So I, I was snatching dreads. Name one good Weird Al song real quick. Before Why we move are you on. doing this? It's like you're reading through a Mother Goose fucking like book of nursery Weird rhymes Al. and being like, "Look at this fucking bullshit." Yeah, this is low quality literature. Tell me what about this is good? It's like it's for children. I I remember. Uh, I remember. Yeah. My, I remember being in West Virginia with my cousins and my grandma. Oh, nice mountain mama. <laughs> and some like Did you weird like kiss? community center thing. It was like. You know, they just had this building where they had like events or whatever. It's the middle of fucking nowhere. And then uh, they had this one room where they had a guy DJing or whatever. And there was like maybe drinks or something. It was like, I guess, four families. And I was probably like like nine or ten. And uh, there was a guy DJing and he was playing Weird Al songs. And he was this kind of fat, <laughs> shitty looking guy. And I remember the being, I remember looking at him and that was like the first time I saw an adult that I'm like, oh, they like suck. <laughs> this guy like just sucks. <laughs> dick, <dude. laughs> I remember He's a that. fucking DJ yeah. in the middle of West Virginia <laughs> playing Weird Al songs in a community center. <laughs> Man, yeah, when fucking, ad- when you realized adults could be fucking idiots. Yeah. That shit was fucking... Well, I remember seeing like homeless people. I didn't didn't think they were idiots, but I felt like really bad. I was like, oh, something shut wrong. up. This is like when you yeah. said you thought Elaine right. was hot. Right. This is what, where kid. I tell a story that's funny and you have to turn it into like, well, you know, I remember like caring about people. <laughs> you fucking like little person. bitch. I remember when I saw, I saw Ace Ventura, I, or I saw Dumb and Dumber, I cried. This is how big of a pussy I was. I cried when they the gave bird the bird line. Me too. I actually did. I actually found that pretty you sad. I cried during the diarrhea scene. 
No, the when they <laughs> gave the blind kid the <laughs> bird. Did we talk about the how, blind kid the bird how funny sad. that like screenplay must be yeah. for the five pages of exposition on the diarrhea? Yeah. They're like, no, I understand. It's just a cheap a diarrhea joke, but this is going to go on I for like that, 10 A lot minutes. of that's just yeah. organic him. That script, is, that script is actually just 47 pages long <laughs> because the diarrhea scene is the bulk would, of the movie. Let's, have you read this? Let's read the script. Let's find it. Um, anyway, which scene when, did you cry during? When they gave the blind kid the bird actually, and he was uh, petting it and I he was that like was pretty, pretty birdie. Pretty birdie. I thought you, that shit was you know hilarious. The, when you're a kid, you just can't handle... I agree yeah. with that. You can't handle... I think like, I just had a fish That die. things are terrible sometimes. Oh, like, throw another shrimp ball to Bobby. Very that was hilarious. funny. You're with a very Austrian. sensitive child. I was sensitive. Yeah, me too. Sorry, guys. You I can't know, remember sorry, the last dude. movie I cried at. Does it count if you're drunk? Yes. yes. Like, the, I mean, like everything really you drunk? do wrong also yeah. counts when you're drunk. It's still <laughs> well, I'll tell you. in the bathtub is still unacceptable. No, I tell you, because saying I love you doesn't mean shit. <laughs> so I don't know if crying does either. I don't think displays of emotion count. What, uh, I never what, cry what when I'm drunk. You know, very toss. What I cry it? basically every sport thing. You cry. Yeah. You're a crier. I'm a I got crier. real. I got real drunk and watched uh, the JJ. J. Abrams Star Trek movie <laughs> and fell asleep crying spilling Taco Bell all over crying about movie. what but in the first two minutes of the movie <laughs> I passed out immediately when crying George Kirk what? sacrifices was it really himself about the movie yeah you were just moved yeah I mean George George Kirk sacrifices himself to save <laughs> James uh, no George well, it's the dad it's the oh, dad, dad. Dude. yeah you fucking idiot sorry god damn it dude <laughs> Fuck, guys! I smoked pot one. with Amber after lunch, and now I'm, I haven't yeah, been as good on the like podcast. You're having a great time, and you're talking about the great tragedies of your childhood. I'm just not Maybe good. It's not the right I'm, drug for you. I know. I've been trying for it to be the right drug for me for for fucking seventeen years or something. <laughs> um, you want some more? I cried it yeah, up. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh yeah, I didn't cry it up, but it did. That did fuck. That me shit up. fucked me up, dude. The beginning where the, the lady dies. Come on. Oh, dude. the beginning of the. I was JJ high as hell. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was high uh, as hell. It's brutal. It was no, brutal. I didn't cry from that. I can't cry, cry from cartoons. I, I cried at the end when somebody okay. told me that the little boy was supposed to be Asian. <laughs> I thought he was white the entire time, and then somebody was like, "No, he's Asian," and then I. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I felt bad for enjoying that movie. <laughs> Damn. Damn, bro. <clears throat> uh. No, um, I cry like anytime there's a dad and a touchdown and a speech and a comeback and a victory. I cry half did you, of did you half cry? the ESPN 30 for 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you cry? 30 for 30s fucked Did me you up. cry during the inch by inch speech? No, I didn't cry. That's not a, that's not a sad movie. Sunday. Yeah, it is. Sad. Gentlemen, how many inches are on a football field? Let's count them. <laughs> One. <laughs> two. <laughs> you hurt yourself doing an impression. Pacino hurts. Struggling. It hurts to do a Pacino. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pacin. That's why he's an amazing actor, is yeah. that he can still do that and not just like cry or cough up. I can do it if I don't have a cold. What's he like as a real guy, Pacino? He has he's a black great. wife. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, me and Al, we hang out all the time. He yeah. has a black wife? Yeah. Al's good. No, that's every, the Nero. every celebrity has a black wife. That's true. <laughs> Angelina Jolie has a black uh, wife. Yeah. I remember watching some George Lucas interview and then at the end he walks away and he's like leaving with his black wife. Yep. And that was when I found out he had a black wife because I watched it and I'm like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was some black woman. It didn't make any sense. And then someone was like, Yeah, that's his wife and it's like how the fuck was Jar Jar not a conversation that came up in that house? Absolutely. Household? That's no. crazy. How the fuck was she not like... I'll tell you she how. stayed out Looking of his, at his drawings I'll like, tell you hey, how. George, what the fuck is this? I'll give you a fucking eight billion reasons why it wasn't the fucking conversation or however much dollars George Lucas has. Because he's rich. Is it, you think George Lucas has eight billion dollars? <laughs> <laughs> he know. probably has a billion he probably dollars. Has a bill. He gets paid every time they say droid, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eight billion dollars. I bet you he has eight billion. I'm sticking with it. Someone yeah. look up his fucking... I don't think he has eight billion. <laughs> I don't think it's that. There's no way it's that The much. Garfield guy, Jim Davis, has like nine hundred million dollars. Yeah. Dude, dude, Star Wars, are you fucking kidding me? 
That shit. My, my man's George got Lucas eight bill. Net worth. My man's got a lot of motherfucking money. I'll tell you what. He bitch. also produced a lot of stuff. So. Damn. Five, five billion. billion. Yeah. Bitch. That, that yeah. That's what did I tell you, up? motherfuckers? Yeah. Yeah, Disney, Disney bought, bought it. Worth. <laughs> Jim. Why'd you get a man to be your series? Because he's gay and he beats yeah, off I want to the it. British one. Oh, yeah. Jim Davis is worth $5.1 billion. Really? No. What? <laughs> yeah. No, he's lying. No, I'm serious. Jim Davis, family, real time, <laughs> net worth as of 10, 20, 16. Show me the fucking right point one right billion. <laughs> he's lying. Show it to me instead of reading it, bitch. He's lying. It's. I looked it up recently. I'm it's looking like, at it right now, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> he's so mad. $5.1 billion. Okay. Jim I, Davis? I don't believe Savros either. I think he... No. Davis. Yeah, they're both lying. I'm not lying, bitch. Bitches. Okay. Uh, George Lucas bitch. penis length. <laughs> <laughs> George Lucas... I found this on the web for George Lucas penis length. How long is it? Uh... Four points, four point seven, <laughs> close to average. Yeah. yeah, like a little bigger than average. <laughs> That's huge. Dude. Yeah, that guy's got a big. I didn't know George Lucas was Dragging packing. It around. Around. Dragging it around. You know when uh, George Lucas pulls out his dick, it makes the sound effect from the THX logo. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did that? I get it. They're huge speakers. Turn that shit off. You know, Dr. Dre got sued because he used that on the Chronic two thousand one. Well, thank God we're so. never going to get sued for using uh, copyrighted Any material. Copyrighted <laughs> stuff. I don't think this podcast will ever make as much money as The Chronic 2001. I think we will. Maybe. Nah, it's sabered off. People are already deleting pledges. Nice. Uh, which, hey, don't do that, guys. Yeah, please don't. You know? I mean, I know this is probably a bummer episode. Oh, my God. So, I'm sorry, I just saw the Bundy brothers were acquitted. Yeah, in Oregon. But I'm looking at all their mug shots, and of course, they all look like mutants. But then there's this one that's hot. That's sexy. You would fuck one of them? No, I wouldn't fuck <sighs> any of them. Weren't they're their like names? Be on the live, but like, right? look, they're all like mutants. <laughs> you like the one in the middle? Yeah, obviously. The one with the face. What is? Does he have Bell's palsy? <laughs> yeah, there's Why? something going on. There's an asymmetry <laughs> issue. So it's like, yeah, the it's side like, of his face. It's is like just seven hill people, and face. then one guy that looks like Tom Hardy. Like it's probably, like ridiculous. Someone's got a fucking. He doesn't in the look hills. like Tom. Don't get carried away. Okay. Ever. Someone's He's got a, a fucking. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, put, <laughs> uh, that's premium content, guys. We're gonna have a picture of that guy. Yeah, we're gonna have to upload pictures of that so you can have, you can follow along at home. The Bundy guys, uh, uh, I kind of don't want to go in. A lot of our audience is probably sympathetic to those. Pro guys. Bundy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't really want to shit on them. I'm gonna get so much hell from these people. Uh, yeah. Oh, so. Anyway, I just enlarged it. He just only looks good compared to the rest of the mutants. He's gross. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I like that everybody's mad. But he's mad. next to a guy with an asymmetry. Everybody's mad that face. they got off, and it's like they were tried by a jury of their peers. Of their peers. <laughs> so you can't complain about it ever. <laughs> wait, wait, what? How did they get off? Democratic. Yeah, yeah. They got they, they got not guilty on like every single charge. How like, does even that the happen? Firearms yeah, yeah. charges. I know, like, <laughs> which is like they were walking yeah, around right. with firearms. Yeah, yeah. How can you? We're gonna that? kill the president yeah. if he tries to stop us. But I know the jury was nothing but like the jury was nothing but like old women. And they're like, Probably well, it was a, it was a one jury of those trial hooded boys looked at me wrong. the wrong way at the mall last week, so uh, <laughs> it would only yeah. be fair. A bunch of fucking dumb rednecks, rednecks from Southern Oregon? Yeah. Oh, God damn. Yeah. Fucking assholes. That's, the, that's so wild. But I'm you, sure their defense you attorney think wore like, like an oversized cowboy hat the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> the trial's going, he's like, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a frontier man like my daddy was and my daddy <laughs> before him. In fact, I don't even know the law. I've only read the operator's manual for my 2016 Ford F-150. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a note cover. section in the back. And in the note section, do you know what I wrote, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> from memory <laughs> and I stood up while I was doing it and I will continue to for the rest of my life <laughs> case closed your honor <laughs> dude you uh, should be a lawyer a man Thanks, yeah. I moved yeah I'm yeah. crying right now you just gotta channel uh, you crying that was a time to kill. To kill. Yeah. yeah you were like Matthew up there dude they, shit it's good yeah they pull up that truck and they threw the Pledge of Allegiance in the back of that truck. <laughs> and the Constitution. And they brought the Constitution out to a field and they held her down in that hot summer heat. They used her head for beer can throwing practice. 
And when they were finished, they raped the Constitution. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that... Con- well, hold on. I don't know what, how analogies work, but imagine it's like a white girl or something. Thanks. Case closed. <laughs> Defense rest, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, shit. You know who sounds exactly like him? He's kind of a piece of shit, but he's like so, he's like so pleasing to listen to. Trey Gowdy. I don't know Trey Gowdy. He's like the fucking head Ben Gazi comedian. Oh really? Guy. Yeah, just mm. the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice? Yeah, he is. He's from. He's like from South Carolina, so he's got is that. Is he the like, vaping so guy? So when you had an email server, did you really think that people weren't gonna find out about it? <laughs> yeah, <that> sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like get him, Trey. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually a weird thing because politicians can really look. Yeah, so disgustingly ugly, but yeah. Oh, yeah. most of them have pretty aesthetically pleasing voices. That's something yeah. that's remarkable yeah. about Hillary. Well, is that yeah, Trey Gowdy she, just Hillary sucks to listen. To Trey Gowdy, Trey Gowdy looks like he's seven years old. He looks like a seven-year-old boy, and he has that. How fucking, old is he? He's probably like fifty-one years but old. But he's got really? like McConaughey voice. Yeah, he's got the same voice as that's McConaughey. That's how you get elected, man. That's how yeah. you get them votes. Um, so guys, if you want to get elected, just nail that Matthew McConaughey impression <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about your, you know, Bell's palsy or whatever, whatever you got going on. <laughs> uh, and that's going to have to do it for the episode. We are out of time, folks. Are so, we? Yeah. No, that, that, this part here was an hour. Nice. Oh, so Jesus. the part before. Holy uh, crap. <laughs> this is go up Saturday. Probably Halloween. Ooh. So fuck Halloween. Get, get spooky. We already did Suck the Halloween, Halloween. episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we already did that. that was never funny. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks again through. for listening to the premium content. Please convince your friends to sign up for it so they can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't share accounts. That's uh, that's uh, unpatriotic. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> shut, shut up. Come on, man. Share the account if you want. Upload it to torrent sites. Get the word out there. And then just what PayPal me and Starve money. Private. <laughs> yeah. Don't let Adam know about it. You can also Venmo me. Yeah, you can Venmo the two of us, but not Adam. And Why? I want, that, I want that iced tea thing. Oh yeah, and I want thing. a couple Twix bars. And the vit, the vit, get the fuck, buy us the Vitamix blender. Yeah, and a hand, and then tell that piece of shit Phil to get us our fucking yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, fuck Phil, man. Dude. Keep keep uh, harassing him, please. Yeah. All right. What's his Twitter? Um, at uh, Tree River. Tree River. No. At Tree River. <laughs> I don't know. His name's Phil Cohen. Adam, what's his phone number? <laughs> Stop or it. just send us PlayStation 4s. Yeah, I think he gets a shout out pretty much every episode. Right. Well, you it's guys not a know. shout out. We want that <laughs> asshole to give us PlayStation. Phil Cohen. Phil Cohen, he works at, uh, where's his place? Where's he work? Stop All it, right. dude. Stop <laughs> Thanks, <guys>. Phil. <laughs>
literally cheers. And how, how did you tolerate those folks when you were there? I- England? Yeah. England was pretty sick. It's, you like it's cool if you're British talking like that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, you don't like, like, Hold on, American, I'll, 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 I know, I know exactly who you're talking about who says cheers. I don't like any of that. Yeah, I don't yeah, like, yeah. uh, there was, I was just, uh, in Columbus this weekend, there was a gay waiter and he kept saying love. Mm hmm. Like, we called like, like you love. Yeah, any, me, anybody. That was like, a pronoun for. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was a guy when I worked at the, uh, at the, uh, like he was a scouser. <laughs> I worked at a call, uh, call center and they did, they started doing the same. It was just technical support for like internet service providers. But they did the same where you could upsell people on like fucking like Norton or some shit at the end of the phone call. And there was this, uh, mixed race guy. Yeah. Or like a very light skinned black guy. And he would call everybody love on the phone. <laughs> and that guy, so we got paid like $10 an hour. Yeah. And this guy fucking was making like an extra like $7,000 a month by just sweet talking people. Be like, all right, love, you, you know you need some antivirus on your computer. God damn. I had to do, I had to do call center shit. Yeah. It was unbelievable. I had we've, to call. Had, we've had the same jobs. Yeah, I had to call to, I worked at a car dealership and was cold calling people to see if they wanted to buy a fucking car. <laughs> Has cold calling ever worked for any industry? I, it ever? never worked for me once. Yeah. I didn't get one. Yeah. There were some, some guys it's, could do it. I would call and be like, hey, we want you. Because it was a list of people that have bought cars from the dealership. Oh, okay. So it wasn't totally cold calling, but it was still cold calling being like, hey, we got a special offer. We're buying back the 2014 Camry mm-hmm. you bought. And they'd be like, no, I'm not. Yeah. I, I did need cold calling car. for the BSO, but that was like fundraising. So that's a little different. Was the BSO? And Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah of wrong. course. Oh, the BSO. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the BSO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said it. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Is that even a good orchestra? I don't think so. Baltimore no. Symphony? <laughs> no. <laughs> they, just play, the they, st- they just play the Rocky they theme stink. song. Yeah. It's got to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only song we know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've told this story before, but the, one of the worst moments of my life was sitting in that basement doing that, that job, and there was this guy, Craig, who's one of the ugliest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but he was like... Uh, he was like a like an old school type of nerd. He was like a pre Chris Hardwick type of nerd, where there was you know yeah cool. Well, not cool. Oh wait, pre Hardwick. Pre Hardwick. Oh okay. Yeah. So like he was into like DOS. Just, he, this guy was just a loser. Yeah. yeah. And and if he, hopefully he didn't. He was into that. Linux. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like he no. Uh, we, they, so you were allowed to go to any show you wanted for free. You got one free show that you could mm-hmm. go to at the BSO if you worked there. And they brought the brochures out for what was coming up that season. And one of the things they had, like, George Takai, like, fucking doing, like, <laughs> q and I have no idea what it was. But they're, like, you know, they hand me the brochure, immediately goes in the garbage. I'm not going to the orchestra for anything, you know. Um, but there were, like, the other, like, people in the call center, the little basement, you know. They're, like, looking through it. And I can hear Craig. He's looking through the brochure and just he loudly goes, Ooh, George Takai! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Fuck. It's just the veins popping out from yeah. your forehead. Ooh, George Takai. <laughs> Trying not to make fun of him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyways, we got Shane Gillis here. Hey, what's Thanks, going on? Shane. Oh, Thanks, Shane. No, Thanks Welcome for being to the here. Adam Freeland Show, by the way. Welcome, doggy. I'm a fan, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. Welcome, doggy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been it's been really great watching you guys grow. Your monologues are getting fucking tight, dude. Mm-hmm. We got <laughs> the, yeah. We uh we have something nice cooking from this weekend, but I don't think it's going to be ready for at least a week. But mm. I feel like the Adam people know. Me, Adam told me he shot 250 minutes worth of footage. Yeah. Oh, man. It was a lot. Mm. Without you. Yeah. I was no, 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 no. No. So 250 minutes of just Adam? That's Adam and I, well, nice. I don't want to. I don't want to blow. He's he's. He's probably got something. In you the shouldn't. Works. You shouldn't oh, have blown okay. up. There's special even guests. That. It's exciting. Why? People love to know that somebody shot six yeah. and a half hours. Of yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a cinema for verite a ten, for, a, for a ten minute sketch. <laughs> it's going to be a cinema verite style. Shot an entire um, season, and we did yeah. it all in uh, th- on thirty five millimeter film. So we had to continuously mm-hmm. be changing the cassettes mm-hmm. over. Yeah, it was real pain. You know who does that is Terrence Malick. Has anyone did anyone compare you to Terrence Malick? Yeah, there were a lot of like leaves and fingers running through tall grasses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sun poking through like a a a forest canopy. Mm -hmm. 
Did a lot of that, you know, impressionistic style. Mm-hmm. Malik style. You ever see Days of Heaven, Shane? No. Great movie. What's Great it called? movie. You'd like Days it. Days of Heaven. Days of Heaven. No, what happens? It's Shane uh, would like Badlands, too. Yeah, Badlands is also good. Tree of Life. You ever see Tree of Life? He's no, this guy who, like... I know who Terrence Malick is because he oh, did right. uh, fucking Thin, Thin Red Line, Thin Red which Line, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the shit. Which yeah. is, like... And he shoots, like, a ton of shit. Like, Thin Red Line, I think, like, has the most legendary list of actors who are cut out of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, like, like huge, yeah, he's, huge guy. He cut George Clooney out of a movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gave George Clooney a line at the end of Thin Red Line. Yeah. Yeah. He basically, I think for a long time, he was making a movie like every 18 years. Mm-hmm. And he was just like some psycho from Texas who like, you know, yeah. just... Tree but, of Life's like, isn't it about like, isn't there like dinosaurs in it? There, it there's gets one, into like there's the one creation one dinosaur. One, and, uh, somebody tried to yeah. sell me on this before and they were like, yeah, there's a dinosaur it's, in it. It's weird. That, the dinosaur thing is the only weird part because okay. it's like... It's just a guy the rest remembering of the movie, when he was younger. The rest basically. of the movie is... is Perfect. I mean, it's, it's really a, beautiful. The, the, the like, fucking thin red line, dude. When when the guy's dreaming about his girlfriend, yeah. when he's like about to die, yeah, mm-hmm. he's like, I can't wait to see you. And then it he might that, be my favorite war that movie. Fucking letter, yeah. Mm. Woo, woo. Some fucking fly boy, some so air force good. guy. Days of Heaven. Days of Heaven's about a, a a couple. It starts off. It's like the fucking. It's I guess what it's They're like the nineteen hundreds yeah. or something. And the it's uh, it's like Chicago and fucking. Richard Gere is just works in a steel mill and he like <laughs> clocks his boss and kills him. Nice. And then runs away. So he has to go to the West. And then yeah, yeah. so then they just, him and the the wife and uh, I don't is it like yo no, his sister, his younger sister. No, they're in a relationship and they pretend to be siblings, right? Isn't and that then, that little that little girl that talked like this? Yeah, who does yeah, VO the whole movie? Yeah, yeah, the girl who does the VO. And then Sam Shepard plays the guy that owns the house. Is he gets sweet on the the girl? Yeah. Yeah. And he's looking nice too. Both those guys are very handsome. Sam Shepard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Shepard has a weird face, or did I guess? Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, but yeah, I guess are they they're homesteaders, right? They're just like it was like I don't know what homesteader. It's is. like when you just like there was like land that was no one's, and then you just run, and then you just say this is mine, and the government's like, okay, now that's yours. Like a reverse Native American sort of thing, <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> and then there are guys the living says, on it. They're the like, the "What, says, the what do you mean?" People this? are saying, "Yeah, what the hell are you doing here?" Mm-hmm. No, it's mine. Yeah, um, that movie's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what, why we bring that? Oh, yeah. So yeah, basically, I did shoot 250 minutes of Ter- Ma- Terrence Malick style footage this mm-hmm. weekend. And what do you think this is? How has this evolved the show? In what way? What is it? Are you questioning me publicly in front of our friends, the fans? Uh, I'm, inter- I'm interviewing you. Um, I think it's kind of falling in line of the stuff we've done before. Where we're kind of breaking out a universe outside of the eventual thing that the show is going to be, which is a talk show. Mm-hmm. We're kind of expanding the world. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's much of a departure from you know the cold open from last weekend but, but i think t- but it's 250 minutes long <laughs> yeah i mean my idea is that i'm not going to cut anything you know it's yeah. just going to be like even the parts where i tell someone to say something yeah I'll say it'd be funny if you, you sent me some text updates it seems like it was mostly you were like interviewing interviewing people you're going to ruin the bit. You're going to ruin the bit I spitefully. Don't think I don't think I'm ruining it. This is what he's doing right now. He's ruining the bit spitefully. <laughs> don't you guys, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not. You're, 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 that's, that's what you're doing. Well, it's a show. I'm, that's I'm just sh- saying I, we worked on something this weekend, and it's not ready, and it'll probably be ready in a week. How about and then this? you're like, Shane, so what it was. rigid airships will ever come back? What's that? What do you think rigid like airships? Zeppelins? Yeah, Zeppelins. No, I don't think so. No, never. No, I don't think. I don't think it was a very efficient yeah, means a, of... Me once it was actually that. an extremely efficient means of travel. But it doesn't go very fast, does it? Or you have to like follow the, the air streams or something? <laughs> so I know, your resp- I know your answer. You want them back. Dude. I want them back. You want the blimps back. He's yeah, talked yeah, about yeah. this frequently. I saw a blimp uh, this Saturday. It was pretty fun. Well, there's blimps and then there's rigid airships. There's a difference. Okay, Zeppelins. Yeah, yeah Zeppelins. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want to see some Zeppelins? I would love that. With the swastika. <laughs> With the swastika. Yeah, yeah. 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 Where, where, like, just for, like, air travel? They've yeah, got to be they're pretty cool fucking shit, slow. Dude. Imagine if, yeah, I mean, they're not super fast, but. Yeah. Why was the Hindenburg so famous? Because it blew up. 
But like, why is that? We <laughs> still know. <laughs> everyone died. Why was the Holocaust so famous? <laughs> well, yeah, because why is nine eleven? Because so eleven famous, million yeah. people died. The Hindenburg was just oh, like yeah. one blimp. Oh, the going, Goodyear blimp blew up. He's like, going all and people now. still know. Mm. Yeah, very generous. I said eleven, yeah, right? Do you caught that? You caught that? Yeah, obviously I caught it, dude. <laughs> mm. You caught that? <laughs> Can you imagine how gay it would have been to be a gypsy that got Holocaust? Yeah, oh. no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> a gay guy that got Holocaust? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one. Especially to be somehow to be a homosexual that wound up in one of the camps, and then you see the guards and the commandant, and you're like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, look at these Uncle Tom ass. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't think I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With your shiny to, ass boots? Yeah. He's probably trying to get his hands on a yellow star, you know? Mm hmm. Didn't they put like pink stars on those boys? They got, <laughs> I they swear got to pink, God, they got, no, they got triangles. They got, <laughs> they got triangles. Locked. Wasn't there yeah. some like online thing recently? There was some like discourse about like somebody wearing a pink triangle during World War II to show solidarity or like to, to show gay pride. <laughs> somebody said that. Somebody online, they were like, they showed trans pride by putting a pink triangle and someone had to be like, no, those were victims. Yeah, those were people <laughs> getting extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dealing with real persecution. <laughs> yeah, they weren't just, they weren't, they weren't doing like, like fucking Bennigan's flair mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> at, their, at their grocery bagging job. Well, yeah, I mean, it was just like, because the video was tight of the Hindenburg. Was that what it was? Are you, I think it was like a transatlantic. Yeah. Like it was a big deal. It was, it was a big deal was, that cool. it was going to make it. It's like the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, it was like a Titanic. It's like this is, people were pumped on this. They're like, oh shit, the Hindenburg. Yeah. This, is about this, to, is gonna be cool. this is about to be a <laughs> thing. <fucking explode>. Yeah. <laughs> there, were a couple, there were a couple of them. Because, yeah, it's like, it's, it's the guy they had to use. So the rigid airships made sense in the United mm -hmm. States because we had helium. Yeah. We could use helium. And they couldn't there's, use... There's this, what, hydrogen? Hydrogen. Yeah. And hydrogen is fucking... Yeah. You know, a sta like, literally just static. <laughs> and the fucking whole thing blows up. That's what happened. It, that video is fucking insane. The video, the video is, is crazy. And once you, when you realize the scale of that thing and how quickly... Yeah, once it gets hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah how quickly... 35 people size, died. Yeah. 35 people died? Yeah, and there was yeah. like 110 oh, people on That's board. what I'm saying. Wait, how many... They survived? Yeah, 97 just because it's a blimp, people... so it just sort of slowly... They're actually really safe. Even when they could blow the fuck up, it's like still pretty safe. Yeah, yeah there were 97 people on board and 35 died, so people lived. Mm -hmm. And one guy died on the ground. <laughs> I got squashed. Yeah, yeah, he got smushed. I mean, I like James in... Cameron should have done Hindenburg instead of Titanic. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Just getting liked, fucked uh, up off the gas and fucking Kate Winslet in the, <laughs> in the blimp area. Just the Irish people that live in the blimp area. <laughs> they're, <not> even, <laughs> they're just surrounded by pipes. <laughs> they're like, we're, we're going to America. <laughs> we're taking a blimp to America. Those fucking fleas, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the video is super sick. Mm -hmm. I loved, I loved that that in in Titanic when they they, t they show you the steerage and they just supposedly it's just Irish people doing black church down there, yeah, just dancing. <laughs> they're just having a good time. Yeah, they're not miserable. <laughs> right. They weren't like constant drunk fights. And yeah, rapes. right. Yeah, yeah. If you lock poor people into a basement, yeah, good things. They happen. make yeah, they make folk music. <laughs> yeah, they do jigs. Mm -hmm. So what else did you do this weekend, Adam? I just worked, I, you know, working on the show. Mm -hmm. On our show. Um, wow, it looks really nice on the Hindenburg. It looks real luxury. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did I do something? I 